We did it. We're live. I never know how to actually start any of these things, so I just kind of jump in on it. What's the better way to go, right? Uh, and making sure all of it's actually working, which it appears to be. So we're in a good spot. And tweet about it. So we're in a good spot. Oh, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be a real good day. You can already tell. What's up, guys? Aaron Adams, first to jump in. Aaron, immediately. What's up, man? What's up, Phil? Michael? Lime? 7 a.m. Lime? Jeez. Well, I mean, things are going to kick off pretty soon here, I'd expect. This is going to be a... Um, I mean, Twitter watching simulator and conversation, right? Juan, what's up? Into the den. What's going on? I can, I can, I can hear you into the den. Somehow, it's still it's registering. What's up, Robbie? Jay Goulet. Jay Goulet. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Eric Dubois. We're already starting with the panic mode. Uh, Donald, what's up, man? Thank you. Kevin I. Vids, how's it going, man? Jeremy? Lime, you're Evie in the Discord? I didn't know that. We don't have a lot of West Coasters. We really don't. <laughs> Aaron showing off the uh, the emojis. Nice. Rob shot, right? I am feeling a lot better. I'm still, I still can't catch my breath most of the time, but that's fine. To Boston, Holt to the first, to New Jersey, Olmark. Ooh. Like, I'm already kind of like, wait, is that what happened? <laughs> if we're making a deal with Jersey, I mean, this might be wishful thinking, but uh, but I'm really hoping that Mercer's part of it, right? Good morning, Nicholas. What's going on? Fernando Garcia Nunez de Vill oh, I can't. I can't say all that, but uh, what's up, man? Sandroid, puck drops, hell yeah. The knee-jerk overpayment for Lindholm is... I actually saw an interesting take earlier that Lindholm is just the... He's a debrusque center. Inconsistent, kind of like when he's on, he's on. It means so much to the team, but when he's not on, it's, you know, real frustrating. I, I think there's some truth to that, which makes the whole idea way, way more concerning. Jacob, are we liking commenting and subscribing? Well, sure. I would, like, I would certainly like that. <laughs> we own Toronto. 4-0 in the season, man. Not bad. Not too bad. Andy, I do think I do think the bees are going to do something. I think they're going to do something. I At this point, God, who, who knows what they're going to do? But I think they'll do something. Who would be the best person for the Bruins to pursue? Uh, it depends on how much we're willing to give up. Because, I mean, if you just go through, go through the teams. And I like, I made this little list of like, eh, let's maybe we'll chuck through some teams and see like Carolina, you could probably mark in red as sellers and kind of work your way through it. Um, but it's hard to actually pinpoint one guy because it feels like we don't even know who's available at this point. Thank you, Donald. Nicholas, how can they make excuses for that game? I mean, it's not like the Leafs didn't play. They didn't play for periods of it, but, you know. Supposedly Smith is staying in Pittsburgh for the rest of it. Yeah, I actually... Because the Canes blue line is so good for the most part, I guess that kind of makes sense. If they trade for Hurdle, oh my gosh. I don't see a world where anything we give up makes sense for San Jose. Because their timeline's so screwed at this point. But I'd be so if Olmark was part of a like a hurdle package, oh yeah. I'm 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 okay with that. I think I'd I'd survive that. Yeah, Watherspoon got the extension. 800 k Not too shabby. I love that. I wish it was a multi year one. I, I would like to keep him around for a couple more years as a seventh D. Jake, I'm glad you brought up Tuck. We're definitely going to talk about him. That's why the Sabres are actually the ones up right now on my screen, because I was looking at that earlier. Why in the world would he be available? 
honestly, why would he be available? I mean, he's brilliant. He's on a very team-friendly contract. I would take him in a moment. Into the den, treating Hampus as our deadline acquisition as he gets healthy. Yeah, I can see it. I still think they'll do something. It'll be kind of funny if we do this whole stream and they just don't do anything and we're just reacting to other teams getting better. Porca, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. The 11th hour deal for Markstrom. Man, I don't... I don't know what Calgary's doing. If you're going to ship people off, ship people off. I mean, I, I would assume that teams would pay more for two years of Markstrom than one, right? McDavid to Boston for four more and future considerations. Yeah, that's, I'm down. I'm super down. That's that's one for one, really, and I'll, I'll take that. Future considerations for McDavid, really. Watherspoon does need some fighting pointers. My goodness. Every fight he's gotten in so far has kind of made me feel bad. Because I'm just, I'm, I worry about his health as he usually just gets the brakes beat off him. I wouldn't be much better, honestly. I, like, <laughs> I'm a terrible skater. I would get knocked down so quick. Yeah, maybe Tuck is just trying to force his way out. But if he, I don't, does he have any sort of... He has a modified no-trade clause. Oh, a five-team no-trade list. That's not enough to force anyone's hand. Colin Miller, I would re-welcome. Absolutely. Um, I, th I think he's solid. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, deadline's at three. Oh, I think I'm already looking at a couple fan-proposed trades here, Lime. It's... it's it's already kicking off just a bit in here. This is going faster than I expected. Okay, this is... Alright, so the, the big news, obviously, is the Gensel trade here. And every, every, every other Twitter post is about it. Does anybody like what Pittsburgh got as a return? Is anyone, like, satisfied with that there? I mean, obviously the Canes fans are happy, but does anybody on the other end of things, are they happy with that? Scarlet, sorry about the cat poop. <laughs> I just don't think they would extend him if they didn't plan on trading at least one of either Grizz or Forbes. Well, both of those guys are gone next year regardless. Even if they didn't trade them this year, neither is getting re-signed. It, it's, I mean, that, that feels like a done deal and Grizz either one of those actually we talk about the UFAs and losing a guy for nothing as far as it goes Grizz and Forbes you're not up that upset about losing that guy for nothing I like Grizz don't get me wrong he's had a real roller coaster year but at the end of the day you're not going to get a ton of value for him at the deadline and you're not going to re-sign him long term you like what you have coming up behind him it's just not worth it uh, Forbes you you're not going to get any return at all I, I can't imagine any team has any interest in that. Ooh, good luck at the RMV. Yikes. Good luck. XP Carlo, who are you referring to? They're trying to get younger... And get players who want to be here. Are you referring to the Bruins or? Oh, oh, Calgary. Yeah, that's fair. That's valid. But then wouldn't you still move Markstrom? Like, it just doesn't make sense as to why you would hold him right now. Sandroid, the, the, if we actually do lose out on, on Olmark here. And he gets, uh, if he gets traded, that's going to be hurting. It's going to suck, and it is going to negatively affect the team. And it might negatively affect Sway. Like, all of those things are true. Is there a return out there that exists that might be worth it? Yeah, I think so. But who knows? You can still trade them at the draft, too. Like, you don't have to trade Olmark by any means. And especially if, you're going to, if you think it'll affect the team horribly. I see a lot of people getting really concerned, really concerned about how it would affect the whole team outlook. 
there are tough decisions that have to get made. So if Old Mark gets moved and the, the price is worth it, great. It's just going to be kind of a tough pill to swallow. Oh, like go through the cap friendly. Where is a... Uh... Where... It's just a trade machine, right? Oops, misclicks. Oh, yeah. And just start going through these. People get nuts in these, too. They really do. What's our biggest need, Robert? Uh, honestly, I think it's still a top six. Long term, it's a top six center. Short term, like impact this year, I think it's just a top six anything. I mean, you could you can work Zaka to the wing if you want to go center. If you want to go uh, winger, that's fine too. Keep Zaka at the center. I you need somebody else in the top six who can hold their own. Robbie, I agree. It was a fleecing. I really do. Uh, my buddy's a huge Canes fan because I'm down here uh, in in South Carolina, and man, I I called him the second I saw he was playing Hell Divers, which of course why not? Uh, and I interrupted his Hell Diving to go over it with him, and he was pumped. Yeah, to not have Moro in that deal, like Nikishkin, Nikishin was never going to be part of that. He is, I mean, he's not going to be here till 2025, but that guy is going to be unbelievably good in the NHL. And I did, I joked with my buddy that, well, maybe he's part of this deal. If they managed to get him for a Gensel rental, that would, that would be a fleecing in the other direction. Yeah, one of the prospects is, is not... There's a couple prospects that are really nothing in that. Take Forbes and fill our vending machines with Moneyball style. The Olmark for PLD. It, that's that's the rumor that's hurting everybody right now. Reunite the Cliff Forbert line. I don't think they want to do that. <laughs> I don't think they want to do that. Brazo, guys, a stud. Aaron Adams, you got it. Like that's that's how could. How could you have any negative thoughts about him right now? First on the four check, creates turnovers, does everything you want in the fourth line. He's a staple right now. You are not, not moving him. Robbie, you think if Omar, like, you move him, it's kind of the end of the season? I get it. What's up, Darren? Bruins officially list Ollie as available? Is that like a, like a reported thing, or? I can't move away from Twitter for too long. I don't see anything specific, though. And Dangle's having fun this uh this deadline, huh? That Edmondson trade was ugly. Not like not like a ton of assets going out or anything, but Edmondson's been terrible the past couple of years. I'm surprised they wanted him over in Toronto. Trade only in the vibes die? Mm, there's an argument for it. There's a real argument for that. Markstrom will be moved. Wolf isn't ready just yet. Yeah, he's he's looked a little tough, but it's also hard to consider. It's hard to put a lot on him with the way that team's been playing in general. There's some games that they just don't show up. They just don't, like as a as a unit they don't show up. Eh, there's a couple guys that like I feel like that Pospisil guy or however you say his name. I feel like he always shows up, but there's a few of them that just kind of skate in circles. Mike Canada from Canada, currently living in Raleigh. People here are already acting like the cup is theirs after the Gensel trade. Look, I think it makes them favorites. The Canes are already a real good team. I think that's a real argument for that. We said there were calls on goalies between the Bees, Kings, Devils, and Flames. Yeah, that makes sense. Good morning, Daniel. Yeah, the two-week vacation. I'm going to be gone for a little while. I hope to still pump out some sort of content while I'm out there. We'll see how that goes, though. Oli and JDB mixed into Toffoli Talks in New Jersey. God, that's just... There's got to be more coming back, right? Is Toffoli really worth that? Unless DeBrusque is truly a rental? I don't know, man. I think DeBrusque, I think DeBrusque is keepable in general. I, I would like to keep DeBrusque. I don't want to pay him $7.5 million. But I, I like to keep him. I think he's a top six winger. And he's a good one. Defensively, he's strong. Neutral zone, he's strong. He's just a streaky scorer. But we've talked about this a hundred times, is that players in this league, nobody's not a streaky scorer unless you're like a top 15 player in the league. 
Like, unless you're a top 10 guy at your position, everyone's going to be, hey, he's kind of streaky. Like, yeah, because he's not a superstar, right? I mean, DeBrusque, DeBrusque gets more hate than he deserves, I guess is where I'm really putting that. Yeah, need a Swayman extension done at the same time as an Olmark trade for sure. Gautreaux's leaving set a standard in Calgary? Yeah, I, I would say so. I would say so. And I still, that Kachuk trade at the time, I hated. It felt to me like anytime you're giving up the best player in the trade by a long shot, you're going to lose a trade no matter how many pieces come back. I think I, that was just a bad one right out of the gate. Calgary thinks they can make the playoffs. So what? The West has loaded up. And I it's... It's not nothing to make the playoffs. I mean, Bruins fans need to say that, right? Because we've made the finals three times in the past 12, 13 years. But we've had a lot of first-round exits. It's not nothing just to make the playoffs. That being said, there's some years, like, what's the point? The Bruins, they get hot at the right time. They can make a run. Calgary gets hot at the right time. They might be able to force a game seven in round one. I just I can't see that team making a real run here at all. It just doesn't make sense to me. Into the Den, Steve Dangle had to do one of his infamous one-takers. Yeah. I, I never watched them all the way through from him, but he's got to just be so disappointed. That Toronto team refuses to match the Bruins' energy every single time we play. I hope that continues in the playoffs. My goodness. Andy, I don't think Marshan did it on purpose. I, I'm not a professional athlete, but I've done athletics, and I don't, <laughs> I don't see how he could have pulled up and dodged that. Uh, they ran into each other. I just, I can see why Leafs fans are upset. It's just, that's not the thing I'd be upset about in that game. Teams keep retaining 50%. Not a lot of cap space. Hmm, makes sense to me. Billy, you want DeBrusque out? PLD is a bum, I agree. Sean, I do move, uh, Lysel in, like, a great move. In a long-term help kind of way. I, I don't move him if it's a rental, and I, I don't move him if it's a fringe, like, okay, maybe he can play on the third line guy. That doesn't make sense to me. Not, a, not at a 20-year-old point-per-game AHL player. That's He's got room to grow, and there's a lot of negative stuff out there about him, but I, you have to see what you got in him. Try forward in the top six. Brazil eliminated a lot of Leafs players last night. A lot of them. Oh my gosh, I gotta catch up here. There's a lot of messages. Ference looked like he could still play. Dude, I would take him on this team in a heartbeat. Andrew Ference, I mean, obviously, just a team favorite. Boquist has cooled off, but that line hasn't. Because you can't expect that fourth line to score every game like they had been. That's fine. The fourth line is still barreling teams into their own end. As long as that's true, points or not, you keep that line together. Lauko is the only guy I'd consider swapping out of that line, but I'm, right now there's not a name forcing him out, so I would keep it together. The only reason I'd be okay with an Ole trade is because I'm just worried that we don't utilize our tandem properly once again. If we don't, then what's the point uh, other than the vibes? What does properly utilizing it mean in the playoffs? That's my question there, because if it's properly utilized in the playoffs, meaning they're still going to go game to game to game, then at the end of the day, you have to keep Ole. So you wouldn't be okay with the trade. But if you do trade him, then you're forced to play Swayman every single game. And an injury sinks the season, which, I mean, most teams have to deal with that anyway. No matter what deal I look at for D-Strom, I don't see a trade without DeBrusque, and I'd rather lose him for nothing and get the rest of the year with him over losing him for D-Strom. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of get that. I think you got to take a stance one way or another, which you're doing. Uh, I, I just don't... I don't love... I don't love Strom. I don't love his game. What's up, Rick? Toph isn't worth it either. I mean, you want to talk about streaky. I mean, there's another guy who... who there's patches of the year where you go, where, where the hell has this guy been? And also, when it's not working for him with a team, oh my God, it's brutal. Like, if he comes over here and it just isn't a good fit, yikes. Because he gives you nothing. He really does. Actually, I wonder what his player card looks like. These player cards are, um, 
are from JFresh. You guys, I'll, I'll look at a couple of them, but I'm not going to go through every player on these because I don't think that's fair to him. Um, but I would seriously consider going to his Patreon. It's five bucks and you get these great player cards that are really fun to look at and kind of go through stuff. They're not the end-all be-all. He knows they're not the end-all be-all, but they are fun to go through. Um, yeah, this is exactly it. Like, the defense falls off a cliff at times. And when it's not working, it's awful. When it's working, it's great. That's just kind of how it goes with this guy. Very streaky. So if you're saying it's not worth it with him, I kind of I kind of can't argue that. All right, let's let's I'm gonna catch up a little bit here. I'm not a fast reader. What's up, Echo? Sean, I'm surprised to hear you say that. The need to keep their goalie situation with Swayman deciding uh, he's the next binner and doing stupid shit. Just play net and stay out of the physical stuff. I get it because had had he gotten into a fight and hurt, it, it affects the entire season. I don't think comparing him to Bennington is fair for what he's done. And it's also so entertaining. It's so unbelievably entertaining. Uh, early season, I would have been way more okay with it. Game 65? All right, buddy. Ten the net. Right? I uh, I enjoy his antics. I don't think he crosses the line all that often. Um, so I, I think that's a little bit unfair of a, of a comparison. Dangle is all about yelling and screaming. I have nothing but respect for Dangle. I just can't do his style. I can't do it. I, uh, I don't have it in me. Is there a chance in hell we trade Merkulov? Oh yeah. I, I would say he's one of the bigger, bigger chips for somebody who actually who actually kind of focuses in on this team's prospects. Um, I don't think this team's afraid of losing Murky Love. One Keller pipe dream, please. Yes, please. Clayton Keller, yes. It's really messed up here. We can't ever tank and can't ever attract people here. It's a lose-lose, so now they're reporting the Wranglers heat roster. Or the Reby, the Wranglers heat roster. Uh, yeah, I don't know how Calgary does it. I don't know how Winnipeg does it. Um... There's a few teams. Like, Arizona, I don't feel like has that same can't-bring-players-in kind of thing. Uh, I mean, obviously, people aren't in a rush to go there, but it just feels like with Calgary, even Edmonton at times, if it weren't for McDavid, I don't know how some of those locations that are, I mean, freezing cold, not a great social life. I mean, hockey players are innately super social, big-drinking uh, lifestyle. I don't really see how they manage those teams and and create contenders consistently it's tough and i mean i would be annoyed too i'd especially be upset when i'm watching florida just bring people in left and right vegas bring it's really turned into like if you have a great nightlife around you if you have great other assets to the place you're living obviously it's going to be an advantage and boy it's it's been an advantage and a huge disadvantage to some of those places it hurts I, I, calgary's calgary's got a great fan base too they're intense they're they're present. They support that team. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know how to fix it. I, I don't know how I, how you even that out. I think it's always going to be a bit of a advantage for those teams. To be fair, a, a decent amount of those 2011 guys look like they could still play. Char is still an absolute unit. I like to forget the last couple of years of Char's play because he was just so great, man. And Boychuk. Oh, if we could take a Boychuk on this team right now or a Seidenberg, I would take it in a heartbeat. Lauko was the third round pick that we traded for in exchange for Frank Vitrano. I didn't remember that. That's an interesting bit of trivia. Brock. I think Carolina keeping Nadeau was a big win. Lucius is great, but he was a fourth rounder. Drafting well pays off. Yeah, no. Uh, I think Lucius, although he's like a point per game guy at Wisconsin right now, I, the more I've looked into his game after that trade, the more I've been like, ah, this guy's... At, be at best, he sees some NHL games. I don't think he's going to be a big piece in the future. He he would have to, his trajectory would have to leap. It's not about the points. The Wisconsin team is kind of a wagon. It's just about his play style. I, they, he's not fast enough. He's not, his skating's not good enough. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how he develops, but I don't think it's a great piece. Easier to be healthy when the game isn't wearing you down. That's true. 
Need to do something on D and get Mason to Providence for more time. Played better last night, but all in all, he's a panic player and dumps the puck to avoid contact. I I I half agree. I, I think he I don't think it's panic. I think he skates himself into poor positions because he tries to do too much and affect the game too much. And then that's where So yeah, I guess well that's where your panic would come in and he chucks the puck away and it's always a turnover. But when it's not a turnover, God is it gorgeous. Lorai is a tough a tough call. Um but I wouldn't trust him in a playoff series right now. Tyler Tavoli has been passed around more than a sorority shake. Hey, it's National Women's Day, man. <laughs> have some have some respect. It's National Women's Is it National Women in Sports Day or just National I I forget what which one. It's it's on here somewhere. Either way. Still nothing. Still nothing happening yet. Oh, it's just Women's Day. Hell yeah. Women kind of rock. I don't know if you guys know this. Women rock. They're excellent. Big women fan over here. Do I plan to go on any Bruins games? Not for the remainder of the season. Uh, next year, I'll probably get back into it. Made a bunch of trips last year. Financially, it's just... This Thailand trip has taken, uh, taken most of the financials away. What the hell are we looking at here? Uh, that's going to be so weird getting used to seeing Gensel in that. That's the black flag jersey is so good, though. What's up, Chopper? How are you? Trial, no deals yet. Jim, I'm a straight man, but Johnny Blue Eyes Boy Chuck makes me feel things. Anyone from that team should. The old school like, Boy Chuck hip checks. Hell yeah. Oh. He would, some of that shit's illegal now, but <laughs> it was so fun to watch. Uh, TSJ, I expect nothing. You know, honestly, nothing is a stance I can live with. I can live with that this year. Uh, Nick Dowd for cheap would be great. Yeah, I, I wouldn't hate Nick Dowd on this team. I want a ton in return for Olmark, don't we all? Cali from South Africa. I am feeling better. Thank you so much. Hello, how are you? How does one how does one get into hockey living in South Africa? Like have you always been from South Africa? What term and money would you see a Freddie extension being at for next year if he keeps up this play? Um I mean probably with the way the cap's going up, you'd you'd probably look in the, the five million dollar range, wouldn't you? And the term would, I mean, they'd probably do a long-term lockup here. I don't, I don't know about eight years, but four or five would be considered, I think. I'm afraid Olmark will click, quickly slip back into mediocrity and we should get something for him while his stock is still somewhat high. I think that's a natural reaction to goaltending in general, just because it's such a weird position. But even at, even in Buffalo, he was brilliant. He was brilliant, especially when you considered what he had to deal with. So, I mean, it's just a lot of years of consistent high-level play. So, that concern might not be fully warranted, honestly. Odds of Crosby actually moving? I would go with 0%. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine a world where that happens. Hypothetically, if Olmark was traded, would we trade for a backup for Sway or would uh, Busey be, uh, Bussy be an option? Uh, we would get a veteran backup for sure. For sure, they would look for... Or something little. Bruins fan near Toronto here, and the least fans Twitter after last night is absolutely insufferable. My nightmare if they lo lose to them in the first round. It's going to happen eventually. Someday it will happen, and that will be the day that, or the year that the Leafs win the cup. Well, I, I genuinely believe we are the beast that they need to slay to win the cup. Tampa wasn't it last year. They got past the first round. They got smoked in the second. I think if they beat us, everything changes. I, that's super egotistic, and I have no problem saying that. Uh, judging by how the season series went, they have their work cut out for them. And judging by how the trade deadline's going, I think they're making their defense worse and slower. I'm not saying I'm confident against really anybody. This team's a little weird. So it's going to come down to who gets hot for this one. 
But they're not, they shouldn't be the, the team that you fear the most. They are the team you fear losing to the most, though. I get that. I, like, the loss would hurt the most against them. God, that would suck. Think Di Pietro jumps uh, Bussy? Yeah, I, I think there's a possibility of that. I, I didn't like Di Pietro, but he's been stellar. He's been really good. What's up, Freddy? How's it going, man? I always thought Getzel was great because of Crosby. He's better because of Crosby. I think he's still great. He's butt cheeks defensively, though. I mean, horrendous defensively. So I, I do think that there's going to be some some growing pains in there. But if he's sitting with Aho and uh, and Svetch on that top line, everybody's screwed. <laughs> Pitt would lose so much money moving Crosby. They would have to have a Bedard behind them, right? Just like they had Crosby uh, behind... Um, Oh my gosh. My brain's not working right now. But they, they went back to back to back to back with superstars because why not? Well, they were trying to... I'm not a big conspiracy theorist here, but Pittsburgh was going under and then the Crosby sweepstakes. And people like to forget that, that that team was literally being considered for being moved because the turnout was so poor with that team. How is Doug and will we see him soon? God, I hope so. I need more time in the day. I just genuinely do. I want that to become a full series. Like a full cover of the NHL at least once a week series. Just need more time. Freddy, three by three and a half to five. I just think it's closer to five. I just think it's closer to five. Shocker if Crosby ever leaves the pens. Yeah. Decent one-year deal for Wotherspoon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keep him around as long as he keeps playing like this. 5 by 4.5 for Freddy. I'd take that. Ryan, that was obviously Wotherspoon's first fight last night. I think Wotherspoon had one earlier with us as well, right? I think he's I think he's had a couple fights at this point. Quote from Sway last night on potential last hug with Oli. That guy is my brother for life, and he's a huge reason why we've had success every year. I don't even want to, to want to think about it. This is this is your concern, is how much does it affect Sway? And I know you can make the argument, professional athlete, get over it. It's a business. Humans are humans, man. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt if we move them. Least never winning a third round in history is the best stat. I remember when that came up. I don't listen to that podcast consi uh, consistently, but uh, when that came up on their podcast and the clip went around Twitter, my God, was that funny. The way Steve Dangle's heart just shattered, too. He's like, wait, we never won a third round? Yep, nope, never. Never won a third round of the playoffs. Yikes. Sticks and Pox, what's up? How's your channel doing, man? And I am feeling better. We're coming out of it. We've still got a little ways to go. but Okay, you're actually going to hang in there until the deadline ends. That would be cool. And then we would forgive you for leaving us for two weeks. I am going to be around until 4 or 5 p.m. I think the plan is 5 p.m. Just depends if anything is even happening at that point. Lemieux to Crosby and NHL Conspiracy. That's what it was. And then you had Yager in there for a little bit. And yeah, all ugh. Hey, do you remember when Aginla went to... <laughs> Aginla decided to go to the Pens instead of the Bruins and fucked everything up? That was fun. I don't know why that just came to mind. So when are the Crosby, the Bruins rumors heating up? It's just not going to happen. Especially to the Bruins. God, that would be so unforgivable for that franchise, right? Canes must be thrilled they dumped Bunting already. Who wouldn't be? The way Bunting's played this year, it just hasn't been enough. So if Gensel was possibly involved with a Lindholm to Boston trade and he's gone now, what now? Uh, Vancouver pivots, Vegas pivots, teams that were involved pivot and that uh, the Bruins might still be involved. I don't, I don't like the Lindholm idea, especially if you're giving up big assets and Lindholm's still looking at $9 million a year for eight years. I mean, just that's, that player is not worth that. He's not even close to that. And it's, it's going to be a bad deal for the Bruins sooner rather than later. I just don't like it. And for what it's worth, uh, what's, this is, I had this prepared. Cap's likely about 87.7 next year. That's what they're reporting, at least. This is what we have 
already. Uh, I guess we now have Watherspoon as well that we can link in here, but you don't want to go in with him absolutely playing in your six. Uh, we could pretend that Lysel's going to be ready. Do you still have these holes in whether it's DeBrusque, who's spending a lot of money, Lindholm's $9 million. Like, if you drop... Seven million on Sway, which is the reported amount, and then nine million on Lindholm. This turns into eleven million for what five spots, which isn't the end of the world by any means. But you have an expensive spot to fill in your top six, whether it be DeBrusque or somebody else, and you might have an expensive spot to fill on your defense, depending on how they're viewing Lori at that point. There's there's some issues there. If Olmark's moved, that whole equation changes. Nine million for a good 2C is too much. I think that's pretty clear, and I think that's what Lindholm is. Caps and Canes discussing Kuznetsov. Why would they do that? Why would the Canes do that? That's a player that doesn't... This looks like it's going to happen? Hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. How does that make sense? Well, how that doesn't fit. First of all, it doesn't fit the Kane's MO at all. Their style, their structured style play, that's not who Kuznetsov is. Um, you're bringing in a guy with attitude issues who, which they have never shied away from in the past, I guess. How does that work for them? Mm. Let's see something here. Ads. There we go. Do they really need that much more help in their top six? Well, I guess he certainly wouldn't be playing top six. I guess he'd be... But their third line's already been so steady. I don't get that at all. I don't know why you'd... And I'm sure they're not giving up assets for it. No way. Oh, you hear Velma. She's all upset. Sween's going to cook this offseason while out of space? God, I hope so. Riley's buyout money for Bedard. I, I love it. I take that deal. That's a damn good deal. Sticks and pucks. As long as you're having fun with it, man. As long as you're having fun with it. I love that for you, man. I, I, I check in. Those are fun videos. I, I wish I could play. I I can play NHL 24, I guess. But I play stuff on the PC all the time. I just wish I had more. I wish it, it came over to PC. It'd be more fun. Some reason why am I th am I, why am I thinking that Oli is going to the Flyers? I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, well actually, hold on. Yeah, I just thought of what you thought of. Is Hart returning? Ooh. I, did, I forgot about that situation, which is exactly what the NHL wanted us to do, because we're like that, unfortunately. There's ice hockey in South Africa. As you can imagine, it's not very popular. Really wanted to play when I was younger, but never happened. Started playing in my 30s and loving it so much. That's awesome. That is so cool. That is really cool. I got to check that out. That is really cool. Oh, how fun would that be? A South African... Um, oh, she's very upset. I wonder what happened. A South African, like, Olympic hockey team? That'd be really cool. I don't know. Uh, again, the ruined Aaron Ward's insider career before it started that year. That's true. <laughs> no way that goalies should be signed for more than five years. Goalies can fall off the edge of flat. Yeah, no, I get that. Sometimes it's more about, hey, that's what it takes to do business is you have to sign them long term to keep them around. Uh, just like the Lindholm deal, the eight years. The last three years of that deal is going to suck. They're going to suck, but it is what it is. Because Netsoff traded to the Carolina Hurricanes for a 2025 third-round pick. Washington remaining uh, retaining 
One more year next season at seven point eight million. What probably got that good snow? That's true. Uh, not true. I don't know that. I don't know that. I didn't. Nope. Uh, why? 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 Jasmine, nothing uh nothing big's happened with the Bruins yet, but the Canes are shooting themselves in the foot. Hart will not be returning for at least two years. Maybe it is an only landing spot then. Scott, I also love the Water Spoon contract extension. I'm right there with you. I've got a lot of friends that play in Australia, which blows my mind. That's pretty cool too. Why are we why are the Canes doing this? What's up, brew guy? From Switzerland. Excellent. Kessel of the Nux, yeah. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing for that. Oh my gosh, what why would they do this? I don't understand how him in the lineup makes them better. Well, there's your Dre Fresh card. Fucking yikes, dude. Why? Why? Ah. Somebody explain this to me? <laughs> the, the reason I'm so shocked is because the Canes, like them or not, savvy, dude. They're a savvy franchise. They get it. They don't do the whole rental thing. They don't throw assets away. You can make the argument that they don't go in enough because you have a great team. You should be going for it. But this just screams... Uh, I, I don't know what it screams. They're, they're going too hard. They got a, they got a sip of the, the confidence juice and they went for it. Hunter Henry just signed a three-year contract with the Patriots? All right. I, the Patriots make me sad most of the time, but most of the time that's not fair. I had twenty glorious years with that that squad. I'm not I'm not that upset about it. Carolina, go get the real deal, James Neal. Hell yeah, brother! Do you, I, James Neal is a legend in my house. They would and Knuckle Puck, my my Canes fans buddy. He would love that, especially if James Neal never saw the ice ever. Uh This is disgusting. Robert, I I feel where you're coming from with the Swayman not worth $7 million a year. Hasn't proven it yet. Plays every other game. Been very, not sheltered, because obviously he's starting these games against big teams and he's winning. But it's, it's different than not having a true 1B behind him, or however you want to say that. So I get your hesitation with $7 million a year for eight years. I get it. I'm not going to lose sleep over it because I think Swayman's that good. Who knows? Who knows? What do you think of Ryan Johansson with Philly retaining some money? Uh, like that trade in general with the Avs, I, I loved it for both sides. I think Philly's making some tough but good decisions and gaining some assets and has a Monaghan situation in their hands where they could switch him. Uh, if you're saying Ryan Johansson to us with Philly retaining more of his contract, no thank you. I do not. I'm not a big Ryan Johansson guy, and I don't see him fitting very well on this team. This is like a Galaxy Brain moves you'd only see NPCs do in the EA NHL games. I guess. Uh, you have to... If you get Kuznetsov on the third line, and you've got Stahl, and it, Kuznetsov has to move to the wing, first of all. Uh, you, you gotta hope the other two guys are making the difference defensively to an epic proportion. I mean, look at this. My goodness. Like, we know it wasn't going well over there, but... 
Those are some steep differences. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Canes must think they could do something with Koozies last year. I guess, man. I guess. Brock, I'm not a huge Sox fan. Like, they're the team I root for, and I'll watch the playoffs, but I'm a Fairweather fan, uh, big time on that one. I'll, I'll admit that all day. Baseball is just not my sport. I'm also terrible at it. I'm a, I was really, really good at soccer. Like, I would, I would argue I was excellent. I was decent at hockey that didn't involve ice. Um, decent at basketball. And then baseball, the hand-eye coordination was never there. I couldn't swing a bat to save my life and make contact. I, I fucked up t-ball man i was terrible uh not good <laughs> believe the canes are now over the cap no i think they had room for this one i believe they had room for this one uh current cap says 5.8 yeah at 50 percent retained they had room for this one takes a bunch of their cap though i don't i don't get this one i don't get this move and my phone might ring shortly uh as that canes fan goes what what the hell swipe through all that just swipe through that yeah okay I I don't get it Adam screw work go bees go bees would you be disappointed if we didn't do anything on the trade deadline today considering last year and how this year was supposed to go uh, no, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Because the one thing I need this team to do is make a decision. That's all I need. I need it to be, hey, we are focused on this season, and we're going to ride it out and see how it goes. We'll extend Swayman, extend DeBrus during the season, whatever. But I can't have them halfway in, halfway out. Oh, we'll spend a couple assets to bring in some guys who don't move the needle all that much, just shore up some positions. No. It's either they... They grabbed long-term assets using what little assets we have and stuff that will affect the team for years in a positive way or stand pat. Super comfortable with either. One's less fun than the other, but it is what it is. Just Darth at that Bees vs. Isles game. Yikes. I'm sorry. I am sorry. You watched one of the worst games of the season live. I'm sorry about that. Until either of our goalies can put up Rask numbers in the playoffs, they don't get the Rask money. Tim, you're not wrong. And I kind of love that for once I'm seeing someone compliment Rask. Bullet dodge for the bees because uh, we can't get Kuznetsov? Yeah, I would say so. Look, maybe I'm not that smart. Maybe the Canes know something I don't. But boy, that's a that's a risk. That one's a risk. Not because of the price. I mean, a third round pick feels a little high. But well, they're retaining a lot of money, so that I guess that makes sense. That's where that comes in. But you're also spending the rest of your cap on a guy that I, I you're not that confident is going to positively affect the team. Michael, you're right. The Bruins are in a decent spot, all things considered. Next year's cap space is in their favor, everything like that. Uh, especially with, and this goes back to it, Lindholm might not extend in Vancouver. It's not looking great over there. Not that Vancouver is looking like crap, but the fit's not looking good. Uh, so he might be available. Hannafin's probably getting locked up, which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll see how that goes. So th there's got to be a little bit of availability. One C is just aren't... They aren't available on the market like that. So we're going to have to figure some stuff out internally. There is rumors of Rask coming back. I can't imagine that. that his injury literally ended his career. Uh, that's not really something you typically see people come back from. Kramitz, what's up, man? Jasmine, I want four more gone. Yeah, right there with you. Just because it makes your team better, it's addition by subtraction. Eberly in Seattle still discussing those contract talks, huh? I don't know. I don't think it's a bad idea. But, uh... I know there's a lot of pressure from Vegas to pry him away. 
I'll die on the Rask Hill. Good for you. We need more people who will, honestly. Hope Carolina goes out early. I I don't hate Carolina the same way some people do. I enjoy... I'm, that team is going to be fun as hell to watch, especially because Netsov's going to make it more interesting. So I'm excited to watch their games at very least. We went all in last year and for good reason and got burned. I bet we do nothing. Yeah. I, I, don't, I wouldn't argue with that. I, we should have gone all in last year. I think that's pretty obvious, and there's a lot of asterisks on why we went out early, but um, tough tough to go all in two years in a row. The Atomic Lizard, what is up? Man, I am feeling a bit better. I'm still struggling to catch my breath, but, you know. Mikey, how are you doing, man? I'm doing well. I wear my 40 reverse retro proudly. I need to get a 40 in here. I need to get a 40. I need to get a 46. Um, I need to get a Glenn Murray at some point. That's that's what I've been looking for for a while. I might just have to get a blank and get it custom. But I'm also <laughs> low-key praying on their downfall for the Canes. Yeah, that's fair. I My life would become hell if the Canes won it all just because of where I live. Any prospect updates on Lee Sale and Merck? Are we holding uh, for good reason? We, I don't think we're holding. I think they're involved in trade talks. Uh, but for Lee Sell, they don't want to move him. For Merck, they're willing to. They like what they have. They just, I think they're understanding that a team might value those guys more than we do. TSN has a who says no segment. Pasta for Kachuk and it's the cats that say no. Look, there's, I think both sides say no. I really do. I don't think... Kachuk is the heart and soul of that Panthers team. I don't, I don't think they'd, they'd say yes to that. I don't think we'd say yes to moving pasta. I think both sides would go, we're very happy with what we have. Go away. I think Kachuk is like a top 10 player in this league. Genuinely. Nismo, I feel the same way. Sweeney's going to pull something out of left field. It's it's going to be bizarre. It's not going to make sense. Met Tuca at a charity golf tournament in Maine. Dude's so nice. So nice. Everything I hear about him is great. Can't help but feel that Pittsburgh would have gotten better assets back if they kept with the three-way with Vancouver. You know, it depends on who you listen to because based on most reports, they were saying, nah, I, Vancouver wanted the price to lower. They weren't okay with it. Everyone needs a PJ Axelson Gold Tiger. Everyone does. Everyone needs one. I do need one. I desperately need one. Can we get picks for any contract dumping today? Uh, a JVR? <laughs> but, like, that's a rental. You're not worried about dumping that amount of money. That's a guy you could get a pick or two for. Late, later round, middle rounds. Uh, I mean, you could you could move to Brust for picks if you wanted to. I, I wouldn't, but... How many jerseys do I own? I think I'm just below 90. I, I think I'm in the 80, high 80s somewhere. There's a closet over there full of them. It's bending. the. I got to get a better setup for all of this. I haven't bought a jersey in a while. Financially, it's just not always all that feasible, and things have gotten real expensive. Maybe Potter can take a jump forward for more center depth, but that's a lot to pin on a youngster. I think the expectation, especially finding out he was playing in a brace for a while there, uh, that you would definitely think would affect him. I think the expectation is at very least a, a capable 3C, and maybe as soon as next year. I'm pretty excited for him to come back. I hope this injury isn't like a long-term kind of thing. Emily Kaplan still saying Boston is working on a big deal outside the Lindholm talks. I like Emily Kaplan. Don't Please don't take this the wrong way. When she said the Bruins were a team to watch, what? Uh, why? I... She has inside information, but she just kind of said it and walked away, and that just feels like saying stuff, right? I don't mean that in, like, a really negative way, but I didn't take a lot from that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I like her. I really don't want this to be taken as some sort of, like, me challenging what she's talking about, but I don't... There wasn't a lot there, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't, who knows? Whatever does happen, we'll credit her with it if it's a big swing. Rask would have won the Conn Smythe in uh, 2019 if the Bruins had won Game 7. Yeah. 
Even if he gave up four softies? Probably. <laughs> he probably would have. That whole... Uh, that Carolina series, if I'm rem remembering this run correctly. Holy crap. That, that conference final where Rask just put them down. Just unbelievably put them down. It was beautiful. That was beautiful. Florida being so good right now heals the wound a little bit. Eh. Do you live in North Carolina? No, South Carolina. What's up, Jason, Ozzy, Brew, and Connolly? Pinsent, how's it going, man? Darkest Dungeon, <laughs> three viewer streams. That was fun, though. I wish I could get back to that. I wish I could stream more often. It's so fun talking with you guys, like, like live rather than the videos. Just because, I mean, it's just more fun. It's all a timing thing. God, it's all a timing thing. Why do people have to work? Work is stupid. I love my job, but why do we have to work? Leafs would have loved to have them. Uh, referring to Rask. Yeah, Squeaky. Wouldn't they have loved that? A uh, little, little, little fact back there. Sign Bolesky 8x8. Eight eight. Get out of here, Billy. Get out of the chat right now. Get out. You know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. If we sell four more, do you think we would get anything more than some draft picks? Brother, sister, I, I think we're giving draft picks, draft picks to sell four more. I think, I, I think we have to give up to get him off the, the books. Pasta wouldn't leave Boston. He would say no to everything. God, I hope so. God, I hope so. Buknevich? Oh. The amount I would love a Buknevich on this team. Mm, what we'd have to give up, God knows. God knows. There's some bad blood between the Blues and the Bruins, too. There was a... It's kind of funny, because you go over... One of the things that I really wanted to look at... Columbus should be selling some pieces, right? I, I want a Boone Jenner. I know they won't trade a Boone Jenner. It's a great contract. It's a great player. Uh... I want him. Do you think the way last year went with, oh God, who was it? Gavrikov? Whoever we were in on with Columbus and then we pivoted last second and the way Columbus reacted to that and how mad they were at us. I don't think we, we get to have a deal with Columbus anymore for a couple of years. I think that has to fade away. But boy, would I like a couple names on this roster. What time is the deadline? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I would do Kachuk for Pasta one for one. I don't know what I would do there. I would consider it. God, I would. That's weird to say. Jasmine, I don't think you can reasonably move Patra with the position you're in. Right? You can't do that. You just couldn't. You're just so weak down the middle for long term. Thank you, Gold Tiger. Four more in Debrusque and a 2025 third for Zegras. Uh, Anaheim says no. I would do that, though. I would. But Anaheim says no. And thank you for the, thank you for the two bucks, man. I really appreciate that. Anyone know where I can order a 100th year Bruins jersey with Swayman's name and number on it? Uh, I, I don't know if Hockey Authentic has them. I would check there. Cool hockey is hit or miss. Sometimes I hate what they've got and I get mad at them. And then sometimes I've, I've got a bunch of cool hockey jerseys and some of them are great and some of them aren't, unfortunately. But hockey authentic and cool hockey is kind of where I start. Um, ben H. Sports on eBay or if you go to the Hockey Jerseys Discord, you can actually get them just a little bit cheaper. Uh, he gets blanks. So you could get that jersey and then go through a customizer, but it usually costs another 100 bucks to customize it with shipping and everything. So... Uh, things, there's the ways to go about it, but it's, um, those are, those are the places I would start. Thoughts on possibly moving Beecher and Lee Sell? I would move either one. Lee Sell, if the price was right, I don't want to walk away from potential high-end talent right now, uh, with the way this team is, is sort of on that cusp of being competitive, not being competitive. Without the start to the year we had, we are in a much different situation this year, so it's, it's hard to move away from talent. Beecher, if a team values him, I'm not I'm not gonna lose any sleep. Bring back the bloated contract of Krug, you cowards. Get out of here, Jim. You know what you're doing. Get out. 
With Declare off the board, there isn't anything we should do now. Dude, you know how bummed I was about that? That felt like such a great opportunity for us to snag some help. And they, they gave up a real, I think they gave up a real prospect there. I don't know much about the guy, but from what people are saying, there's, there's something there. If Vancouver Approaches is offering Lindholm for DeBrus one for one, do you do it? Ooh. One for one, you probably do it just because you need more help at the center position and you'd like to move Zaka to the wing, but Vancouver doesn't take that deal. I'm overvaluing my guy. That's a tough one, though. That's a little tough. I think I... I have been so negative on the Lindholm stuff. Uh, don't be a fence sitter. Got to make a decision here. Yeah, I do it. I do it. I do it. Especially if Lindholm has interest in extending for less than nine fucking million dollars. Like getting rid of Felino to the Hawks was a shitty move, but it helped with cap space. But you see what's happening with the Hawks. I'll trade Forbort for Felino. I would trade Forbort for Felino. <laughs> I absolutely would. I don't want to do that, but I. I would do that. Justin Williams was a, a pain in the ass. If that went to seven games, Justin Williams was going to be dangerous. Rast did make games simple, which I think our goaltending does right now as well. I think our goaltending does a good job of making games simple. I thought Coyle was going to kill somebody last night, not just drop the gloves. The way he was... I mean, no breaks... He was going through people. He was hammering dudes all night. I don't know, man. That was brutal. I don't I don't know how he's feeling this morning, but it's not good. Man sore. Jenner is a perfect Bruin. Boone Jenner, man. Uh. This is talk that Winnipeg is moving back to Atlanta if the do what team moves to the West Division. Man, why? <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta might not deserve another chance. Uh, who does move out west then? Who could you... Detroit? I guess? I don't know. I don't, I don't know geography very well. <laughs> Corrali coming back for, four, for line four? Yeah, I'd be down with that. A Lauco improvement? Absolutely. Jarmo isn't there anymore, which is fair. That is fair. Columbus might be back on the table. If you're a Columbus fan, I don't know how you're handling this either. It's <clears throat> not great. Not great over there. I. It's tough to watch some, some teams just bottom out over and over and over again. It's just awful. Apparently Bruins looking at Pacioretty along with other teams. Yeah, that makes sense to me, actually. Before the season started, I was I like, eh, Pacioretty. It, it, that makes sense to me to kind of bring him in for a second. Um, I wouldn't take it. I hate taking a flyer on him. I don't think he'd be very, very expensive. Chickering and Matthew Joseph. Uh, that's going to be expensive. That's going to cost you a lot. Hey, Callie. Thank you so much. Puck drops. People really like the puck drops. Didn't expect that to become a staple, but boy, has it. Four more Beecher and a fourth for Roslovic, maybe? God, I would take that deal in a heartbeat, which probably means Columbus says no. They probably want something a little a little steeper in the prospect department for a Roslovic, even with how he's looked this year. Still looking for a Bergeron 2012 lockout jersey for Logano. Seems they're made out of unobtainium. <laughs> Four hours to deadline, don't see us doing anything? I don't know, there's still time. Would absolutely kill for a player like Dylan Strom for a playoff run. Not a big Strom guy. But I see the allure. That game last night was top three of the year. That might be the best game of the year. The, the most entertaining by far. The way that physicality went, my goodness. Just can't see the Bruins making a trade for anything but depth today. You have an argument. You have an argument for it. What's up, Sean? How's it going, man? I think Coyle and Freddie are very underrated by other teams. I think Freddie would be coveted by other teams. I think you could genuinely... This might sound ridiculous. You might be able to get a first-round pick for Freddie. Right now. Maybe that's me being a huge homer. 
But with the potential he has, he is 26 years old, so this is kind of where he's at, right? But you put him in an elevated role. He's looked good in those roles. He's on a super team-friendly contract for another year. Yeah. Oh, TSJ, you know if Winnipeg goes back to Atlanta, they're going to be the Thrashers. They're going to try to bang all the buck out of the uh, the nostalgia. And I will buy a jersey. I'm in a weird dilemma as a Czech fan because I want the Beast to succeed, but if they don't, we'd get him and Zaka for the World Championship in Prague. That is a dilemma. That is a dilemma. I mean, I, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Bees were extra up because the Leafs stayed in the dressing room during the pregame cup recognition. I'm not going to lie. I'd stay in the dressing room too. Screw that. Wait, I'm not going to be out there celebrating with you over your cup 13 years ago. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I love the way the Bees responded to it, but I, I just understand Leafs players being like, what are we doing? Why, why would I want to be in on this? I want to get patches just to post cursed pictures of him in a bee sweater. I would love that. Um, I'd also really love editing the picture of the most dangerous hit of all time from Chara. Because patches is okay, so we can talk about that now, right? We can do that now? I think? I don't know. Am I in trouble? I don't know. But just have him in a bee's jersey during that hit. I think that'd be kind of funny. I don't root for injuries. I'm not happy with injuries, obviously. But Patches is okay, so we, we get to talk about it. I think. I think that's the, the rule. The second Babcock was hired, I knew they were doomed. That's fair. Hard pass in Dubois. Yeah, God, that's a scary, scary rumor going around. Freddie reminds you of Terry O'Reilly. What a compliment. Holy shit. Any idea why the league has gone dead silent on Hurdle? Because uh, he has seven more years on an expensive contract. That's just it. It's just so hard to move those around. Jerseys are so, so expensive right now. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I've, I've had to all but stop buying right now. And it's a huge bummer, but it is what it is. And I'm extremely lucky to have the amount I have. And so I'm certainly not going to complain. But collector's items in general, people are just getting forced out. It's like everything else. Nothing gets to be... Nothing gets to be leisurely or fun for middle class or lower these days. And not to make a whole statement about it, but everyone's getting priced out of everything. Everything. Oh, that's interesting. Robert Chalmers does a great job going over our prospects. He, um, like he says here, he's not like a source or anything, but for him to say this, he's usually coming from somewhere. Wouldn't be shocked teams have asked about uh, Oscar Jelvic, who's been great. My goodness. He's another guy to kind of keep an eye on in the next couple of years. Great was smashed. Was he? I didn't see a lot of the boys. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. When he was walking out with the hair and everything, he looked like he just got a got a tussle going in the, in the duck boat. Is this, is the whole deadline just going to be Kuznetsov? Like, I just don't get it. I don't get that move. Wait, what? And Everly re-signs, but it's only for two by five, basically? What? I thought he would have gotten more years. I thought that was the point. God, why wouldn't you move over to a contender then? Weird. Nismo, I also have that kind of superstition with the jerseys. Like, I wear what I need to wear when the vibes are right. That's it. Ashley, you think it's a full no trade clause for Everly? Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, I just looked down and boom. Hey, that helps. He gets to decide where he goes in a year. Unless the Seattle Kraken are good again. My apologies. That's a great deal for Everly, though. You gotta like that for Seattle. 
My grill jersey is saved. Yeah, he was great. And just the name is great. Scarlet, I'm right there with you about the quality of the jerseys. With Fanatics taking over full-time, it's going to be awful. They've been so horrendous for years, and but they've got the money. And so the NHL went their way, as they always do. Devils and Kings still rumored sniffing around our goalies. That Kings deal better be fucking incredible if we're sending them over. And obviously, the Devils deal should be too, but I just, I'm so worried about this Pierre Luc Dubois rumor. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine taking on a contract like that and Sweeney being okay with it unless there was something huge else coming. Yeah, Krejci was always kind of a stoic dude for the most part. Usually had a big smile on his face, but like, not a not a lot of statements coming from him. I, I was lucky enough to meet him once. Uh, really nice guy. I, my, he was actually at my work, unfortunately, because it was a, a tough day for them. Um, but one of my coworkers, everyone knows I'm a huge Bruins fan, and he was in a consult with a doctor, and the uh, I work in a veterinary hospital. For those of you who don't know. Um, and the, so the doctor's going over, like, his dog's health. And one of my coworkers, oh, by the way, we really need you to meet somebody. I was like, that's the rudest fucking thing. Can we not? Like, I was good enough just seeing him and give him a little wave or whatever. I didn't have to talk to the guy. He's, he's dealing with stuff with his dog. But he came over and chatted with me for a second. It was really nice. So far, the jersey that's most expensive is my Coho Pittsburgh Penguins Yager jersey. Uh, and Reebok Flurry jersey, which is surprised about since they were given to me by a family friend. That makes sense. I don't know what my most expensive one is. It might be the Thornton Pooh Bear. Um, I'd have to st I'd have to go over to the, like the spreadsheet and everything. I forget half of what I own at this point. Again, very very lucky, very very lucky to, to be able to even say that. Um. That Eberly contract is a good omen to re-signing DeBrusque cheaply. If you like DeBrusque, if you're in my camp and you like DeBrusque, although this season hasn't been great for him, it does kind of help with the negotiations. You can't be that upset. Jasmine, what's the Dubois? The uh, yeah, the Dubois rumor. So the Dubois rumor is Pierre Luc Dubois coming over in an Olmark trade with other things being around. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. Kopitar for Olmark, only trade I'd accept. Scarlet, you, why would, what? Why would we do that? Why would we do that, Scarlet? <laughs> I want Byfield too, that guy is crazy. I would love Byfield. I would be very satisfied with a Byfield. Oh my gosh. I can't believe, I can't believe that's even a rumor. This is, this actually, this is a true statement. Uh, um, the amount of, the amount of Twitter accounts on Bruins Twitter that I know are not insiders. I'm not an insider, by the way, but I know these guys are insiders and they'll take a tweet from Friedman and they'll just retype something in their own words about 15 minutes later about a rumor and be like, I'm hearing this. And you're like, dude, we know you don't have any inside sources. What are you doing? It's kind of foolish to me. I don't get it. You don't really gain any clout off it. No one's going to trust you from it. I don't get it. What would I want to get from the Kings in an Olmark deal? I'd want to get Clark. <laughs> it would never happen. Ever. But that's what I'd want. Um, realistically realistically i don't i don't think byfield's on the on the table <sighs> man i don't like it fiala might be on the table he does have a no movement clause but those are kind of the ones you're looking at i think if they're looking to move pierre luc dubois to us though they better send something else to us and it better be great because that's a lot of money you're taking on
Ellen. <laughs> I'm partially watching so that I can say at the end I watched the whole live stream and nothing happened. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I have a Charlestown Chiefs jersey because that's a classic movie. Yep, absolutely. Right now, but it's still crazy to me that Dustin Brown got a statue in L.A. I think it was crazy to me, too, at the time, but the more I've thought about it, the more I'm like, you know what? Some people, some players just mean more to a fan base. You know? They just do. And I think that's kind of awesome. Right? Okay. Malcolm Subban goes to his 14th team or whatever it is. Future Considerations. All right. We finally saw Future Considerations get moved. Good for him. I have to refill the coffee soon. If Dubois had put it together mentally, he would be an awesome 1C, but that's a big if on whether B's locker room can lift that. That is a huge if, because the guy's playing fourth line minutes right now, or at some games he is. And when we talk about mentally putting it together, you can do you can do a bad attitude that, that has to like get worked into the room. You can deal with just immaturity or whatever. When it comes to not giving a shit, that's not a player I want to root for. That's just not. If it comes to, I don't care about this team, this sport, this franchise, anything, the fans, I don't care, why the hell are we going to care about you? It's such a huge if. What's the latest with Lucic? Is it the end for him? Yeah, I would, I would say so. I can't imagine anyone really touching him at that point. And I really don't want to get into a Lucic conversation here. Uh, but I, I do think that's... Uh, that's that's gonna be it. Scarlet, I really like his name. <laughs> With the benefit of hindsight, seeing his legs not fall off, would you have taken Kane's one at two point seven five? I would not touch Kane because I don't like him. This one's beyond hockey. I think he's a I, from all the stories, everything, and that's. You could say I'm passing judgment without knowing. That's totally fine. I think the dude's a piece of shit. And I'd rather not root for him. The white meth bear? Is it up right now? Oh no, I think I think he got moved off the wall. That was a good one. I have that white meth bear and... Oh god, I'm gonna forget who it was. There was a beer league champion... I'm going to find the name for. I, I I forgot off the top of my head. I have a terrible memory. But he sent me a jersey that is a a black version of that with the meth bear on front. It's a beer league jersey, but they're champions, so I have a championship sweater is all I'm saying. And it was it's sick. It's also not up on the wall right now, but uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. Have a Bobby Orr autograph late 80s home jersey. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. I want to buy my wife a white centennial jersey with Swayman's name and number, but I can only find a blank one that I would have to have done later. And the blank one, ew. It's 238? He for a blank. My God. Only in a pick for Dubois, Kaliev, and, and Roy. That is a lot of money coming back. I, I really like Matt Roy. Don't get me wrong. If we could extend him, he's a solid, solid defenseman. Uh, I don't... We'd be spending too much money on the right side, actually. That doesn't really make sense, unfortunately. Because he's not really an offhand kind of guy. Carlo's not going anywhere for a little while. Obviously, Mac isn't going anywhere. Uh, Kaliev, I'd be happy to have. Don't get me wrong there. I just... That's a ton of money, and Roy would likely be a rental. I don't think that I don't think that's right for us. How are we going to keep DeBrusque? DeBrusque is very easy to keep. It's the good news. It's just if they decide to. Sweeney going to finally get Gavrikov? Doubt it. I doubt it. I just don't know why you would help the Kings by taking off that that Pierre Luc Dubois contract. Right? Like, I, why would we help them with this? They need to move him. 
Oh, yeah, Considerations is still one of the best in the league, man. Decades of this. Father was sheep. Four more to Ottawa for a 2085 fifth round pick. Now, look, I know you're joking, but I really do want to see someone be like, hey, it's not future considerations. It's 2032 six rounder. I just think that'd be so funny. Like, why not do that instead of future considerations? I think that's just way more fun. Obviously, you can't project out that far and you're actually losing a pick, but it's funnier. Three fifteen a.m. and you're working through this deadline, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this this is tough. There is nothing happening, man. We uh we were aware that this was a risk, but I would expect. Oh, and yeah, the Flyers are looking to flip Johansson, which makes sense. Which makes sense. I I just don't think he's a fit here. I would expect 1 o'clock to hit and things to start rolling a little more. You know, GMs, they like to sleep in late. Kane is a tool, but he's the best American hockey player of all time, unfortunately. Yeah, I can I, I can say both of those things. Yeah. Scarlet, shouldn't the bees have like 18 million at free agency this year? Yeah. Yeah. Swayman and DeBrus can easily be fit. Uh, the problem is... Um, there's still a lot to get done. I think it's become so evidently clear. For what it's worth, it's like $26 million. Um, I think it's become very evident that if Olmark is not traded at this deadline, which I really, I don't think he's going to be, but we'll see. Uh, he is going to get traded in the offseason. Because you don't want to trade him midseason next year. But you're also not going to extend him again and have like 14 million in goaltending on your roster. Like you can't do that forever. So you'll get value for him uh, probably at the draft, I would guess, if it doesn't happen this season. That's and that's reasonable and that's fine. Uh, so that 26 million does turn into 31. Like there's a lot of space to be had. That'll go fast because you have top six roles to cover. You have a backup goaltender to cover. There's a lot to get done, uh, but DeBrusque and Sway can absolutely be fit. Only Bruins action today has been Watherspoon extending. That's right. That's right, wings for Mary. I heard future considerations are solid, good depth, all the good for cap space. Yeah, great team-friendly deal. Excellent depth. Um, you never hear about injuries with them. Just consistent, consistent, consistent. I wasn't paying attention. Are we talking about Evander Kane or Pat Kane? Uh, Pat Kane, yeah. Could definitely see Fiala to Boston. I mean, that fit makes sense to me. God, it just... Do you move Oli for that? I don't know, man. I got my Vegas Golden Knights away blank jersey for just 80 bucks since the guy who was selling it wanted out of his collection. If you take some time to learn the difference between fake jerseys and, like, actually manufactured jerseys, it's a great way to go about it. Is to find cheap blanks... Get them customized. It costs you, instead of $300 for altogether, it's going to cost you closer to $180 to $200. Um, it's just a little more work and it takes time. Kind of glad Donnie is going easy on me so far for the triple bypass. Damn, Sean. Yeah, we need you to stay nice and healthy. Let's ease into this. Nothing crazy. We're, we're, we're a little back. Hold on. Sweetie forgot to set the alarm this morning. Hopefully he gets in the office and does something soon. Eh, we'll see. Why would Kings be selling it with how bad PLD is? If the fit's been so bad, and Pierre-Luc Dubois hates it, and the Kings hate it, any chance to move out of an $8.5 million contract that's playing in your bottom six should be taken. That isn't considered selling, in my in my opinion. That's That's just getting business done. Any chance we can get some screen time from Larry? There is a chance. I don't. I don't know where he's at right now, but maybe I could go find him. I don't know if he's he's put up at his his little home. Two eighty for a blank jersey is a no go. Absolutely. Definitely a lot quieter than I thought. Yeah. 
Summon Larry. To Foley to Winnipeg. Wait, do we got something? Uh oh. Uh oh. Closing in on trading to trade Sunday Tyler to Foley to Winnipeg. Okay. That makes all the sense in the world to me. I love that trade for Winnipeg. I don't know what they're giving up, obviously, but that's a good fit. God, that middle six is going to be scary. They got so much scoring talent now. Nothing, nothing here yet. I was wondering why the Jets had stayed so quiet while the West continued to just go nuts. Want we'll to see how the rotation goes in the playoffs before moving Oli? That's fair. I think that's valid. Charleston Pollen is sick, right? Yeah. No, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Almost everyone gets sick this time of year, and it's usually because of that. I, I think I caught something else, but... Oh, Fiala and Pasta have a little history. All right. I don't hate the move. I really don't, but it's just... Ugh, I don't know. Fiala's a weird one to me. Never buy jerseys at full price. I mean, there are times when I do just because I really want it. And to be fair, I I do search through the places that you would typically find them cheaper. Once in a while, like... Like the All-Star jerseys and stuff... And getting a Bergeron, I had to get this blank and then get it customed. I just, I had to have it, you know? I had to, had to have this one. It needs a wash right now. Yeah. I'm not losing sleep about not getting to Foley. Sway and Oli identical 5.5 five by 5, 5. 5 by 5 and right off into the sunset. <laughs> that is a great move by Winnipeg, man. They, they, there's too much competition in the West, and if they're really looking to make that next, that next push here. And also, in the East, we're going to do our thing, but how fun is watching the first round and second round going to be watching out West and going, you guys beat the shit out of each other. All right, you have fun. That's going to be great. Uh, is Winnipeg the best bet at knocking out Vegas? I would argue Colorado still is. I think Colorado's just got everything. They have everything. I haven't checked in on Michelli in a while, Scarlett. I'm not sure how he's doing right now. Fiala speaks fluent Czech. I wish I spoke a different language. That'd be sick. To fully six team in ten seasons. Because I think sometimes people get a bad rap where they think because you've moved around a bunch of teams, you're you're bad or you're a toxic guy or something like that. I think Tofoli is just that perfect level of when he's a good fit, he's a good fit, but he kind of gets on the fringes of, well, he's movable if the team's not doing well that year, and he keeps going to teams that have a bad year after they have a good year. I think a lot of that's been luck of the draw. To be fair, they have been a couple teams where he has not been a good fit on at all. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Return for Tofolia's draft picks? That makes sense. Winnipeg doesn't have a ton, as far as I know, in the form of prospects uh... oh yeah look at that and monahan with the way he's been playing you gotta like what they're doing so far what is the deets though what are the deets tell me who gets what Who would be second goalie if Omar got moved? Bussy called up. Uh, in all likelihood, 
I could see them making a move for a, a like, career backup guy. I don't have a name for you, unfortunately. Did Bertuzzi get even uglier since last season? Yeah, it's the, um, it's the big dumb leaf on his chest. It's, like, you know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? That ends, like, adds, like, negative 40 or looks. All right, Dickie Darkside, what do you got? Hear me out. We get PLD, then call it Montreal, whom we know will overpay for overrated Frenchmen. We flip him for Goulet in a first. Uh, I hate to say it, Montreal has looked like they actually know what they're doing lately. I don't like it, but my goodness. They've been, they've been pretty savvy. I know you're just joking, though. I love at the top of your feed it says what is happening, and I feel like that fits you perfectly. Yes, correct. That's... <laughs> that's... Odds of the Bruins winning the Stanley Cup is diminishing really fast to the trade deadline. Robert, I'm going to be honest, I think it stayed pretty much the same. Other teams are getting stronger, but this team is capable of winning if everything goes right. And I kind of felt that way the whole time. Everything has to go right. I, like, you're not wrong. Teams are getting stronger around us, other than the Leafs. The Leafs have not done anything to get stronger, in my opinion. Uh, Tampa's gotten a little better. But that's a, that's about it in the East. I, I, there's not well, obviously the Canes. I can't believe I just forgot that, but um, that was gonna be a tough matchup anyway. What's up, Daddy O? Uh, I'm feeling all right, a little better. Hope you're doing well. Bert did look better on the Bruins. Scarlet just looking at his stats. Michelli seems to be playing pretty well. All right, well we've only looked at one card. Let's. let's... Just jump in on Michelli and see what. Yeah, I mean that's excellent for. I mean, I people see the little bit of red and everything like that, but for a 22 year old playing on the second line minutes, yeah, they're not moving on from him. They it just I, that would be a king's ransom in return. I bet. Uh, they they can't move on from talent like that right now. Toffoli must just have a go bag by now. Like, yeah, probably. Bronze Longbow. That's a cool name. Uh, you have a great day, too. I appreciate you stopping in, man. Squeaky, I'm with you. Don't want Pierre-Luc Dubois. Is Bussy worth the crap? He's older, isn't he? Or am I imagining it? Yes, he's older. I mean, you've got to... You've also got to work with that asterisk that goalies hit their stride later. Um, he's worth a look in the NHL. I, I think he'd be a, a career backup up here but i mean that has its value i think that's the best case scenario though forbes and grizz for krug straight up no thank you no thank you um i'm pretty okay not having this version of krug on the team at this point how are we feeling about the possible probable leafs versus bruins round one matchup uh it should be fun worst case scenario it's fun until it ends Who's left to trade for? There's just so much. Sweeney, he pulls things out of nowhere. I believe he's got something cooking. I just, I just don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what at this point. <laughs> because I think at this point, if you're not, if we haven't seen any bottom six guys coming in, I think they're trying to make a legitimate move for a top six guy. Yeah, trial, still no moves. Just a water spoon extension, that's it. Well, for us, there's, there's been a few things like the Toffoli trade and uh, a few other things today. Can't believe Malcolm Subban is still around. Yeah, AHL to NHL to AHL. Dude's stuck with it. Yeah, Duclair is in Tampa Bay. I, I don't think that moves the needle a ton for them, but... <laughs> What's up, Bernard? How you doing, man? More than willing to give DeBrusque and a couple of this for Michelli. Obviously, if we get him, I'd look into what uh, it would take at least. Yeah, I just, I can't imagine a deal that, that Arizona's saying yes to right now. At 22 years old. Guy's so young, so talented. It, it's so hard to pry something, somebody like that from that team unless he wants to move. I like Kaliev. I, I wouldn't hate that addition. 
My father wants Tippett on the Bruins in the worst way. Owen Tippett would be a beloved Bruin, I think. I just love the style of play that he brings. I just feel like he's always... He's just always mixing it up. He's in the right spot. I mean, I don't think he's like an overly physical guy, but he just tends to be in the right place at the right time, responsible. I think he'd be beloved in this town. It's only 11.30. We still got we still got time. Could there be a three-way trade around Dubois? Here's the thing. Nobody is signing up for taking 50% or 25% of a cap for seven years. Because you only get a limited amount of those slots. Like, you don't get to retain on unlimited contracts. So to sign up for one for seven years, you are handcuffing yourself. No one's going to do it. The only newts, same thought. The longer Don is quiet, the more I think something big is in the works. I'm right there with you. What's up with Maroon? I don't, I don't know. I don't... And I don't think Maroon helps this team all that much. Especially with the way the fourth line's playing right now. Is Lindholm leaving Vancouver? It sounds like they're really trying to offload him. I don't know how far this goes, but... I don't, this is interesting, at least. <laughs> Tommy, I knew someone was going to bring up Liam O'Brien at, at some point. I am not a fan of his hockey game. Uh, although he's fun as hell to watch. Dude's physical. He's a monster. Uh, but again, with how good the fourth line's been lately, I, I, I don't see the point in adding someone like that. Phil, Cus Phil Kessel is a good luck charm for a deep cup run. That's what Vancouver's hoping. Comfortable bringing in Doomba or Chikrin for the right price? Chikrin, yes. Doomba, no. I think Doomba pretty quickly would become another four work. Yeah, Vancouver just got Lindholm. That's right, Jill. They they just got him about a month ago, and he's uh the fit hasn't looked very good, and I think they're panicking and trying to move on. Oh, Scarlet, you got mac and cheese? Well, that's, I mean, that's a good day in itself. Can't we package that dynamic duo of the 2015 first round, Senishin and Zaboro? <laughs> Unfortunately, that ship has sailed. We did not actually get Fat Pat. Get out of here. God, fuck. <laughs> Come on. Instant reaction. Put a fucking Mack truck through my skull. What are we doing right now? Boo. Those are my thoughts. That's your professional commentary right there. Whatever, dude. Whatever. That's... What does that do for us? Genuinely, what does that do? You also are doing this after the most physical game of the season. Oh, it looks like... It, lo <laughs> it looks like a... Yeah, and, and there's, people tend to be agreeing with this. That's another thing. The way that pissant... Look, Pat Maroon's a grown-ass man. But the way he reacted to the commentary from Jack Edwards joking about pizza... Like, what a pansy. What This is the... All right, whatever. I, okay. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Ah. <laughs> uh. Your newest 13th forward. Fuck me. Whatever. I don't even... That's... 
I don't I don't even care. I'm not going to stop calling him Fat Pat. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, also, what was the return for Toffoli? Uh, did we ever find that out? Sorry, guys. I'm just um, just dying a little bit inside. No, nope, nothing's come up here yet. Why did we do this? I don't see how this helps. It doesn't hurt, for what it's worth. It doesn't doesn't hurt. Uh. I would also, I would take Hathaway over Maroon in a heartbeat, yeah. If we got fleeced, what was the, what was the return? Odds are we got fleeced, but. Yikes. Can I just see what the return is for the fully trade now? No? Alright, I'll wait. <sighs> There's the question. DJ Fielding, where does he even play? Where does he play? Lauco upgrade, I guess? Right? Like that's... You toss him on with Brazil and Boquist and let it ride? I forgot about the fasting line. That was a classic. That was a classic. Are you kidding me right now? How long until deadline? We got three hours, 18 minutes, brother. I hope Jack Edwards doubles down. I want every word out of his mouth about Fat Pat to be about how Fat Pat is fat. I guess I actually have to make the Fat Pat Banged Your Mom shirts now. Been talking about that for years. People who remember have been on this channel for a while. Second and third for Toffoli. That's neat work. Yeah, that sounds right. Is he even an upgrade over Lauco? God, I would... Maybe? <laughs> I can't even tell you that. You know how little of, of Pat Maroon I've watched this year? I mean, Minnesota hasn't exactly been jumping off the page of must-watch, you know? <sighs> this really was, the past two years has been a, a lesson of patience. Of um, The Bruins are going to collect players that you hate. The Hathaway trade was, was fun. Now there's this. And, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make... We, we're, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. The Fat Pat jokes aren't about him being fat because he's not fat. But I don't know how to properly explain it. It's more about how he reacted to the joke initially, if that makes sense. I, I just... We shouldn't, we shouldn't be out here just throwing the word around. We really shouldn't. Uh, people struggle with that kind of stuff, and I get that. But just the way he reacted to it, as a professional athlete where, I know we've had conversations about locker room talk and everything, but dudes tease each other about stuff like that. It's kind of a normal thing. And the way he just, whew, lost his mind about it as a grown man. I don't get it. I don't see how this helps the team. I don't, I don't see how this helps the team. But it doesn't. It doesn't hurt the team. It really doesn't. Unless they force him into the lineup. If he looks bad, whatever. Whatever. You can just, you can bury him. It's fine. <sighs> uh... 
That's fine. Oh, I would 100%, 100% call him Fat Pat to his face. I want you to know that. Would he beat the brakes off of me? Absolutely. Would I deserve it? Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, here's the thing. Maroon can't even be a Lucic replacement because Lucic had hands, man. Like, even you saw at the beginning of the season. Now, obviously, Lucic isn't coming back. I don't want to bring him back. Like, please don't run with that. But... He has outbreaks, his passing, there was this vision, it was there. I don't think Maroon has that. I don't think he has that. Mike T, Maroon playoff stats, that's fine. No, I mean, guys, I mean, she's right. Ellen was right to be like, don't make the fat jokes. That's, I mean, she's right. She's right. I get that. I it's it's weird to try to explain that it, it's it is coming from a different place than that, <laughs> but it, it is it is a real statement that we should be wary of. I I do get that. Freaking Pat Maroon, man. Uh he's depth. He's depth. He's a guy that it's not gonna it's not gonna hit hurt the team. Salary wise, you could put him through waivers right now if you wanted to. He's he's a million bucks. You could bury the whole thing. Moon is a cup magnet. You're right about that. I, this shouldn't prevent us from doing literally anything else. It really shouldn't. Um, I'd really love to see what... <laughs> I'd love to see what we got. Uh, <laughs> uh, what we had to send. Um, also... Here's there's a, an element to this. He is not knocking Brazil out of the lineup. Uh, if you do that, this is a loss. This is an absolute loss of a trade. It, it just depends on what they do with it, though. For a draft pick, if that if this is like a fourth or a fifth rounder, I do not care. I I, I simply cannot care. And it is funny. It is really funny. I really... <laughs> I would love... I would love if Jack Edwards did just say Fat Pat to his face once. That would be... I want that recorded. That would be fun. Beans on Discord reporting as the seventh. Beans has been quick on the drop. We can make fun of Beans. And we do. But... He's quick with it. Highlighted Maroon as a target in my column this morning. They've been unhappy with their physical presence or lack thereof. I disagree, but that's all right. The team knows better than I do. Pat Maroon. I do have to make the, the Fat Pat Banger Mom shirts. I have to. I have to. I have to. Because that was the other thing. The compliment I can give the guy is... There were, when he was winning the cup and everything, when people were hating on him, man, he just ran with it, ran his mouth. It was great. I just don't like it when he suddenly turned around and was offended by everything, you know? After he had talked so much shit. That guy talks shit like it, like, like the best of them. Frank, I think the same. He knocks Lauka out of the fourth line, or he's a 13th guy, you know? If it's a third round pick, Phil, that's a problem for me. <laughs> Imagine what kind of plays this team would be in if this if they nailed the 2015 draft. I get you. It was nine years ago, though. I mean, we gotta let that go eventually, right? Teams have bad drafts. Uh, it's all over Twitter as for where it's trade officially reported, but it, this has enough traction that it's probably correct. The Atomic Lizard, you've missed a Pat Maroon trade. We have Pat Maroon now. D 
Do we really need it? No, but it doesn't hurt. I actually don't know if Maroon's playing right now. Uh, he might still be on. No, yeah, he's still on the IR. So this literally doesn't affect the deadline at this time. So. Yeah, I, that's... Bleh. This isn't something to get worked up about. I'm glad I had my moment, but it's it's not something to lose your mind about. Never heard that name. Is that a good or a bad thing? He's been a depth player on multiple cup winning teams. So take that for what it's worth. Gudas will be next just to rile up the fan base. Gudas wouldn't be a terrible ad, though. Mac and cheese eaten. All right, excellent. You're locked in. Love to see it. Maroon is a forward version of a forward. You're not wrong. 2024 seventh round pick. The only thing that sucks about that is that I really like rooting for seventh round picks. I have so much fun. Our latest seventh round pick didn't know how to stop on the ice at camp. It's really fun to root for these guys. There's nothing else on the goalie trade talks front. It's all just, it's all just, hey, there might be something going on. <laughs> I told my dad, who doesn't know much about players outside the Bruins, and he goes, I hate that guy. That's, that's a unanimous thing. Yeah, uh, if if we got Tuck, this this turns into such a huge win of a deadline, honestly. Um, because I, I don't know why Tuck would be available. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh, Pozo to Florida. That's fine. That's nothing special, but that's fine. Uh, it's easy to forget that El Pozo still plays hockey. I think that's fair. I cannot believe this. Ugh. It's not something worth getting upset about. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Koozie to Carolina makes no sense to me. I don't understand it at all. I don't see why such a savvy franchise would make a risk like that. It's a huge risk. I don't know if Carolina will implode, but, you know. All right, I'm going to refill the coffee. Give me just a minute. I'll be back, lads and ladettes.
It's a Larry sighting. Sort of. As he freaks out and pulls my hair. It's little Larry. You're a star, buddy. Look at all these people saying hi to you. Look at that. <laughs> well, there's Larry. He's a good boy. He's a bad boy, but he's a good boy. Oh. Wait, McCabe just got fined? McCabe has been fined 5000 for cross-checking Boston's Brad Marchand in the neck. I think Tuck would take more than we could offer to. There's a narrative amongst Leafs fools that the Bruins got Maroon in retaliation to being bullied last night. There's no way people actually think that. Look, if Maroon's bringing donuts, I'm going to be okay with it. I love donuts. Wow. Ah, this is so much love for Larry. We love this. All right, so Maroon still has a couple weeks to go, which is fine. Oh, Coyle also got five grand. Interesting. Yeah, Hank, I saw that. I think the water spoon extension is great for this team. I think it's really good. Ba bag, we got Pat Maroon is who we got. That is uh that is who we got so far. Uh why not sign Phil Castle rather than this? The different roles. I would argue that that it does make sense if you wanted more physicality so it's again it's not a bad thing it doesn't it doesn't take anything away from this team and you don't have to play him if you like what he's bringing great if not is what it is Oh, boy. All right, that's a nothing one. All right, well, Pat Maroon, a Boston Bruin. I really hope that's not it. I would have preferred nothing over just that because now it feels like it, it, I don't. I don't know what it feels like. Just not. It doesn't feel amazing. <laughs> uh, It's like Sweeney isn't even trying. I think Sweeney's dealing with a uh, a bit of an unfair hand. Not an unfair hand. That's not fair. Unfair. Not fair. You know what I mean. We, we went all in last year. This team has played Jacqueline Hyde hockey for the last three months. It is extremely difficult to find a deal that makes the most sense for this team. And honestly, if you look at all the deals that have been done, there aren't a ton that really fit what the Bruins are trying to do. Is there a more Leafs trade than getting Pat Maroon? Yeah, getting Joel Edmondson.
Jason, I think he slides in in Lauko's spot. Man, you guys are really going in on these these food jokes. What's Boston got left for the 2024 draft? I'll just show you. Hold on. I love Cap Friendly, man. Ugh, what a beautiful website. A fourth, fifth, sixth, and... Well, I guess it would have to be... Yeah, I guess it would have to be a 2025 seventh? Michael, I think we're getting it for, for Pat Maroon's style of play. Oddly enough. They want him to play his game. Because I can't imagine getting Pat Maroon unless you wanted him to play his physical style of hockey. I completely trust Sweeney on deadline day. It's his best skill as a GM in my opinion. Drone Machine, I couldn't agree with you more. I really couldn't. I think that's exactly his bread and butter. Yeah, Boston Gamer, exactly. This this trade, initial reaction, fun to have, fun to be upset about, but at the end of the day, what are, what are we really losing? Late round pick from Maroon. So I'm guessing a sixth then, because they probably won it this year. And here's the thing, we're... We're still in the East, guys. Right? Like, the West is loading up with all this high-end talent, and the East just isn't for the most part. There are a couple teams that are going all in, and the Bruins just simply can't go all in this year. It's, it's just not feasible. Leafs do love acquiring old broken defensemen. It's kind of their staple. We put four more on L... Wait. Four more... Shouldn't be on long-term injured reserve. No. No, no, no. Forward's still not listed as an IR candidate. He's day-to-day. -day. What is the most ideal trade for a deep post-run? Uh, ideal for a deep run throwing caution to the wind? I mean, if the tuck rumors are true, you you have a goalie go out the door for that. But you'd have to add more. Uh, I don't know what what else is available, honestly, that the teams are willing to give up. Donovan, I agree. If, if Brazil is getting knocked out of the lineup by Maroon, then this is a failed trade. Other than that, I'm not really losing my mind. This is a crappy trade deadline. I think it's been pretty entertaining, actually. Not from the Bruins' standpoint, but uh, I think it's been pretty good. Like the fourth line with Richard on it. Yeah, it's tough that he had to get he had to get bounced around. Uh, but we'll probably see him again, I'm I'm betting. I'm over here twiddling my thumbs waiting for the wings to do anything. Yeah. I I guess they haven't have they literally done anything yet? I don't think so, right? Ruedel. Going to the Rangers. Sure, why not? Ooh, Lindholm is probable for tomorrow. Do you think that Linus should be uh, Linus should be shown the door? I don't care. I don't know how I feel about him leaving. Uh, I don't I don't do it unless it's a great deal. I move him at the draft. Maroon Brazo and Boquist is an interesting fourth. I agree. I, I it could work. I don't, I don't know what Maroon's got left in the skates though, man. You you still need some speed there, which was the the role Lauko was playing. Frank, I think it is that the if you're gonna work Brazo in, uh, sorry Maroon in, then that is it Maroon Brazo and uh, and Boquist. 
Otherwise, if Maroon doesn't look good, you just go right back to Lauko. Maybe Richard. You know, I don't think Braz is all that slow. He doesn't seem lumbering to me. He seems to get on the four check on time. We should do some live games for the playoffs. We really should. We genuinely should. And yeah, I want to do more streams. I do want to do more streams. Braz is faster than Lucic ever was, yeah. See, that's, that's your Fanatics jersey, by the way. A Maroon Bruins jersey. I just can't imagine spending the price that Fanatics asks. Would you rather Maroon or Lauko to start the playoffs? I don't know. I haven't watched Maroon play enough this year. I have no idea. I, I, I want to give him, uh, what, we, we 65, if we got, how many games do we have left? 17? I, I would give, once he's back, Maroon six games and see where he's at. Matt, I don't think you're dumb for saying something like that. I just don't think it affects the team enough for it to be like a big deal. Because if Maroon, if it doesn't work out, he literally, you just bury his cap hit. It's, it's nothing. It's a late round pick that we really don't care that much about. Edward should broadcast in a Maroon sweater for the rest of the season. Absolutely he should. Absolutely. Come on, more news. Second and a third, that's official. All right, cool for Toffoli. That just feels right. It's weird. There's not a lot of deals other than the Gensel and the Henrique trades that I'm like, ooh, that's probably not what you wanted there from opposite sides. I don't think the Pens are happy with the Gensel trade. And then I don't think um, the Oilers are super jazzed about giving up a first for Henrique. This is like my fourth cup of coffee today. That's probably not healthy. Thinking more of Maroon, it would take some of the fighting off of Freddie's game, allowing him to continue his offense, even for the rest of the season that's beneficial for Freddie. I don't I don't think that's wrong. That's not a bad point at all. Aaron Adams, I don't I don't even I I, I sorta of get it. I sorta of get why we traded for him. If the team really was annoyed by the lack of physicality, which I just don't agree with, but it is what it is. Um that's fine. It's just such an easily buryable player if it doesn't work out. What's the return for Weedle? Uh... Oh, wow. He's having a better season than I thought. Interesting. Uh, let's see. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Jack Edwards via text. Looking forward to the next time we meet up. He'll never lose a fight now that he's wearing the right sweater on Nesson's Bruins telecasts. The thing is... As much crap as you want to say about the Fat Pat stuff, Edwards and Maroon are going to get along famously, I bet. Because I bet they're going to give each other a ton of shit. And guys like that, if you're willing to, to be able to, to hash it and take it and everything like that, they get along well. I think they will. You being okay with this maroon deal makes me think that's not just coffee. Well, what's the big negative here, though? What is what is the worst case scenario with the maroon trade? Why wasn't Lucic with the 2011 team last night? I know he's suspended, but come on, he was on the team. Man, that's I think it's more about the the reason that he's suspended. You know, that's a uh, no distractions for such a special night. We'll call it that. 
Fourth rounder to Pittsburgh. Yeah, all right, that seems fair. He lists himself as much less fat. For what it's worth, the dude's not fat. <laughs> like, he's not. <laughs> I mean, he's a bit heavier than I am, but uh, I don't. I don't think that professional athlete over there is fat. Just throwing that out there. Why oh, there's more live deadline shows? The competition. It's heating up. As I, I don't think we have the same viewership. It's fine. It's fine. What do we give up for Maroon? All reports are a, a late round pick. I mean, it's sixth or seventh round pick. I, who cares? See, okay. NHL Rumors Daily tends to be right a lot. Like, oddly accurate in what he says. So, I kind of believe that. And again, I believe there's something bigger in the works. Don't think we get a first for Olmark, to be honest. Why would, but why would we, right? We, 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 you would be better off waiting till the draft if you were just going to trade him for picks anyway. They're pros. Of course, they'll get along. Love that. I love that. Scarlet, still a shame we have to hope Forbort gets traded. Yeah. Yeah, Donald, totally agree. As long as he isn't playing in place of, of, of Brazil, I'm fine. Who have Boston got so far? Boston has gotten Pat Maroon. Full stop. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yikes. All right, let's uh let's let's talk about <laughs> let's let's do this kind of quick actually. Uh Reasonable trade targets right now. We can literally go team by team. Uh All right, hold on. Does Oak Bozo getting traded make Tuck being available more likely? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think... Unless Tuck is trying to force his way out of there, it does not make sense why you would trade a 27-year-old first liner on a team-friendly contract like this. And the cost would be astronomical. Like, keeping him for a team that thinks they're going to be competitive next year, just like they thought the year before and the year before and the year before, you have to. You can't move that guy. That being said, Tuck is on my list of guys I want. Uh, and none of the defensemen, none of their goalies, right? So Tuck's an easy look. Detroit's not selling. There's not going to be anybody that you're really all that interested in grabbing from them. They're not moving on from any of their depth because it's one of their greatest assets is their depth. Um, our cap looks amazing, Aaron, for next year. It's $26 million in, in space, but we have a ton of holes to fill. Uh, and with the likelihood of an Olmark trade in the offseason, that's $31 million in space. So there's plenty to get done. Panthers aren't selling. Habs. Uh, you'll hear Josh Anderson's name thrown around a bit. Um, pretty team-friendly deal. 29 years old. Still sort of like coming out of his prime. Big body, power forward, what they like. Season hasn't been great, but he's also not working with a ton of talent around him. And I think he's had some injury troubles too this year. Although it doesn't look like he's, look like he's missed a lot of games. Um, I wonder how he's actually... So he's actually looked. Yikes! <laughs> Woo! Uh, but that's a name you'll see tossed around, I'm betting. Um, I want a sandwich or John B, however you want me to refer to you. What, uh, are you saying woo, let's go Red Wings because I mentioned them or because something's happening? A conditional 2026 six-round pick. A six-round pick two years away. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Middleton from Minnesota? Really? Oh, wow. People are actually saying this. Interesting. Hmm. 
And there's some cap stuff going on too. Interesting. Can Sean Thornton just come back already? Can we just clone a bunch of the players for that 2011 team, please? Yeah, I just don't get how Leafs fans can be super, super jazzy jazzed about how all that went. Don't really understand that. Uh, Josh Anderson, I don't... I don't see too many other players that are going to be made available that are of all that much interest from the Habs for the Bees. Unless you guys have somebody that you think that they would move, but I, I don't really see it. I Michael Matheson would just cost too much, but God, what an ad he would be. He'd be such a great ad for this team and its timeline over the next couple of years. He's been brilliant. You take Wi-Fi from the the Habs? I don't think they're moving on from Wi-Fi. I don't I don't think they are. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, Sens? I am genuinely okay with missing out on the Tarasenko sweepstakes, if you want to call it that. Uh, Matthew Joseph? There's an argument there, but they've really liked him, and he's real cheap, so I really doubt they move on from him. Because, uh, again, they're looking to make moves next year. Uh, Chikrin, a possibility. It's going to cost an arm and a leg. Do we have the buying power for that? Do we kick the tires on Burt again for next year? Uh, not in, uh, not not this season. Maybe in the off season, but uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't. That door might have closed. Yeah, Matheson going has been going end to end on a lot of teams this year. He's been really good. He's been really, really good. Armia, there's a okay. I really like Armia. Yeah, I guess that's an interesting one. It's still more depth. Because he's not, he's really not going to play in our top six by any means. So is, is there a purpose to even grabbing that, depending on the assets you'd have to spend? I don't hate it, though. Shane Pinto's not going anywhere. Uh, he's still team-controlled as an RFA. I'd rather offer... I'd offer, like, 15 cents for Burton's current form. Yeah. The thought process of not trading Allmark now and waiting for the offseason is his value doesn't diminish. You can be pretty confident in that. And you don't negatively impact the team this year. Uh, would you maybe get a little more value just because they get two playoff runs with them? Sure. Uh, but you are disrupting this team quite a lot for a team that's bound for a playoff spot. So you wouldn't really love to do that. I, I Again, they might if they find a deal they really like. But that's the thought process behind it. Lawson Kraus, absolutely. He'd be great if you want to jump over there. Uh, what's his contract look like? 4.3? God, that's a good contract, too. Again, these are guys that like you'd love to have, but are they even for sale? And the cost is just... The guy's in his mid-20s. He's got 20 goals on the season super valuable depth piece for them on a pretty team friendly contract for the next three years it's just so hard to pry these guys away it's just not easy what does andrew think about maroon uh he sent a text that seemed unhappy oh give me one second guys <laughs>
<laughs> I can't tell you what that was about, but it was um, <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, Andrew's upset. Let's just go with that. Andrew doesn't like the uh, the Pat Maroon edition. <laughs> it was not it was not Uber Eats. It was, uh, <laughs> and it wasn't coffee going right through me. Although that's probably gonna happen sooner or later, right? That'd be that'd be a real fast uh, real fast poop break. It was actually it was actually Pat Maroon on the line. I had to I had to talk him through uh, Logan Airport a little bit. It's confusing, you know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nothing else going on, huh? Bruins do not have enough room for Maroon. We'll need to make a move before 5 p.m. Yeah. And he can be put on injured reserve, so that's not a huge concern. We are his eighth team? Wow. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> what were we talking about? I also hated Bat Maroon on the Lightning Blues. I, I'm right there with you. I'm gonna be honest. If the bees don't make another move by like 1:30, I might head off to bed. I that's you, no one's gonna no one's gonna be upset at you for that. I get it. Look, I'll cut a bucket in the corner for live streams. Ah, gross. <laughs> uh, I put Maroon at the fourth left wing position. That's that's what I do with him as we check if he could he can do anything. Maroon's heart identifies as a double cheeseburger. Dude, same. Baconator. Ugh. Who's an interesting one? So Kraken are sort of selling some pieces, but nothing long term. I still don't. I still don't know what we could do with this potential Olmark to Kings thing. It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. There would have to be something great. That's your dieting talk. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I've lost, I've been sick for the past week, unfortunately, because I was making great progress, but, uh, I, during the, the big, diet and purge and all that good stuff. I lost 15 pounds. My body fat percentage went from 22% to 10. Jason Zucker from Arizona, Nashville. Yeah, they felt like Zucker was going to get moved. The, Nashville, I, they're making the playoffs in all likelihood. But what do you do when you get there? This is the same thing. This is the same thing that we've talked about. Where I, the West is loading up. Who are you competing with? Right? Like, who are you beating? I don't know, man. Pat Maroon has almost as many hockey jerseys as low qual. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited for the pad tie. It's going to go right through me, but I'm so excited. If you were expecting excitement for the Bruins at the trade deadline, that's on you. That's fair. Nashville does love pulling upsets in the playoffs. They're fun to watch, too. They're a team with no quit. I just... Seriously, who are you beating? No, he's been having a solid enough season. Good fit there. Huh. What else? What else do we have on the fan made ones? Oh, here's a here's a Bruins one. Let's see this. Olmark and Lauko for Vanacek and Dawson Mercer. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think 
Oh, and a first round pick. I don't think New Jersey does that. I don't think New Jersey does that at all. With the first rounder? No way. Duma's going to Edmonton? I don't like that for them. I don't like that. What's up, Beanpot? Thank you so much. I would take a Forsberg. I would take a used Forsberg. Absolutely. Brian, you've make it, made a very good point. I think I should respect that point. Vancouver losing to Nashville in six is not a realistic headline to you. You're right. You're right. That is... That would be hilarious. God. I just need what happened to us to happen to Vancouver. That's what I need. Yeah, Saros does make that team go. Yeah, Jersey wouldn't do that trade. Uh, that's the tough one because I like the way the fourth line's running, but yeah, the it's not only the fourth line that can't win faceoffs; it's basically all of them. Dumba to Edmonton. That just doesn't... Not exactly a needle mover to me on that one. It's more depth for them defensively, which they certainly need, but meh. Meh. What else we got here? Um, A three-teamer? Oh, my God. I can already tell you this one's not going to happen. No one's doing all this math. Oh, wait, what did they do here? Well, it, this is ridiculous. Hold on. Okay. We get... What do we get? We get Pareko twice and Buknevich twice, and then we also ship them off. Okay. And we get a ton of cap space. Four more Olmark, DeBrusque, Merkulov, and a second. And we get Pareko and Buknevich. And then what does New Jersey get? They get Olmark and Merkulov and the second. And the Blues take on Mercer, Debruskin forward. Jesus. This guy spent way too much time on a terrible trade. That would never happen. You'd never see this many pieces move like this. Who is this person? Yeah, crazier things have happened. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Uh... I'm going to say the Bruins do that. You get Bugnevich and Pareko, I think. I think they... I think they do that? For DeBrusque and Olmark? And you also have to move four more Merkulov they're not concerned with in a second round pick? I think the Bugnevich obviously is the, the best part of that by far. Huh. How many years does Pareko have left? A lot. Whew, a lot. Mm. Ooh. That's a lot of money on the back end. Shit, I still think the Bruins might do that. That's a tough one, actually. Merkulov, I, I don't think they, like are excited about moving on from him, but he's a good trade piece. That that's that's somebody who a hundred percent would get moved in, in a decent deal. Yeah, that Beanpot, that does feel like a losing trade for everybody, but that's I just kinda want Bugnevich. Okay, whatever what other what other Bruins ones can we find? I can already tell you this is going to be a very biased trade. Alright. DeBrusque, Beecher, and a first rounder for Lindholm. <laughs> fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, hold on. Pittsburgh. 
I, I, why do they have to double up like this? This is very weird. Vancouver gets Crosby out of this by moving off of... Wait, two first-rounders? Pittsburgh gets three first-rounders? DeBrusque and Beecher? What? What? Crosby's good. Don't get me wrong. Crosby's a good player. What the fuck are people doing right now? <laughs> first of all, the Bruins, no way in hell they're giving up their, their next first-round pick, which is in a year and a half. Uh, and DeBrusque for Lindholm right this second. They're not doing it. And Beecher, along with that. Uh, also, Pittsburgh wins this trade a thousand times out of a thousand. They, they won't do it because they won't move Crosby, but still, this is ridiculous. Jasmine, you've missed Maroon. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing you've missed. Is there ever going to be a time they bring uh, Lee Sell up? Next year. It's become very clear that this team has decided that Lysel is not ready. There is something in this game that they're they're not, they don't think he's mature enough for the NHL. They have no problem not using him this year. I don't think that's a terrible decision. Um, I just hope they're making it clear to the kid that like, no, your time's coming. It's just, you're just not there yet. You think JD is going to be gone for sure? No, I don't think it is a for sure there at all. Here Bruins are after Hofer. Whoa. Where do you hear that? Vampire, I agree. How do you even think of this? What would it get to... Tom Wilson's a tough call, man. That's a tough call because he's expensive. He's streaky as an offensive weapon. He's injury prone at times, I think. I, I keep hearing about injuries with him. Uh... He signed for a long time. His extension hasn't even kicked in. That's That guy's not getting moved. That's like a hurdle situation, too. Not the same level of player, but that's so much money for so long. Late into his 30s. I don't I don't like that. Ready for the Rangers and Rempe? God, Rempe, that poor kid. It's awesome, though. Super fun. You hate Wilson? Look, he's the type of guy you'd love to have on your team, or I, I think would be a, a great Bruin. It's just, I, I, he's not getting moved. I would take Wilson, but not Maroon. That's fair. Wait, hold on. I still want an answer to this Bruins are after Hofer kind of thing, because that means a goalie is going to get moved, and Hofer is your bat new backup. I saw the Kevin Weeks talking about three-way trade, Kings and Flames and Bruins. Washington might be selling, but selling a guy you haven't even had the extension kick in on yet is... Uh, that's pretty severe. Anyone we could take from Columbus? I, I would love a Roslevic. I would love a Jenner. Boone Jenner would be such a good Bruin. I think our missing piece last year would have been Tom Wilson. Last year would have been the time to get him. Marchenko would be a decent ad. They're not they're not gonna move on from Marchenko. Number two oh five. Uh all right. Any other rumors that we can overreact to here? This is a great picture. Excellent picture. Oh that's tough. That's tough, buddy. Nothing else, huh? The Devils are retaining 50% to Foley, which is interesting from a team that's probably also trying to add. Oh, Mark McLaughlin goes down so that they can fit Maroon, although they'll probably still move Maroon to injured reserve in case they want to make more moves. Either way, any move that happens has to get a foreboard shipped out of town. This is 
gonna be I'm really excited to see the clips of Maroon's introduction to the room. That's gonna be really fun. The bees bring back Vladar if they trade Ollie. God, I hope not. I'm I'm just not a Vladar guy. Yeah, I think there's upside to a Maroon signing if it goes perfectly, but meh. Olmark would have submitted that uh weeks ago, Christian. They, they, they kind of have this deadline where everybody in the room who has them has to submit it. I, it might be longer than weeks ago, actually, but it's well in advance of the deadline. Toronto first round for Larry as a goaltender. Larry would be a shit goaltender, man. He can't stay still. Way too much movement. Way too many holes in his game. You get him, you get him moving across the crease, it's over. Too much space. Just waiting for a four-board trade. Yeah, careful what you wish for. Uh, any other Bruins stuff in here? I like those. Um, does it not go farther back than that? Is there more more pages? No. I like this. Win a damn cup. That's a great name for a trade. Why do people put so many things in these trades, dude? Who has the time? You traded Crosby and Latang to the same... <laughs> and Pugliarvi. Uh Okay. And what do they get? They get Myers, Lindholm, Podkolson, Roddy, Salos, Mikheyev, Peterson. What is this? Oh, this is a different Elias. Okay. Uh, two firsts. Wow. Um, Sure. I don't even know what to say about a trade like that. Who would you trade for more, PLD or Huberto? Oh, God, you, you, what the hell is wrong with you asking me questions like that? Um, God, Luc Dubois, probably? I think Huberto plays losing hockey. I think Luc Dubois does too, but at least in moments he doesn't. Yeah, I, I guess by a, mar by a small margin, pure Luc Dubois is who I'd trade for more. Larry would eat the pucks. He'd also get killed out there. Larry's an idiot. He's he's one of the dumbest creatures I've I've ever ever seen. I I can't express to you how stupid my dog is. I have three dogs and I love them all equally. Larry is the dumbest animal on the planet. There's not even a comp a con contest here. It's not even a competition. He's the dumbest animal on a planet. He eats rocks. I've I've been to the emergency room twice. Because of I've been to the emergency room five times with him because of various shit he eats. But the fact that twice there was rocks in his system. Idiot. Lazan would be a good pickup for the bottom pair. I don't think he's enough of an upgrade over Watherspoon for me to bother. Can't trade Olmark till Sway is signed either way, in my opinion. I, I share that. That would have to happen simultaneously. Brian D, I thought they had into the season a little bit to put that together. I didn't think it was uh, right at the beginning of the season. I think that's a little unfair to the players if that's the case. Wyvern Slayer, I agree that it's possible an Olmark move would affect Swayman's performance. That's a real, that's a real possibility. I think it's a concern for a few people. Have you seen Washington lately? I haven't watched a lot of them lately. Oh, I've had a few fun vet visits with, with Larry. He's just like that, man. So you always end up with a million-dollar dog eventually. My bearded dragon kept banging his head into the bathroom door this morning. I mean, Larry straight up eats wall. Like, he eats walls. We put up new drywall in a spot, and he just started chewing a hole through it because he wanted to. I, I don't know. I... He, He's not bright. Trust me, Vetus. I, he might be Larry the asshole, Larry the idiot, and I sound like an abusive father. That dog gets so much love. I'd like. I, he sleeps in a big bed with us at night. He makes our lives hell all the time, but we feed him and love him and give him scritches. And he's very injury prone, but also indestructible because all those visits to the ER. 
Get him on fluids, and he works the stuff out of his system. Luckily, so far, his interior is made of pure steel. So, he hasn't had to have surgery yet, thank God. Knock on wood. A depth right D would be fine, but I'd prefer a guy who could play both sides. But again, with Waterspoon there, when Lindholm's healthy, if you like playing Lorai, you're in a good spot at least. Uh... Stop saying poor pupper. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. He, here's the thing. He's so stupid that he's still happy all the time. We had to take him in. He ate an entire pack of Omeprazole one time. I don't even know how he got to it, actually. And that one's on me. There are times where I'm like, this is not on me. And then there are times where like, you got to something that should have been out of your reach and somehow it wasn't. So those ones you have to take ownership of. And he ate the whole pack. And the Omeprazole wasn't the problem. It was the fact that the package itself was like this material that you just wouldn't want in their stomach. So I take him into the ER and we puke him, right? We make him throw up. And this dog on drugs just got thrown up. Most dogs aren't very comfortable after that and aren't very happy after that. They've just vomited everywhere. They're not happy. And this idiot's just wagging around, saying hi to people, trying to say hi to this giant Rottweiler that's 200 pounds and wants to bite it in half. Doesn't matter to him. He loves him. And he's just all, all joy all the time. That dog is a very happy, happy dog. He really is. I'm hearing Brady could check to the Bruins. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> My girlfriend's dog ate stairs once. See, that's another dumb dog. God, I love dogs. Dogs are cheaper than kids, even Larry. Totally true. Won't push back on that at all. You would think the NTC protects the whole year, though. That's true. That's true. You can make trades whenever. I wonder if they get to update them, though. I wonder. I, I should look into that. The best part about dumb pets is they don't have to actually become productive members of society. Yeah, I guess it's a lot harder to have a dumb kid. <laughs> Not just... Look, maybe maybe all of you have wonderful children and none of them are dumb. Maybe one of you... Maybe one of you... Has a dumb kid and you're a little worried about them being a productive member of society. Maybe it's possible. That would be pretty stressful if I was a parent. My dogs seem to eat an entire package of barbecue chips waiting to randomly see the poo explosion. That's the tough, too. When they ate something that there's no reason to bring them in to an ER, but you know they're going to have diarrhea for days and it's going to be awful. Would Beniers and Larson for McAvoy be fair for both sides? Absolutely not. Uh, McAvoy is way more valuable, in my opinion. Way more valuable. My golden doodle is like a little kid. Yeah. They're fun. They, they just all have their own quirks. It's awesome. Jacob Dvorak, what's up, man? Greetings. Any important news? No, just just Pat Maroon. Just Pat Maroon is a Bruin for a six-round conditional pick. I had a dog that ate a five-pound bag of sweet tarts. Ooh. Yeah, that's not great. That's That's got to be tough on the system. My dog ate an entire baby squirrel whole once. The vet didn't believe me until it came out. Yikes. Yeah. Temp, are you guilty to the dumb child thing? <laughs> is that what you're guilty to? <laughs> Larry is a big example of head empty, no thoughts, but happy. But happy. Blaze, I am the dumb kid. Same. Brady could check to the Bruins. No way. I think he's, I think he's messing with us. That would be, I mean, I'll go to Twitter, but that would be reported everywhere the second that that was happening. No. Nothing. Oh, man. There's got to be... There's got to be something else happening. I believe... Oh, yeah, the Stars, like, we're talking about the West loading up, and the Stars have mostly sat on their hands. And they're not a team that is really in desperate need of anything. That's an interesting one. I wonder what they'll do. My dog ate party confetti. That can actually be pretty dangerous, too. Yager to the Bruins, excellent. Dumb kid could be friend with dumb dog. Absolutely. Cats, I'm allergic to cats, so I'm a little biased here. Um, 
high quality girlfriend really wants one, I'm sure she'll wear me down eventually. But are Bruins in on Vetrano? There's not a single report that would suggest that. I haven't heard anything that that Vetrano would be even sniffed around by us. I also don't want to buy in on the career year for Vetrano. Temp, his favorite food is floor food. That's a tough one, buddy. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> uh, my beagle ate a roll of poop bags once. Cleanup was easier than you'd expect. <laughs> uh, dog ate an entire ice cream cake? First of all, I love ice cream cake. That's brutal. Uh, second of all, yikes. That diarrhea must have been bad. Jake Allen does make sense as a backup if Oli goes. I just don't know what the asking price is there. Yeah, that's the guy Jack Edwards called fat. My cats love each other. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a sad tragedy of a trade for the Bruins. It just is. It's it's a, really a nothing trade. Hurdle with pasta would make my day, man. I, I, I don't know how you make it work, but that's... Absolutely a player I would give up a first for. Absolutely. Stars to get Tanev, that's true. They don't have a ton of needs. Vitrano would be a great get for them, just for more depth. Problem with cats is you get one, then you get five. I'll I'll take your word for that. Hey, they oh yeah, we are in the three hundreds now. Nice! We have three hundred people sitting around chatting. Excited for the Bruins next big move. Making this a lot more entertaining for me, at least. <laughs> My daughter ate a candle because it looked like candy. The whole candle? What? You'd think you'd take one bite and you'd go, yeah, maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Maybe, actually, maybe she's on to something. Maybe candles taste really good. Would Vitrano even want to come back? I don't think he really has a choice, right? I don't want them to trade Jake DeBrusque. I don't really want them to either. We'll see. We'll see. Jake DeBrusque has a sentimental value in my home. That defense still sucks. You have a Yak and Pa Suter problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't seen it affect them all that massively. It might just be nitpicking at that point, but more defensive depth can never be frowned upon. Just dropping in to say how disgusted I am with the Maroon pickup. The ultimate sloth hugger. But go bees. You know what? People are real upset by it. I, I just can't. I, I, I can't give it the energy. My Roddy has eaten probably 20 pounds of chocolate in her lifetime. <laughs> Jesus. Roddy's are indestructible though. Well, to a point. I, I've seen... I'm not going to start listing off what dog breeds have terrible things happen to them, but... I, I unfortunately working in a and my my girlfriend even more so because she works in the surgery department i just work up front but um you see what all of these different breeds come in for all the time it's a sad job to have it's it's pretty tough at times log jammer you have missed pat maroon is a boston brewer that is it and no other move has really shooken the earth shooken whatever Let's admit we ate crayons as a kid. I'm not going to admit it. I mean, I did, but I won't admit it. Hey, thanks, David. I am feeling a bit better. Little by little. Getting there. I, the sucker, I guess, would have been a nice depth add for us. I, I don't know. Those kind of moves are like, if that's what decided a cup run, I you, you probably were doing what you were going to do anyway. Same thing with the maroon one. Will DeBrus take a pay cut since he deserves one? Uh, at that point, I don't think you could call it a pay cut, right? It would it would just be what he deserves. No, I, I think he he's somewhere in the six million to seven million dollar range, and I'm mostly comfortable with that just because of the intangibles across his game. The scoring is is inconsistent. I know that, but it is what it is. I, I still think he's a very valuable player. If he gets moved, I, I just hope the price is right.
Are people really upset about losing a six-round pick two years from now? What I'm gathering is not that... That's not what people are upset about. They're upset about the fact that uh, Pat Maroon's going to be a Bruin. Eating a pack of cigarettes. Now, that's impressive. For what it's worth, those candy cigarettes when you were a kid, those so lapped. Those were excellent. A Marshan jersey in public living in leaf country? Yeah, that's that's bold. How on earth is Forbes still a Bruin? Uh, this is just a little feeling of mine. I don't think he is. I think something's already in place in that regard. And I think it's going to depend on if they find the right deal elsewhere where they need to move that money. Nick Batan for Turner Elson. That doesn't... Okay, that's not much. Man, this has really been a buyer's market. This is something. This is something. Oh, I don't deserve any props for working at an animal hospital. I don't I do not do anything that special, but uh, the people who work in the treatment area, my goodness, they, they do it all. I just see the sad stuff as it comes in, unfortunately. Well, and I guess we, uh, we help with some of the final moments, too, but luckily we're not in the room for that, or I, my position is not in the room for it. I just get people prepared for it, which also kind of sucks, but still. Um, sad job, but a good job. Did Duma get moved? Yeah, looks like the Oilers snagged him. Is that right? Did I did, did I see that right earlier? Where, where did all the, the trades go? Hold on, we'll just go back to the main page here. Uh, oh, maybe they haven't, that hasn't been finalized yet, actually. I don't see it here. Maybe Doomba hasn't been moved? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was. I think I just saw someone say it and I just went with it. My daughter is a smart baby, so I just hope she hasn't peaked. <laughs> Spots are out for the year. Yeah, he's, he's done. He's done. Hopefully all recovered. To uh to come back next year, someone will pay for JD. Yes, yeah, someone will. No, he's he deserves to be in the NHL. Like, let's not act like he's not an NHL player. Uh, why Thailand? A high quality girlfriend told me almost two years ago now. Hey, in 2024 we're going to Thailand, and I laughed. And uh, now we're going to Thailand. So <laughs> she does all the planning. I I just. And she pays her fair way, too. I, I I just add the money for my stuff. She does all the, the leg work. The wax Dracula teeth. Yes. The wax Coke bottles were good, too. Yeah, that was just pure sugar. Those, those were the good old days. If the money was sustainable, I'd trade my career to work with dogs all day. You know, there is an upside to it. Because when things are healthy and they come in and they're they're happy, or when things have recovered, awesome, really awesome moments. Um, when they're not, it's just less awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Worked at the Humane Society as college summer jobs. Yeah, it's it's really tough, but it is a it's it's a great job. What do we see as Patra's ceiling? Absolute ceiling has to be a 2C. Um, and I think we're hoping that the floor is a decent 3C. Right? I, I don't see him being a, a top-line center in this league. Ella, I hope the surgery recovery goes well. Uh, that's I, that's never fun to deal with, but I hope that's that's a smooth transition. Squeaky, thank you. The trip, we're, we're a little nervous. We leave Tuesday, but it should be fun. Oh yeah, Vetus, any joke you want to make about Thailand, you go for it. That's that's I know what I set myself up for. Trevor, if Omar goes for PLD, I'm I'm going to throw myself into traffic. Uh, ironically, of course. I'm watching from Thailand. Hey, John, maybe we'll run into each other. Are you near Phuket? <laughs> 
planning a proposal on Phuket Beach, right? Uh, I can't say anything out loud right now. Can't say anything out loud. God, a six-round pick for Zucker is good work by Nashville, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, the full contract comes too, but still, good work. What about next time at a live Bruins game? There's an off chance I go to a playoff game this year, but in all likelihood, it's uh, it's next year. It's next season. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 1 p.m. Will things start to kick off? Oh, my fucking God. There's no way. There's... Am I getting... No, no, hold on. Am I getting... Okay. Thank God. Oh, my gosh. I got tricked for a second. How dare he change his profile picture? That's too far. Whew! All right, we're fine. He got me. We got me. We got me. That would have been awesome, too. I got got. I got got. It's a joke. Whew! I saw the E right there, and I was like, well, hold on. I lost my mind for a second. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was just nuts. <laughs> That's so fucked. I hate that people do it, but also I can't get mad when it's... That's pretty funny. Uh, it's pronounced fuck it. Yeah, well, if you're going to name one city Bangkok, then the next one has to be fuck it, right? Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> every year, every year, right when he... It's the same guy, too. It's this meth bear guy. Every year, he changes the profile picture to match has real close spelling, and then boom. Every year. Am I upset about it? No, not really. <sighs> uh. <sighs> okay. You asshole. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Sorry, that's on me, everybody. That's on me. Could you imagine, though? And that's a trade I'd make. Crosby for DeBrusque and, uh, and Olmark. The last couple of years of Crosby's career. That, that would be pretty cool. Uh, it, here's the thing. There's no way Crosby waves even for a contender, right? Okay. Snowy, great point. If he was going to wave, would we be the contender he waves for? Come on. Do we look like we are we are bound for championship status? Crosby would go to a sure thing, right? He would go to Vegas or the Avs or he would go Dallas. God, Dallas. That would be nuts. Ugh. Yeah, Crosby Bruins jerseys would sell so fast and then they would all fly to Pittsburgh immediately just to walk around in them. <sighs> What's up, wheelchair legs? <laughs> As always, your name just gets me. Oh, man. For a guy who's struggling to keep his breath, that was not fair. Uh. <laughs> Assholes. Ty has two different P sounds. The PH versus P is an attempt to distinguish between them. Interesting. I uh, I want to not be a bad American and learn something out there, um, but I'm going to be real honest. I'm an idiot, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to learn something. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't believe I got got that good. Hey, Detroit did something. All right. Costin is not nothing. He's, he's fine. Mm. Hey, Jobby Pot, are you still in here? Because uh, is that the move you were waiting on? Again, let's show the Penguins over Boston. And yeah, it turned out just the way we wanted it to. I that would have been, again, would have been so good on that Boston team, man. <sighs> Damn. Visions of Bork going to the Avs. Oh, how beautiful would that be? And you know what, Pittsburgh fans, true Pittsburgh fans, 
would be rooting for Crosby. They would be rooting for the Bruins in the playoffs. Jobby Pot, what do you think? What do you think about this? Yeah, Costin, I think, is good depth, man. Oh, Timo to the Bruins? Hell yeah, Ella. Hell yeah. Temp, that bums you out? Teresa, he might actually... Uh, Semek might get to finish his season there, though, depending on what they want to do. I think that's allowed. I know the Canes did it, but the Canes don't have an AHL team, so that might be more of a requirement for them. I don't know if DeBrusque would be super pumped about going to Pittsburgh. But if you're getting trade for Crosby, there's some respect on that. Yeah, that is a different feel, Dan. Uh... With Crosby having three cups and, and Bork just wanting the one. Sean, if we can get Hurdle, man, I I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it in a heartbeat. Oh, that's right. Costin's going from the Detroit Red Wings. That's why. I don't know why in my brain I was like, oh, it's the other way around. Yeah, that is a bummer. That is a bummer. Useful depth. There's got to be something happening. This Sweeney's going to do something. This may be copium, but I believe it. Please don't trade Freddy. He's become my favorite Bruin. You know what? I, uh, I don't think the team has any interest in moving Freddy. Cutting his losses with that one. Hey, the sunk cost fallacy, you know? Like, don't don't bother. If you know it's not working, just move on. I think Hurdle might be done for the year. I think that is right, actually. The pin, Sam? Someone humor me with some sober thoughts about actually rocking our goalie tandem in the playoffs. I know it never works, but it's worked for us. Hey, uh, I don't think it's it's intentionally been tried the way we're about to try it so i don't know but i don't see a reason why it would suddenly stop working for us you know like i, I don't i don't see a reason to be negative about it i'd be well, i'd be way more nervous about other things i guess is what i'm saying <laughs> how many first rounders for tage thompson four uh what's up kirby how you doing Yep, Squeaky, I saw that. Lindholm probably back for tomorrow's game. Is it Shattenkirk who gets pushed out? Are we running uh, Lorai Watherspoon on the bottom pair? Or is Lorai getting pushed out? And we're going to keep that Watherspoon Shatty pair that's been pretty good? And I'm not really sure. What do you give up for Hurdle? With all that money tied to him, aging, injuries, I mean, it's definitely a first and a high end prospect, but that's probably about it. Um,. A high-end prospect for us. Like, if we had... A, a perfect example is um, is the Canes uh, with, with uh, Nixon, Nishkin, Nishkin, uh, who's just an absolute dream of a prospect. Like, almost a sure thing. Uh, but we would we would be giving up probably at least sell um, along with a first. But I can't imagine much more than that just because there's so much term left on that contract. There's so much money tied to it. I don't know. It's hard to see that being, like, a, a, a huge expense. Look up the fake Sweeney account. Usually pretty accurate with the hints. Hey, let's do it, actually. Um, here's what, the real Don Sweeney? Oh, I have to do it all together, don't I? Didn't he change his... I don't know if this is the guy. Shark forward Alex Barabanov. Okay. I mean, that's not really gonna, gonna pump my tire as much. Oh yeah, see Nash, love the water spoon extension. Oh, Kirby, a little video, what are you playing?
Should have rotated goalies last year. I think that's pretty evident. What's up, Tyler? How's it going, bro? I don't know. Log jammer. I don't know if Sweeney actually does anything this year. I think Sweeney may have punted on the season. Punting on the season, I think, is different than not doing anything this year. I think you can still be in on this season and recognize that you you just can't overspend. You, you went all in last year. I mean, that's the, the God honest truth. You just don't have the assets to keep doing it. Freddie is going to be your next jersey purchase, Jasmine. Excellent. I think that's a good one. He's he's definitely on a short list of me uh, for play current players to grab. Don't understand why you don't trade Olmark for upgrades. You don't need two goalies. Because you can wait. You can. You genuinely can. Like, yeah, it would be nice to get some upgrades this season, but if the deal you like isn't there, there's no reason to force it. Matthew, what's the odds he gets moved? I don't think they're high. I, I would lean closer to maybe a 50-50. And I think that's like the highest those odds get. Mikey Fresh. How you doing, Mikey? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in a bit. Uh, I know you used to stream a bit ago, but do you play any video games recently? I've played a little bit of Pal World and a little bit of Helldivers. I want to get back to streaming a bit. I'll probably do all the streaming here on YouTube at this point just because... I mean, I know it's a, a Bruins channel, but sometimes jumping on and playing some games is just fun. And we usually talk hockey during them anyway. Uh, it's just about finding the time. If we don't make a trade, do you think we're done for? No. I, I, I think this team is, is the same way, has the same focus it's had basically all year, which is it needs to get hot at the right time. I think that was true four months ago. I think it's true now. Uh, but it's, I mean, talent-wise, we're not going to be able to keep up with every every matchup. We need things to go our way. It's still possible, though. How would we feel about Granlund? I hate the player. I just hate the player. I don't think he's good. I think when you ask him to play responsible, he's just he's a negative, impact negative. The second Sway extends, I buy his jersey. Same. Well, when, when I can afford it. Oh, Kirby! Thanks for jumping into the to the to the uh, high quality members. Got the name for the, the membership program. <laughs> Words and stuff. Uh, <laughs> welcome to it. You got a nice little little emoji next to your name. Nice. Oh, there's a question I missed in here. If we have them both at the end of the season, who starts in the playoffs? Sway starts game one, Olmark starts game two. Jack, I, Forbort deserves his respect for what he did play well. He has been abysmal for about a year now, in my mind. Who are you choosing their prime, Bork or Zidano? That's not even close to me. That's Bork. That's Bork all day. I love Chara, but that's Bork was a whole different animal. Jim, you've missed nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, the Nicholas the Rune deal is real. Destiny, Kirby? Nice. I've actually never played it. Can we do a recap of today's action now that we've hit noon central? Let's do a recap, actually. Let's let's go through some of the stuff that's happened today. You got Starfield and everyone else got uh, Helldivers. Dude, Helldivers is so fun. Not to rub it in, but oh my god, it's such a great game. Pat Maroon trains in a group of three over the summer with Coyle and Frederick. Yeah, he's gonna, like, he knows some of these. Obviously, Coyle and him were teammates at the time, but, um, like, I don't think it's gonna be an awkward fit. I just, I don't know what he really brings at this point. Your beard is better than Pat Maroon's? Hell yeah! And judging by the profile picture, yeah, it's, it definitely is. They're the inspectors, but I suggested Stud Scribers. Stud Scribers is a good one, too. Do you think we alternate goalies in playoffs this year as opposed to last year? Yeah, I think we're literally going to go game for game. Unless, unless someone's fallen off a cliff. When did I start watching the Bruins? Uh... 
2000 is when I, like, remember being able to actually remember things. Wings for Mary. Welcome to it. High quality inspector. Hell yeah. Thanks for joining, bud. Uh, I uh, Honestly, my early memories of the Bruins are a little foggy. I don't remember much before the age of 23 at this point. Um, but I do remember like that 2001 team and Defoe and just really en enjoying some real lackluster moments there. But I got into hockey. Now, the Bruins were my team. But the Worcester Ice Cats um, were the local team for me where I was growing up. And uh, so I was a big fan of the Sharks at the time. And I got really into the Avalanche uh, Red Wings rivalry in the early 2000s as well. So my allegiances were like Bruins, obviously. But then the Avalanche with Waugh was like everything to me. And then uh, there was the Sharks that I really enjoyed. Should someone pick up Tony D'Angelo, or has he cleared waivers already? I think he cleared already, and I don't think he's helpful for this team. If you give any Bruin a do-over to play in this era, who would it be, and why is it Orr? It's Orr because why would it be anyone else ever? Donald Shelton, that's so generous, man. Ten freaking, but that's, dude, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You enjoy your lunch. Pizza in honor of Pat. Love that. Uh, I really appreciate you, man. That's awesome. Enjoy your lunch. Yeah, Darla needs to stay. We can trade four more, but we got to keep Darla. Told Patray to New York is a real possibility. Mmm, that sucks. I kind of would have liked to take a flyer on him. 2000 is when I was born. So when do you remember, uh, like, actually starting to get into him? Playoffs started now. Who would you have in a Boston versus Toronto match? I mean, I relentless optimism, man. Boston all the way. Mikey Fresh. I, I've got some young watchers. <laughs> I didn't realize. Maybe I'm just old. I don't know. The Bruins cat face right now is hilarious. You're not wrong. Ice Cats were classics, man. Great jerseys, too. And then they weren't they the Worcester, they were the the Worcester Sharks at a point, and then now they're the the Railroaders or something. I forget. Nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. So you you got to watch some weird Bruins teams for a while there. Okay. So what do we got today? Today's the eighth, right? Uh, it started with Subban, which you love to see. This is, this right here, the Kuznetsov for a third round pick is to me still the weirdest deal of the day, right? Just does not make sense. And it's such a huge risk for Carolina to bring in a guy who costs a good amount of money, even with the retainment. And I mean, just has looked really bad. Just has looked really, really bad. I, the Oak Pozo trade is just good for Panthers. More depth, didn't cost anything. Fifth round pick, Ben Myers, whatever. Ruedel's great for the Rangers. It's just more depth. Like we talked about, there's a lot of depth moves going on right now. This is kind of nothing. This is my favorite trade of the day. Uh, and it feels fair for both sides, but Winnipeg gets a hell of a lot better, especially through the middle six. And then obviously more, just a, another useful piece for the Sharks as they continue to rebuild. That's the whole day. That's the whole day. That's not that's not a great deadline so far. Obviously, the last couple days have been great, but this is not this is not a great deadline. Jack is going to talk up Maroon now. Yeah, he has to. It's his job. It's part of his job, man. You got to be able to pivot on your opinions there. Started being a Bruins fan during the Pooh Bear era, and you stuck around. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, there were some bad teams there, and and watching the the Thornton trade go down was, ooh, that was something, wasn't it? Crosby to Canes for rights to Brass Bonanza, hell yeah, that's a great trade. Earliest hockey memory was the eighty seven eighty eight Red Wings running into the Oilers buzzsaw. That's I feel like that's a lot of. I mean, that whole generation just watched the Oilers kick the shit out. Of, they went from the Islanders kicking the shit out of everyone to the Oilers kicking the shit out of everyone. 
I think Flores was solid until he took the thumb injury. He got hurt again after getting back to the lineup from that shortly after, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'd have a hard time finding finding injuries be the main reason for his, his fall off in play. I still have my Ice Cat's 10th anniversary pendant hanging in my daughter's nursery. That's awesome. That is really cool. David, thanks for listening, man. A lot of people trying to squeak this in during work. I love it. The Railers. They're just the Railers, not the Railroaders. That that makes a lot more sense. Railers sounds kind of aggressive, though. Oh, Railers are ECHL. Well, the Ice Cats... Ice Cats are AHL, weren't they? God, it's hard to remember. It's a long time ago. Eklund saying Olmark to the Kings. Rumors Olmark to the Kings. Uh-oh. Ryan, I'm with you that, that Florida did some bullying of their own, but I, I have a hard time saying they were bullied out of the playoffs with I mean, the injuries that they were sustaining and also the amount of bounces that just... It, it was a ton of bounces went Florida's way, which they won the series. They deserved to bragging rights everything, but... Man, a lot of things went Florida's way during that series. And look, it was a return of luck for one of the unluckiest seasons through the regular season for Florida. So it's not even, I mean, sometimes your luck just turns like that. But uh, I, I thought the Bruins, I, I thought the Bruins should have won that series still. Start watching the Bruins and Burke's rookie, se and Bork's rookie season at age 13. God, to watch his whole career. Good for you, man. I officially started watching Bruins last year, but I've been a fan by location as I was born in Boston in 99, but definitely remember watching for the first time during the 11 Cup. What a run that was, too. You got to just watch something that was... Man, ugh, the, the three game sevens, incredible. Incredible. All right, let's see some rumors here. I, I was told this some rumors. I don't see anything on my timeline. I don't see anything in my timeline. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It was a really close series. It was 58 seconds, man. 58 seconds, they get a bounce off of uh, McAvoy's stick to go top corner on Swayman. Then they lose in overtime again. Brittany, I, uh, I'm from Worcester originally. I, it's sort of. Gardner. or re Outside of Gardner. <laughs> So, just a real small town outside of Gardner. Uh, went to school in in uh, Phillipston, technically, I think. Athol at one point, Fitchburg at one point. I bounced around a little bit. Pavel Bure. Oh, what uh, to put him in his prime in a spoked B? Give me that all day. I'll be taking a week off next year. Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. I was in the stands for the game after the Thornton trade. People wanted fucking blood in that crowd. It deservedly so. Deservedly so. My parents and grandparents were so happy when the Wings bounced the Leafs in six and the Blues in five. I vaguely remember the 97-98 Cups, but the 2002 playoff run I remember like it was yesterday. Yeah, there's certain ones that just stick with you. And also, it depends on your age, too, of course, where, like, stuff's just fuzzy way back in the day. Do I have to pick up the pendant in the Discord for later? I'll definitely check that out, AJ. That's awesome. Oh, Lady Kings is all smoke and no fire right now? Okay. Baldwinville? Hold on. Hold on, I didn't even remember the name. Okay, so I'm from Phillipston, is where I'm from. So if you know, if you know Phillipston, that's, I shouldn't be giving out, I'm doxing myself, but, I mean, not really, I don't live there anymore. But yeah, originally from Phillipston. <laughs> Gold Star Boulevard. I'm trying to, like, bring back the memories. I, I, it's been, I haven't revisited my home in... 
13 years now? Liam's Den. Watched hockey my whole life. Only problem is everyone in my house are Habs fans, and I'm the only Bruins fan. That makes you the asshole, and you should be proud of it. You should be so proud of it. Sergey Samsonov? Oh, yeah. Yeah, in this era especially, he'd be brilliant. I love my Sammy jersey. McGilney would be a good one? Oh, yeah. John LeClaire? I got I think I have a Le I do have a LeClaire jersey as well. Grew up with the Flyers and the Bruins, but my mom wanted me to watch the Ducks. Ew. <laughs> no, Pat Maroon did have a back surgery. Uh, and he's not available for the next couple of weeks. Dude, the fact that you can remember vividly watching Bruins games at four years old is nuts to me. Ah, Patches to the Rangers. Is it official? <laughs> Wait, Matthew Nyes is still uh, waiver exempt? I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that he's only in his second year of his ELC. Oh, good for them. That's nice. Some nice flexibility. <laughs> I don't, uh, don't see anything on the patches thing yet. Let's see it. Let's see it. Nothing yet. Nothing Nothing firm yet. Kirby, that's so nice of you. And I do want to stream more often. God, I do want to stream more often. My guitarist lives in Templeton. Yeah, you would be familiar with the area. That's crazy. I'll be in South Carolina and made a golf. Hilton Head Island. Yeah, Hilton Head is beautiful. Snobby people out there, but I mean, that's every beautiful place ever. I, I want, I, as soon as you said uh, Pavel Bure, that, that's the answer. That kind of skating in today's NHL, I, that's, I, yes, 100%. He, he would be must watch every time. <laughs> Family in Greenfield and Athol. Athol! I wonder if Athol has changed. God, I hope it has. Scott Stevens. All right. I don't, I don't know. The game's changed quite a bit. Matt, the maroon move is fine. It doesn't negatively impact the team. I don't think it positively impacts them either. Maybe he ends up being a good fourth line addition. The money is easy to bury. If someone is really upset about it, it's more about the fact of who the player is than the actual on-ice impact. Okay, so... Jasmine, child labor is, is was the rage when I was a kid, too. Does anyone remember the Red Apple Farm? Like, does anyone know the Red Apple Farm in Phillipston? I'm just curious. Admiral Autism from Athol. Has it changed? Because uh, when I was growing up, Athol had some nasty areas. <laughs> not, a bad, not a bad town. Uh, one of my first vivid hockey memories was too many men on the ice versus the house. Come on, man. <laughs> why, why, you gotta, why you gotta bring that up? Dad made sure to indoctrinate me, and for that I'm thankful that I'm not a damn Leafs Habs fan. I bet. I bet. I don't even remember deciding on the Bruins as my favorite sports team. It's just always been for as long as I can remember. Hell yeah, that's a good way to go. Uh, Maroon plays both sides, Robert. I think he's... I want to say he's a left shot, but watch me be an idiot and be very wrong here. Hold on. Has this not updated yet? It might not have. 
she might not have. Bup, 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 bup. Oh, he's down here. He is a left shot. I don't remember what I said, so I'm going to pretend I was right with whatever I said. <laughs> Taking trips out of the Quavin in the summer. Oh my god! Alright, these are memories flooding back that I don't I don't know if I'm okay with it. Um, this, I don't know, <laughs> need all this. D Fitchburg, I bet, has a big brewery scene at this point. God, it's been so long since I've been back. I got kicked out of a school in Fitchburg. <laughs> Oh, Ella, yeah, only the past five years, huh? Oh, so he's seen some highs and lows. Oh, yeah. Burray would absolutely be a better Panarin. Started watching in 1969. Was born before the Leafs won their last cup. Wow. Admiral... You were at the Red Apple Farm last night. How's Al doing? Did you see the owner? I worked at that place for five years. They have a brew barn now? Yep. And do they still have the, um, the barbecue, the outside barbecue area? That brings it back, man. Nichuskin is back tonight? Really? Hold on, I'm just I'm just gonna check to see if someone held on to him in fantasy. Give me a second here. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, that Canes fan gave me a call. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's about about a few things actually. Um. Ah, he's already owned. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> I'm glad that I got that right. Most of the bad areas in MA have gotten drastically better. I live in Westfield, and it's an entirely different place than it was 20 years ago. That's awesome. Yeah, honestly, the place I live in in South Carolina, um, I, 10 years ago, you you would not be living here comfortably. It would be a much different, uh, much different circ uh, circumstances. Fishbird still sucks. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Game seven when the bees blew a three zero series lead. E Yeah. That's uh that's a tough one. Oh, Colin, yeah. The the two thousand thirteen game seven against the Leafs? Absolutely. That would hook anybody in. Just joined now. Any trades yet? Pat Maroon. For for us, Pat Maroon. That's that's it. We got him in for a sixth. I'm I'm so glad you're telling me about what the, the Red Apple Farm does now. What a what a blast from the past. King's asking for either Oli or Swayman for Pierre Luc Dubois and Roy. What in the fly? I don't. I don't know if I do that. You're taking on a massive contract from a guy who's been a huge letdown. Uh oh. Is it really only an hour and a half left? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is Maine not also super expensive? I do really like South Carolina. I'm not, like, upset here. I started to cheer for Boston when I saw Chara. Fair. Yeah, Wyvern, I don't get that either. They moved away. That's not your team anymore. That's the way... They're not the Whalers. They're the Canes. They're just holding on to that for extra sales. Oh, Frank, absolutely we're doing the bracket challenge again. We had over 200 entries last year. It was awesome. 
And I'm hoping for even more this year. I'm pumped. And I, I, I don't think... I think we're going to do it free again, and we're still going to do a, uh, a jersey reward. Hag said Toporowski in a six for Maroon. I haven't seen the Toporowski part of that. Uh... Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, Andrew's going to be heartbroken. Topo probably wasn't doing anything, but... I, I, yeah, that's... That is kind of a bummer. Trade DeBrus for Matt Rempe. Get out of here. Come on. Brand new fans started going to my local SPHL games. I became obsessed with hockey in December of last year. My mom is from Boston, and honestly, I saw clips of Tim Thomas trucking people. That'll do it, too. That's a great reason to become a fan. And here's the thing. I hate people who are like, that's how you became a fan? No. However you became a fan, I don't care if it's like, hey, I thought this player was hot. I, I, I hate when people look down at that. However you become a fan, you become a fan. Then you're a fan. That's it. And the goalie hug. Ellen, you're so on. You're locked in. This is great. You used to live on a boat in the Charleston City Marina? It's a nice little marina. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy, I'm with you. I, this, this PDL thing reeks. Oh, Nick, so Maine is doing what everyone else is, where, like, no one's paying anybody, but everything's becoming more expensive. To be fair, Topo, I think he had reached his limit here. I don't think he was ever going to make this team. Hans Slomo, what's up, man? I haven't talked to you in a minute. What's going on? Condition is if he plays a game in the playoffs... They get the sixth. Okay. Uh, Michael, no, nothing new. Except for that Topo was part of the deal. Yeah, Jasmine, we do have a lot of a lot of dolphins. We do have a lot of dolphins down here. Bruins in the 80s had a sucky, forgettable player with my name hooked for life. Yep, that'll get you. <laughs> Charleston in the summer is uh, unpleasant. At least, But hey, at least here we have central air everywhere. You go up north and there's so many places. Historical buildings. Yeah, it's hot as shit, man. And we can't put the AC on. Oh, there's no AC. I want to move back north for what it's worth, though. May have been a favor for Topo. Might have been. Maybe he wanted out. Jake Allen to the Devils. Okay. So that closes one door. Got into the, uh, into hockey the year after the cup run. Tough timing, but still, there's no bad timing. Well. Living in Florida. Yeah, that heat's something else. That heat is something else. Let's take a look at this... Uh, Uh, okay, that's official. That's, that's official. Here in traction on Jake Allen, New Jersey. Okay. Nothing crazy yet. Time is dwindling, my friends. Yeah, no AC is a deal breaker. 100%. I, I, I will be in 28 degree weather before I'll be in 90 degree weather without AC. Do you think pasta can look a little nonchalant on the ice sometimes? Of course I do. Of course I do. I just don't think it's as big of a deal as people make it out to be. I, I, I think that's his game, and it's frustrating at times, and he's a... I believe I can make this play kind of guy. 
And if he wasn't as talented as he is, it would be a bigger issue. Um, but you live you live with him forcing plays every now and again because he also makes those plays. Told Philly has traded Wade Allison per Anthony DeMarco. If that's true, I will take a Wade Allison. I will 100% take a Wade Allison. DeBrus may be a self-rental. I think they're going to work on an extension. I'd like to, I think they'd like to keep him. Have you ever considered playing Elden Ring on stream? I absolutely have, and I have played Elden Ring on stream a little bit. Uh, I really like that game. I, I've played all the Dark Souls games, and I know this isn't technically Dark Souls, but... Bruins could be done at this point. I don't expect them to be. Oh, I think that might be just be mocking me. <laughs> <coughs> Oops. Let's see this Jake Allen deal. I, I, I don't know if that's that's getting the job done for him. I also don't... Well... What are the Devils this year? Where are they right now, actually? Are they close to a playoff spot at this point? Because I don't think they are. Uh, six points out with a game in hand, huh? That's not gonna... Not gonna bolster confidence. Elden Ring is brilliant. What a great game. What a great game. What trade do I think is left to make? At this point, mm, DeBrusque or Olmark being moved. I, I, it's starting to feel like they won't do one of those, but whew, there's just a lot. There's a lot of chatter. Nothing seems concrete, though. It would be weird if we even bothered with this Pat Maroon deal and only did that. But again, I think that still leans towards, like, you didn't actually give up any real assets. I, I still think that leans towards, like, hey, we don't have the assets to go all in this year. An Eldering randomizer. I wish I had more time to do that kind of stuff and, and just jump in and, and screw around for a bit. Liam's Den, to be able to get your friends involved in it, too, it's just so much more fun. Kind of crazy to think that in the past five years I went from mostly normal to the insane hockey girl who only wears Bruins clothes. <laughs> I love it. Dude, has the DLC been announced for Elden Ring? I feel like it has. Really haven't seen a lot of action from any of the sellers today. San Jose, Anaheim, Chicago, nothing. Johnny, let me ask you something. For at least for actually any of those teams, who are they selling at this point? Chicago doesn't have shit to sell, right? Do you prefer uh, Linus or DeBrus to be traded? I guess my answer is actually neither. But if I had to choose one, oh, that's a tough one. I think it makes more ugh, Linus, I guess, but it's real close. If we move Olmark, I'm going to curl up into a ball and cry for the next two seasons minimum. <laughs> Valid response, Matt. Comes out in June? Oh, nice. That's soon. Hey, Venus. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And I will have a beer on you. Thank you so much. This is... This is just going to to Thailand's beer money. That's that's what this is. I really appreciate it. I was at Burke's, Bork's last game in Boston. That's awesome. Oh, the trailer's already up for the game too. Awesome. I'll have to check it out. Devils have Meyer, who's not worth the money right now, and Akira Schmidt is not the goalie who should... Yeah, he should have become... Yeah! I, uh, this Nico Dawes kid has had a good stretch, but then he has had a really bad stretch right after it, so we'll see. Bedard for Linus and DeBrusque, I wish. 
I would I would still be exploring a, a Mercer deal, but that's dead if they're not trying to get Olmark from us. There are ass there are pieces on all of those teams that could fetch assets that haven't moved, even if the returns are marginal. Yeah, I guess. Here's the thing. Chicago, I'm actually mostly going to disagree with you because I just... Who do you actually move here that a team is going to give up assets for? Tyler Johnson's been brutal. Nick Foligno, who has two more years out of contract you really don't want him at. And then all these guys who you're not moving because of their age. Um, Colin Blackwell? I, I No one's really given up much for him. I, I just don't see anyone actually getting moved... And especially their defense, which is, I mean, all the young, you want to keep all those guys. And I think it's pretty similar across the board for the other teams, too. Anaheim probably has a piece or two they can move. Does the diet end in Thailand? It actually already has. Once I hit 10% body fat, high-quality girlfriend got real upset and was like, okay, we're not doing this anymore, so I'm going to do the whole bulking thing. I had fun with it, and so now I'm doing the whole like 45% protein intake, 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day heavy lifting every day um just for fun it's just a new challenge kind of thing to do chicago should be a cap space seller that's correct i will not argue with that at all that is absolutely true seventh player award this year which is the strangest list how is coil even considered he's like on our top line every night anyway uh coil is <laughs> because he's he's on the voting so might as well Being stationed in Hawaii, catching all the games can be a bit of a task, so thank you for your videos. Hey, absolutely. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to have you as the viewer. Jake Allen to New Jersey. It's official. That's fine. I don't, I don't see how that really gets them where they need to be, you know? But sure, whatever. Huh. I know very little about Gurionov. Very, very little. He doesn't look great, though. Conditional third, which became a second? What? Eee. Okay. Good luck with that. How much would you value your jersey collection at? Would you ever wear a Habs jersey? Careful with your answer, I may unsubscribe. Well, I hate to tell you, but for the skits, Habs jerseys are required. Uh, I wouldn't willingly wear one out to a game or anything, though. Unless, hold on. Is there a situation where the Habs would be playing another team in the playoffs where I'd actually be rooting for the Habs? No. No, I wouldn't. So, I only wear them for skits. Um, as far as the value, I don't know. 80-something jerseys. Some of them are worth a few hundred. What's the math there? Uh, hey, it's, it's, I don't know, somewhere between five and ten grand. I, that's kind of a vague... I, I don't really think of it in terms of that. This stuff could sit on my walls for years. I, I wear them pretty frequently, so it's one of those things where I'm not, not all that... Um, I'm not concerned with getting value back for them. I just like having them. Going to TD Garden at all this year? I I don't think I can I can swing it. I might try to for a playoff game, but that's that's my best chance uh, this year. Guess for Swayman's next contract. If the reports are true, it's it looks like it's gonna be five to eight years at around seven million dollars a year, and I'm really comfortable with that. It can never be a GM. I get too emotionally attached to every player. It's the same, honestly. I'd hate to move Heinen. Uh, oh, you're saying maybe Heinen for the seventh player. Yeah, I can see that. I, there's a lot of good choices this year. Wade Allison to Nashville? Come on, man. Really? I think Wade Allison's solid. I, I really like their game. For Guriano, too? Huh. I kind of I kind of feel like Allison would have fetched more than that. Maybe he's having a down year. Maybe maybe the past couple years hasn't been good, but every time I feel like we trade them, I really love his game. 
Xenocyber, say thanks for all the videos. I'm in Israel and I don't catch many live games. Dude, that's awesome. There's so many people from all around the world that watch this channel. It's freaking awesome. It's so cool. I'm happy to have you as a watcher, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, Southpaw Jimmy. No, Omar's definitely not not going to the Devils. So the Kings thing is still alive, which I, I still don't love the idea, but we'll see. Teresa, no, even against the Leafs, I'm not wearing that Habs jersey. Uh, I would still, I think that's, oh God, that's a tough call. Habs versus Canes, and you need to sit next to Thomas. I'm wearing a black flag jersey all day. All day. Canes in four. Can we do this live for a playoff game? Yeah, it's going to be lower quality than Steve Dangle does, and I can't, like, show the game. I don't have the rights to that. Um, but we should be able to do do some live games. The only it's one million. Yes, probably between ten to fifteen k. I guess it's possible. Yeah, I guess that's. Oh, I guess mathematically that makes sense. Ooh, that's. I don't like thinking about how much money I've spent on uh, jerseys. I don't like that. Geeky seventh player. If he continues playing the way he has been lately, yeah. Maroon feels like a trade just to say you made one. <laughs> We're no strangers to that. At least a few years ago. Heinen's entrance to the team probably is his inside track on that, too. The PTO waited for weeks just to get on the team. Full-time spot, important to the team. Yeah, there's a real argument for him there. Still on Elden Ring. Shadow of the Archery looks tight. Definitely recommend taking a gander at the trailer. I absolutely will after this. What were Kings offering? So, supposedly, and this is just off somebody from the chat, it was Pierre-Luc Dubois and uh, Matt Roy. I would have to assume there's something else, too, because I, you can't you can't take on that Pierre-Luc Dubois contract willy-nilly. Worst and best goal horn in the league besides the Bruins. I'm going to disappoint you here. I can't, I'm not good with memorizing stuff like that. I'm not. I, I really enjoy the uh, the yes, yes, yes from the Islanders fans. So that's really fun. It has nothing to do with Goldhorn, but I enjoy that. But I lived on the island for a few years, so I, I enjoyed going to their games. Me versus Steve Dangle in a fight who wins? Physically? I I think I've I, I think I've got some size on that guy. Uh that being said, intellectually, that guy's an encyclopedia of hockey knowledge. One of my biggest frustrations with doing this and loving this sport and analyzing this sport is I have the memory capacity of a gerbil. Like you asked me questions about teams just a few years ago, and it's just gone. It's it's It doesn't maintain like he does. He's an unbelievable mind for this stuff, and has a great memory for it. So I, nothing but impressed. But physically, I think I have too much size. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure he's smaller than me by a lot. And so you're Admiral Autism, you're really in on getting uh, getting Olmark out the door to bring in help for this year's team. Much rather have you screaming over a Bruins game than Jack Edwards. Jack's a legend though. The last couple of years have been rough. He'll admit it before anybody. He's probably on his way out, but I I he's gonna be a legend of this team, you know? Gotta respect that. Frank, I don't like thinking about how much money is put in Jersey. Brother, there has never been a true statement spoken. It hurts my feelings. Eric Johnson gets moved once again. <laughs> oh, good stuff. I don't... <laughs> Hold on. What's What's the deal? why I mean I guess this is their way of not uh, not punting on the season I I don't love Eric Johnson as a player in general but yeah 
What are they giving up for him? This is the weirdest deadline ever, man. Not actually, but it's a pretty strange one. They, they, this is what I didn't want the Bruins to do, by the way. Is one foot in, one foot out. This is exactly what I didn't want them to do. Red Wings horn is the best horn. Red Wings horn is, if I remember correctly, pretty good. Ever tried to get Steve Dangle to do a skit with you? I've never contacted the guy, but I think that'd be fun. Sly Cooper, again, excellent username. That Those games were everything to me as a kid. I've played hundreds of hours on all of them. Uh, and I appreciate you keeping the puck drops alive while I was dying. <laughs> It's until he decides to weaponize his screaming newborn. Yeah, that's fair. Loke Walvers Dangle, UFC 280. God, I'm the next Jake Paul, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Matt Roy. Are you the hockey player? Or Because I, I said something not super great about you in the offseason, and now I'm embarrassed if you're the... <laughs> I know you're not, but still... Deadline so far has kind of been a bust. A bust for the Bruins. Today has kind of been a bust, but yesterday got real crazy. Wow, a fourth for Eric Johnson. Uh, good good work by Buffalo, I guess. I mean, the fourth isn't much, but it's more than I thought they'd get. Sweeney so just... He did the same thing last year, up until the very end. But if I remember correctly, the very end was, that was Bertuzzi, wasn't it? At the very end of the, the deadline was a Bertuzzi announcement. No, not me. <laughs> Thoughts on Resident Evil? Um, <laughs> never played them. I need to play some of these scary games on stream so that you can watch how much of an unbelievable pansy ass I am. I am so scared of scary games and I, like I'm not brave. I tried to play Subnautica for like three minutes and I have a deep sea fear, which I'm going to conquer in Thailand. Uh, it was, it was pathetic. So I need to do that on stream just so people can witness how pathetic I am as a grown man. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it. The maroon trade is getting worse. Are you referring to uh topo being part of it? Wait, who's going to Toronto? I remember going out to my car at noon to call short shift about it. <laughs> Dead Space is exactly one of the games I want to play. That's what we'll do. We'll do a Dead Space playthrough. We'll like do scheduled times each week for a little bit of Dead Space. Maybe that's what we do in the off season. I don't know. That's definitely one of the games I've heard such great things about it. My friends have been clowning me because I scream a little a little girl. Uh, so that knuckle puck, my Kane's friend, uh, had me play a little bit of Outlast and uh, got to watch me be a sniveling coward. Oh, baseball. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, I'm literally looking at it on, on Twitter right here. Okay. I was like, hold on. I don't, I don't know that hockey player. Is this something I should know? Uh... Man, nothing. Nothing else popping up. Nothing else popping up. I can't believe that uh, they did a 24-hour stream. I just... I... Ugh. Not even interested in doing something like that. Losing to the Leafs in round one would be catastrophic. This year, would it be? It would be awful. Don't get me wrong. But would it, would it be catastrophic this year? Sniper and cheese. What's up, Chico? How are you? Play Dead by Daylight with me, Conquer Your Fear. Oh, God. I do love that game. I've never played it. I've just watched a bunch of streams of it. 
Jasmine, thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. You've been here basically the whole stream. I hope you have a great day. I play The Witcher 3 and I'm scared sometimes. Is that a scary game? Will you enjoy, enjoy Bangkok? I won't be going to Bangkok. I think we're spending almost our entire trip in the, the fuck it region. The Phuket region. The Dead Space remake that came out last year. I think that's what I have in Steam, is the, the remake. Lethal Company I've played, and if it weren't for Helldivers, I'd probably still be playing. That's a great one, too. In your opinion, why are there so many Bruins in almost every area the Bruins go to? Because the, the fans are awesome. They travel so well. So well. I, I never, like, I, I don't think I ever go to a, a game, even a non-Bruins game, where, like, there's, there's always a Bruins. There's two jerseys I always see at every single game I go to, no matter who's playing. I see a Detroit Red Wings jersey, and I see a Bruins jersey. At every single game, no matter what, no matter who the team's playing are, there's always one of those two jerseys. That includes... AHL games that I've gone to, that includes ECHL games that I go to, there is always Bruins, Red Wings. I don't know why, but that's it. <laughs> Losing to the Leafs is catastrophic every year. Fair. All right. Jake Allen in New Jersey, do you think it's worth it? I don't, I don't think it does anything for New Jersey, honestly. JC, what's the matter, man? Oh, the six for Pat would have been fine. I think Tapa was never going to, like, make the next move here. So, it's it's fine. It doesn't really do anything to me. Andrew Peak. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> this uh, sure I, 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 oh what am I doing I don't know what kind of season he's had oh, oh did we break it we might have broke it. Someone broke it. Let's see if we can actually pull this up. <laughs> it might just be broken right now. That's okay. We can find information later. Wherever you go, there's a Habs jersey in Switzerland? Weird. No, this uh, this is Jay Fresh's um, Patreon stuff. I've only showed a couple cards from it. He's posting them all on Twitter anyway. Um, but it's five bucks, and it's it's so worth it. I I don't I don't see how how Zaboral. <laughs> Oh, man. That is... That is... A trade... That was made. Yeah. Is this what the... This... Okay. <laughs> Not a needle mover to me. Not a needle mover. I think I think this still goes along with you haven't given anything up. You've given up a six round pick, a player who was never gonna play for us, and a player that was never gonna play for us. Uh I don't really remember peak long-term. Yep, long-term solution. 
On the right side, interestingly enough, so that's a Shattenkirk upgrade. He's a right shot too, right? Yeah. Decent size, 6'3", 200 pounds-ish. Oh, well, is he injured this year? Or was he just not able to get into games? See, this is... Some of these names, like, you try to follow as best you can, but... Hold on. <laughs> Andy and Rono actually remain one of those analytics teams that I'm just not... I, I They're not my first go-to. Um... How is this a huge win or a great deal for Columbus? I mean, I guess the expense of Peak's contract, but it's not even that expensive. And Zaboral is, is nothing. No offense to Zaboral, but... Hmm. Yeah. That might be it. That really might be it. If that's what they're focused on, and that does put us in a different situation financially, just with the money-wise, with a 2.7 cap hit, that really might be all she wrote for the Bruins deadline. What that does mean, in all likelihood, though, yep, yeah, Maroon will get moved down to LTIR. McLaughlin dropped. It's just not showing right now. I don't think this move fits without moving someone. Yeah, you guys are actually making a good point. Uh, is that like he's his numbers are fine for a terrible team. The contract I'm not overly worried about. There's a chance that it turns into four board, but with the youth and everything, uh, like Peaks not you know forty. Uh, I don't even know how old four board is at this point, but uh, he holds his own, I guess. If it's literally just Saboral, I'm, I'm real good. Um, whatever. It's just a lot of whatever, though. Huh. Yeah. For Saboral. A couple more years on that, they would. I knew they were gonna look for something long term. No, you get a fence to Zaboral. See, that's the other thing, is with Pete coming in, someone still has to get moved. Right? Like, there has to be some sort of money going the other way. Hmm. Yeah, if Peak looks okay, you know, if he's a long-term, here's the thing. If he's a long-term solution, we had just looked at, there you go. If he's a long-term solution right here behind Mac and Carlo, and he looks solid enough, that's great tidy work. Zavoro was never going to play for us. That's it. Um, the contract's not egregious, but 2.75 is... I mean, we talk about Forbort's three million, but I mean, he's certainly better than Forbort. I don't hate the move. I don't. I really, really don't. It does go along with what we thought about having a long-term solution being the focus here. And it wasn't Eric Johnson, so I'll take that all day. Now, what I am curious about do we ever figure out what the return for Eric Johnson was? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Not great. Woo! But 2.8, three years, looks real bad. Don't hate that 56% there. 
Time on Ice is depth. The problem, so one thing with these cards, it takes into account your time on ice. So time on ice usually reflects what kind of assignments you're getting versus the higher your time on ice, more likely you're getting harder assignments, the lower. So time on ice as depth means very low impact, very low competition, right? And it even lists here, 42% competition mean you're, he's facing below average difficulty assignments. Uh, and he has below average line mates. Uh, and he looks really bad in some areas, and he's not going to be trusted on the PK, so we're not really worried about that, but he's solid enough defensively. 25 years old, this could work out. This could work out. I'm curious if there's any retention here. E. I would really have hated to get rid of Formort just to replace it to with another contract we really aren't going to like. That isn't a huge number, but still frustrating. Do any of our prospects that are playing NHL minutes help cap by being moved back down? A little bit. Mark McLaughlin's getting moved back down to save about 800k. Um, this is either going to require a retainment or a guy getting moved, though. Yeah, Wyvern, exactly. So that's a geeky and a peaky. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, is Peak the 7th D or will he play? Both? I, I assume he's going to take some some time away from Shattenkirk's role, and they're going to swap back and forth, and then whoever's playing the best of the playoffs plays. <laughs> Matthew, I agree with that. He's 25. There's still a little room for growth there. 1995 stumbled upon a starter warehouse, which was selling all NHL jerseys for $20 each. That's sick. Dangle says analytics from the Ducks don't matter. Neither do they matter coming from Columbus because the whole team is awful. Peak is a good player in vacuum, just not on that team. Totally shaggy, totally agree. We have this conversation every year where the analytics are not going to favor a guy on a bad team. That being said, sometimes bad teams are bad because their players are bad. You got to weigh both of those. Andrew Peak, this doesn't appear to be a disaster by any means. Doesn't appear to be a disaster. Worst case scenario, you've wasted some money, um, but not a lot. And it's, if the reports are true, a Zaboral swap is nothing. It's, it's, Zaboral was never going to play for this team. And if he turns out to be something for Columbus, great. That's great because it never was going to happen here. Also, he is going to be hella sheltered. Hella sheltered on this team. All right. I, I can talk myself into this. Okay. 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 Yeah, I also agree with that. But still, okay. I'm, I'm going to pretend I can talk myself into this. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Ah. Uh... I could talk myself into it. I'm going to keep saying that over and over. I'll be right back.
Oh boy. Oh boy. Bruin's gonna drop a bombshell soon. Maybe. Oh, it's still possible. It's still possible. Oh, I guess this also does fly in the face of uh, of what I said earlier about Columbus might be closed for business. That's kind of funny. God, I'm so good at saying things where the opposite happens directly after. So, is it really just one for one? Well, yeah, no retention, one for one. Yeah, someone's someone's getting moved out or forwards someone Tanya Hardy and forwards leg cuz without something else happening, we are over the cap. This is going to be, this is one of those moves where it's either going to look pretty brilliant in the long term, just an excellent, smart, uh, cheap acquisition, or it's going to be your next four board where you're like, God, I really wish we had that 2.8 million available. Was my mic on while I was gone? Because <laughs> Larry did eat a, uh... <laughs> yeah, speaking of, Larry decided to eat apparently one of our, um... I don't know what you'd even call it. You put it down so you can put hot things on top of it. I don't know. Uh, but he ate half of that, which a uh, high-quality girlfriend is very upset about. Uh... Hey, thank you so much, man! ACH, ach, ach. Thank you! That's more, more beer money for the trip. That's what it is. You know I haven't drank anything since the diet started, so this is gonna get um, this is gonna get interesting. I've got now thirty two whole dollars to get, which is actually quite a good amount of money for drinking in Thailand. I have already ordered our um, our Thai bots as they're called. They're bots. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's their currency. And I now have um thirty five thousand dollars in Thai bots. 35,000 bots. Not an American dollar. Not 35,000 American dollars worth. Just 35,000 American bots. Not American bots. Dying bots. <laughs> this is a struggle. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm a little worked up. My car's name is Tanya Hardtop. <laughs> they were about to trade Oli, but he declined. Source. Source. They just said Boston isn't done yet, NHL Network. Yeah, I mean, the, the financially, we can't be. We can't be. More waiver claims. A little bit of a, a little bit of a circus going on with that. So we need going to make a big last minute move. The thing about big last minute moves is sometimes they fall through. Have I missed anything? Zaboral for Andrew Peak. Tri is it trivet? What? What? Is, what the word is? Oh, is that? Is it trive? Are you talking about the thing that you put down for the for the thing? I have been on a diet, Mikey Fresh. I have gone from two hundred pounds to one hundred eighty-five. I've gained uh, about six pounds of muscle and lost 20-something pounds of, of fat. I did this whole science-based thing. It's been fun. And then the last week, I've been laying in a bed, so all the muscle that I get, did gain is just gone. But whatever. That's how it works. Um, dead space is scary. I, I, am, I am very well aware. I'm very excited to just be terrified on stream. Uh... Hey, Spartan, what's going on, man? 
Dicky Dark Side, thank you for more beer money. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you. Uh, hey, local, you should really drink some water. Oh, you, I know you're right, but it's whatever. I'm just going to keep drinking coffee and pretend it's the right thing to do. I should drink some water. We'll get there. Bot, no plural. Got it. Good lessons. See? I'm just a dumb American, man. I love but also hate how quiet Sweeney is with trades. I, can, I say, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. I don't know. I like peak to the Bruins. I feel like we've talked about not having a solid defense so they can clear net fronts and scrap a bit. I, I Yeah, look. The whole argument that Pete couldn't break Columbus's lineup is a little scary consistently. He's got time here. Because we have pieces that he doesn't have to replace right away. So it should be an interesting progression, basically. I feel like we'll probably see his effect more next year than this year. I guess I do have something to say. The stream is keeping me sane during a day where a bunch of folks were just laid off in my company. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. I hope you're doing all right. Uh... Those, those mass layoffs are brutal, and they're becoming way too common. Bubba G did the math. 1,000 U.S. Yeah, that, uh, that was split between... The thing is, that's split between four people, basically. Um, they The travel guide, which High Quality Girlfriend did all the work on, said that like $500 U.S. per, per couple will get you pretty damn far. Uh, over there. So that's what we're going with for now, and we have funds in case that doesn't work out. Did Maroon get moved to LTIR? It looks like he did. It looks, according to Cap Friendly, he quickly got moved over, but there's no official report of that yet. Olmark nixed a trade because of geography, reported by Kevin Weeks. What, what does that mean? <laughs> because Olmark can't can't nix trades unless it's to a team that oh hold on i guess i'll just read twitter for a second what what does that mean <laughs> all this <laughs> all the sense fans are like it was us what does that mean and that also might have been your big deadline deal, by the way. The one that, like, might be last minute. That's crazy. So he he has a modified clause though. He doesn't have a full no movement clause, right? Unless I'm totally off base here. Yeah. So that team must have been part of his 16 team no trade list and they still asked him to waive it, which feels bold in itself cuz why would he? He seems very happy here. Wow. Oh, that's not... There's people in this fan base who are going to react very poorly to that. <laughs> wow. Jayfresh calling peak dollar store Carlo is hilarious. Honestly, I'm fine with a dollar store Carlo. As, as your third pairing guy. God, I really hope Peak is, uh... I hope Peak turns out to be what we need on that third pair.
Not going to lose too much sleep over it. What what would that trade have been where Olmar, it would have been on Olmark's no trade list? I wish we got to see their no trade lists. Oh, the dogs are getting crazy out there. Also, here's what's worse is now you've asked him to get traded and he didn't. So now there's this more awkward thing now. Like, yeah, I know, be a professional everything. Olmark knows he's getting traded, if not now, in the offseason. Like, he knows that. He's not an idiot. He understands how this goes. Uh, still not a great vibe to throw around the team. If that's the case, then I think someone rang up Sweeney to trade for Olmark, Olmark as opposed to the other way around. Interesting. Yeah. Not a great look. We we don't know if that was L.A. I'd actually be a little surprised if it was L.A. on his no-trade list, but who knows? Maybe he really doesn't want to stray too far from the East Coast. Ella, we don't know what happened. It's just a report saying that we had a trade in place for Olmark, and Olmark nixed it. But that's all we know, and that's not really anything, is it? Come on, Brett. Come on, dude. <laughs> a lot of speculation there. Drone Machine, it's a good point. It could be something that's happened previously. Oh, Wyvern Slayer. I love that. I love that. I mean, why wouldn't he want to stay? He seems pretty happy here. The team loves him. The fans love him, as far as I can tell. A contract restructure of this thing like in the NFL? Not really. Assuming it's Ottawa for who? Chikrin? That's possible. Um, it probably would have taken, oddly enough to say, a little more from us. Family man, kids in school, yeah. I, I would have a hard time looking my boss in the face after that one, but I, I'm not in that world. It's got to be a different kind of feeling. Now you have to trade him. I don't think it means you have to. I mean, you're going to in the offseason if you don't do it this season. Yeah, I think that was that was likely what the big move was going to be. I still think there's something happening. Fort Worth traded to Dallas in exchange for a really nice dinner. Ooh, I would take a steak dinner from Dallas. JC, great attempt. Execution could use some work. No, Kessel is not reportedly signed with Vancouver yet, and he's running out of time. And if the reports are to be believed, Kessel wants to play this season. I'm all for player empowerment. Fuck it. You don't just get to trade me. Soyman's mixed feelings. I think he knows he's getting a fat contract regardless. I mean, even if we were like, hey, RFA, you're, you're going to, we're going to take offers on you. He's going to get a hell of a contract from somebody. Oh, man. Things are getting a little intense now, aren't they? To be fair, Carlo has kicked the puck in our net 6,000 times as well, so I'm not really worried about that.
People are getting antsy. I'm getting a little antsy myself. Might just be all the coffee and the lack of water. I'm so curious who that trade was for, though. I can't wait for some rumors to start circulating about that. Yeah, Chikrin's definitely got some injury history, for sure. Ella, don't be scared. Unless you really love Olmark, then be a little scared. At least we didn't ask for Severson, thank God. If Sway and Olmark end up on opposing teams, I wonder if they'll still keep the hug going with each other. Well, considering they only hug after a win, I think it's going to be pretty tough for them to find a time that they can do that. It was Olmark for Larry? Yeah, I wouldn't want to move to South Carolina either. That's fine. It's going to be a hell of a drive to, to Raleigh for the games, or to Tampa for the games. Stutes. Oh, man, what a trade that would be. Olmark for Stutes, a one-for-one. One. If Olmark nicks that, I'd get upset. No. Are you are you screwing with me? They sent a third for peak two. I don't get it. No. Jesus Christ. It's a 2027 third, so fine. Uh, that's a bad deal. That's a bad deal. That's a bad trade. You traded a third for a guy who couldn't break the lineup. You traded a third for a guy who couldn't break the lineup. Okay. Uh, not good work, Don. Not good work. Not good work. Andrew Peake was a risk in itself, and you added an asset. See, now this is where you start to go, okay, Maroon was nothing because it was for a six-rounder two years from now and a player that wasn't going to play for us. And then peak, okay, you're taking on space. You're taking on cap space. And you're not so sure about this guy. It's a bit of a risk. And you're giving up a third-round pick. What? Why did you need to do that? Jesus. Again, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. But what a ridiculously silly thing to do. What a silly thing to do. I'm just going to say that. Oh my goodness. Twitter's stupid. I don't know why I tweet. They must really like that player. I, I hope they have scouted the hell out of him. The guy couldn't crack a lineup in Columbus, dude. What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's an upgrade over Shattenkirk. Maybe, but... Did you... I don't see why you would have... Who were you... Who were you bidding against? Like, that's... That's the question you always have to ask. Who were you bidding against? It doesn't look like you were bidding against shit. Will's Castle of Cards... Yeah, I mean, there's a real chance that Olmark just sticks around. And they, um, they do it in the offseason. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> 20 to 30% third rounders can make it to the NHL. Yeah, it's not even really about that. I, I know it's still like a pick that you go, okay, well, how much are we really going to miss here? 
Uh, it's silly, though. Genuinely. Because you didn't have to pay that. I, I just don't see a world where you had to pay that. Zaboral stock that low. Yeah, but they're not even... You're not taking on any contract. Like, you're not taking on any money with Zaboral. You're just getting a guy who underperformed here. A third round pick for Andrew Peak takes Zaboral out of the equation, is an overpayment. No wonder they made this deal. No wonder they weren't mad at us about last year. Yikes. Yeah, that's a win for Columbus, I'd say. I hope there is upside. It just... Even if there is, who were you bidding against? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Peak or Edmondson? I'll take Peak. Fine. All right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we move on. Money still has to be moved. Matt Dumba to Tampa Bay? All right. That's fine by me. <laughs> Look at this card. Wow. Uh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Advanced analytics be damned, uh, but not really. I love analytics. That's a bad card, though. Whew. The way to read this one, if I'm remembering correctly, is uh, <laughs> it's all based on pace. Really, for the most part. Uh, so he's on pace for four goals this season. Uh, he was originally looking at to get three. He's on pace for 26. But the, the pace is over an 82-game sample, of course, which he's not going to get. Um, the offensive and defensive ratings, yikes. The percentiles on that. God, he gives up a lot, doesn't he? Well, maybe we can turn him around. Gotta have some faith. I'm okay with it. I don't understand the third. Don't get it. That's another point. You, you, they were probably buying this guy out. You weren't bidding against anybody. Oh, and for what it's worth, not crucifying Peak, really. I, I'm I'm really going after Sweeney for this one. That just doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. I'm not upset. I'm not that upset. All right. NHL Network saying fourth to the wild for Maroon now. There's no way. Come on. You can't tell me Forbart's card would be better than Peaks if Forbart's played in Columbus. Actually, do you want to see something funny? Uh, I'm going to show you Forbart's card right now. Uh, and it's going to blow your fucking mind. It's it's one of the cards that uh, I don't even understand how it's possible. 
that it looks like this. Give it a minute. There we go. All right, excellent. Sorry, this website takes a minute. This, this is what I didn't want them to do. I didn't want them to give up any sort of assets, even years down the road, a third round pick, for, for these marginal upgrades that might not even be upgrades. I, it's just weird. It's a weird move. Up, 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 up. Derek Forbort. That's his card. A plus six, an 88th percentile in defensive rating. Fuck out of here. Absolutely not. That's not true. That's not true. I d there are times when I look at analytics and I buy in. And then there are times where I go, I know they say the eye test isn't real. Fuck you. The eye test is real with this one. How in the world are you considering him in the top 12% of defensemen? Come on. Sometimes, and these, these cards are largely based on statistics. So... There's a little asterisk with them anyway because of all the blocked shots and everything like that. That's Forward's card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a 27 third. Kids are still in high school. That's true too. We're not. I'm gonna. We're not even gonna remember this. I mean, like me overreacting for nothing. But. Uh. It is true that for though forward gets way too much hate. I mean, I, this guy, I I can't stand watching this guy play on, on on the Bruins. He's a good person. He's had good good games, but boy, they say he has surplus value. He's a four point two million dollar defenseman. You cannot believe that watching him play. You can't believe it. You can't believe it. Even compared to other third liners, which is a good point. Or third third pairings. You can't believe it. Yeah. I <sighs> Anyway, I'm glad I got to got to bring that up for a moment. <laughs> Fucking forward. Twenty minutes left. Bruins are above the cap. Here we go. Strap in. Strap on or strap in, kids. It's going to get nasty. Okay. Actually, one thing I should say. It's a third round pick. What am I losing my mind about? Honestly. It's an overpayment. But what can a third round pick really be? It could be a Patra. But that's not <laughs> neither here nor there. <laughs> Oh, I just don't get it. Just don't get it. Just don't like it. Don't get it. So what do we think? How we how we clear in cap space? Is it Farbort? Is it DeBrusque? Is it Olmark? This year may not be it, but they're competitive. They want to stay competitive. I don't think uh, Forbort's worth the ice time either, because as I said in the last video, two players, like two positions are approved upon when Forbort's not on the ice. The one taking over for Forbort and whoever was paired with them. I will talk about the Oli situation later. Guess I'm going to have to do a little vidya tonight about that. And about the new Bruins! I'm sure I'll be really kind about it. We get 20 minutes. We've really got an hour. Uh, because although uh, it it's over in 20 minutes or 17 minutes, reports come in for the next hour or so. It's not a good trade deadline for the Bruins. And it's only not a good trade deadline for the Bruins because, and I've said this a couple times this stream, you cannot, you cannot be a fence sitter. You can't go, you can't do half measures here. Peak, if you brought him in and you took on that cap and you traded a player who's never going to play for us, at least I can see what you're trying to do. It's risky. I don't love it, but it's not the end of the world by any means. Giving up any real asset for an, an, an unknown and an unknown improvement at that 
It's not what this year called for. It's just not. They must really think Peak has more to offer. And God, do I hope they're right. I can't wait for someone to replay this back to me in a year and be like, you dumb fucking idiot. Look how good Peak is. And I'll be like, yes. Thank you. I am stupid. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That's what I needed. God, I hope. Patra was third round, right? I think I've got that right. And Lot Mel's was, was fourth. I don't... Maybe those are switched. Just trade Peak away. Let's trade Peak for a second. You know what is funny? If they move Forbort to long-term injured reserve, there's no move coming. So there's still a chance that like there's nothing here. What happens if they can't get under the cap? I think they kill somebody. I actually... I genuinely don't know what happens. I think there's some sort of like draft capital penalty and you can't ice certain players or something. I, I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure what happens. <laughs> they did seriously go and get Pat Maroon and then backed it up by overpaying for Andrew Peake. Sweeney getting to fire the cannon at CBJ games. <laughs> That's worth it. That's worth a third. Here's the thing, but it, it, yes, Boston must think there's a higher ceiling. The ceiling doesn't even have to be high. It just has to be serviceable. Because if you spent a third round pick to fix your right, your third right D for the next three years, I mean, that's not the that's not that bad of a deal, right? Most likely method for Bruins is moving Lindholm to LTIR. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, that doesn't make sense because he's coming back tomorrow. Or supposedly coming back tomorrow. Man. His card's better than Peaks! It's fine. He's on a better team, too. Ah, okay. Just some fringe guys being moved. My goodness, what a weird, weird deadline this has been for Donnie. No reason to make a change for the sake of change. Oh, oh, this is an upset dog. Hold on. Yes, babies. Ah, why are you attacking me? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Why are you so worked up? They, um, they knocked down my door. Well, they knocked on my door just to come in and do that for a second. And um, that, look, that appears to be it. Velma, what's the matter? This is Velma. She's my beautiful daughter. She's my only daughter. And I love her. And she's perfect. So if Omar gets traded, no more goalie hugs? I don't know. I don't know. Omar is in a relationship with Swayman? God, that'd be an amazing story. I would love that for them. If you can't get out of the cap, you win the cup. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ow. Larry, you can't be biting people. You can bite your sister. That's fine. Why do you have muddy peats in the house? Why are your peats muddy? Don't look at me like I'm the problem. You're, I'm not the problem. You're the problem. They can't even see you, by the way. Come here! Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> They're just attacking each other. It's fine. Sway is still going to hug people, I think. Yeah, they probably does. He probably continues it. We did get spoiled at last year's trade deadline. I didn't expect that, but... Whew. I just really hope there's one thing to be pretty pumped about. Patches is staying in Washington. Not going to go to the Rangers. Interesting.
Hmm. What do we think, guys? Peak was minus 41 last year. Holy shit. I'm going to close my door back up. So, plus minus, I don't care about. But minus 41 is pretty bad. No, come on! Sources say Rangers are acquiring Jack Roslevic from the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for a mid-round pick in 2026. You could have spent a third on Jack Roslevic over Andrew Peake? Now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. Look, is Jack Roslevic a great player this year? No, absolutely not. But if you were going to go for, hey, upside, take a player, maybe he turns into something for us, wouldn't Roslevic be the guy? <sighs> we might have we might have given up more for Andrew Peak than they did for Jack Roslevic. Mm -mm. This this feels like a big swing and a miss at this point for Don. Ugh, that's gross. That's gross. Ross does have a $4 million cap hit. You're not wrong, but if I'm spending between 3 and $4 million on upside, it's at the center position, not at the third right D. Golly. Yikes. Don't like it. I believe Ross... Wait, hold on. Maybe... Hold on. I thought Ross Levick is an RFA. Am I wrong here? UFA. Interesting. He's a year older than I thought. There's a little argument there. Hold on. Hold on. I still don't like the peak deal. But maybe... Maybe there's a point here. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I can't get upset about that. A four a four million dollar rental who's had a real tough year, twenty seven years old. I still wanted Roslovic, don't get me wrong, but that's not a fair comparison. He's still got a better card, but the cards are not everything, especially in Columbus. Gross. Freaking gross, man. Ugh. Six minutes? We're sticking on longer than six minutes, guys. We're, we're going to see if anything trickles in. Or at least I'm staying on longer. I don't know about you guys. Thanks to, by the way, thanks to everybody who has subbed during the stream and who's jumped in. Obviously, donations are awesome, too. I really appreciate all of that. Uh, but really, just you guys being here has been awesome. This has been really fun for me. I mean, we're, we're talking we're five hours in right now. It's been easy, breezy, beautiful. 
So it's been fun. I appreciate it. And a lot of us are upset. <laughs> Swirl was immediately sent to the miners. I mean, yeah. <sighs> a real intriguing player. I would I would word that the same way. God, I would have taken a flyer on him in a moment. Especially if you could sign him to a bridge deal. Well, let's see if we sneak anything in. It is the Ford F-150 Final Five. So what we know is about to happen are the Bruins are about to fumble this one. I'm kidding. I Unrelenting optimism. I believe in this team. I like this squad. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like this team's... It makes sense to go all in or anything like that. I, I'm just really frustrated by us giving up any sort of assets for a guy that's already a risk to take on that capital. It is starting to feel like Forbort's going to the long-term injured reserve, though, isn't it? Paid more for Peak than Roslevic. Yikes. Buy a truck. Wait, hold on. What, what am I missing here? Happy with the... Oh, hold on. We got some... I, I love positivity. Hell yeah. Let's do this, brother. It's Cody. I'm happy with the Peak deal, to be honest. Basically a 20-27 third for a guy that played 20 minutes last season with 180 hits and 100... <coughs> Sorry. Apparently I'm allergic to optimism. 197 pounds. If he can hit, become that. If he can hit, become that again the rest of the season, that would be awesome. Yeah. There's upside. I'm not going to argue with that. Absolutely is upside. Yeah. I like it. I like the optimism. Don't let me take that away from you. Cam, you're not wrong. We had nothing to give. I just didn't like giving for what we got. <laughs> Michael, thank you for hanging out the whole stream, man. This is awesome. Sly Cooper, thanks. Thanks for yelling at everybody. <laughs> Recently born trade deadline. From, from a beast perspective, sure, yeah. Destructutorial, thank you so much. That's awfully generous of you. I really appreciate that. More beer money, hell yeah. And yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we start tonight. I should, I should probably, I, I should probably fully recover from whatever ailment I have before I start doing that. We both know I won't, but you know. Never mind. We're getting fucking hammered tonight. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't do this to me. Don't. Come on, Vegas. No. No. No! No! They can't keep doing this! They can't keep doing this! No! <laughs> the dream is dead. The dream is dead. They better give up the fucking farm. Is he going to be ready for the, the playoffs? Is that what Hurdle's going to be? Are they going all in on this idea that, like, they can just keep... What are they doing next year, cap space-wise? How is that possible? Oh, guys, if you've known me at, at all for a while, Hurdle's been... I've wanted this player... I've said it every year for the past... The, the, every every ch year I've done this channel, I've talked about wanting Hurdle. Every single year I've talked about wanting Hurdle. And... For him to go to Vegas, that's just...
Oh, that one hurts. That one... <laughs> that hurts, man. I'll never forget, forgive Sweeney if we could have matched whatever they're doing. I can't start hating Hurdle. He's been my boy for years. I've loved watching this guy for years. The Sharks have always had like a special place in my heart. We've talked about the Ice Cats earlier. I can't. No, man. No. No. If Oli nixed a Hurdle trade, oh my god. Colin Miller going to Winnipeg. Hurdle was available, man. Hurdle was fucking available. I've talked about it for years. What a solution he would be for the next four years. At least. I can't believe this. <laughs> if it's a couple first round picks, we couldn't match it. Uh, if if Vegas doesn't three peat, fucking what a bunch of losers. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Sorry, guys. You're watching me have an existential crisis on camera. I'm so bummed. I'm so... I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Hurdle is on a great contract for a true top six center. A great one. A great top six center. What happened was working. What happened is Vegas just traded for Tomas Hurdle. A true Phuket moment. Hell yeah. Oh, it's Phuket, right? I was getting that wrong earlier. It's Phuket. Unrelenting optimism. I need to have the lows before I can get back to the unrelenting optimism. I'm still human. Holy shit, guys. Sorry for the language. I'm not, but I'm supposed to say that every now and again. No moves and did not sign Phil Kessel. Vancouver. Also, Vancouver, wh what happened, bro? Aren't you supposed to be going all in this year? Thirty-four points and forty-eight games played the season on a disaster squad. Huh. Squeaky, <laughs> squeaky, trying to make me feel better. Thank you, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> More beer money. I'm going to need it after this. Uh... <laughs> I will. I'll definitely, at very worst, I'll be catching highlights and things like that. Uh, trying to watch as much Bruins as I can while over there. I can't... Um, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. The My favorite non-Bruin in the league is going to the most hated team. Caps are done. Uh, Bruins are probably done. I, I don't see what else the Bruins are going to be doing. When is when is Tomas Hurdle coming back? Several weeks when they first announced his injury. He's going to be back in time for the stupid playoffs, isn't he? He's going to be back. He's going to be back for game one. Alec Martinez is going to be back for game one. Seriously, Squeaky, thank you so much. I don't think I gave you the proper thanks. I, that was really generous of you, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still going through some stuff. Uh, <laughs> Every, Stone's going to be back for game one, and everyone's going to sit there while Vegas has... And again, I'm not bitter about this. They're playing. They're doing everything they can to play this the way they need to, and if our team's not... If your team's not doing it, all right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset about this. Uh, I, I just can't believe they're going to have a $120 million roster by the time round one starts. Oh. Brutal deadline in a... I don't know if I could call it brutal. We overpaid for a guy that's a little bit of a risk financially. Um, that I, I don't know. That, that we expected it to be one side or the other. It looks like we got the one side, which is a bit more boring. I, I I have a hard time calling it a brutal deadline just because this was kind of one of the expectations, and this team probably wasn't one to go all in on after you just went all in on last year. Uh. But to watch a top-tier center like that get moved, and it is your most dire need. <sighs> oh, man. Looks like the Penguins are done. I can't believe we weren't in on this hurdle thing. Hurdle had to waive his no-move clause to go to Vegas. He'll be ready for the playoffs. Fuck me. Whatever. Hurdle, I I want I I can't dislike this guy. Log Jammer, I just don't see it as punting on the season. I think it's the reality of the situation of just not having the assets and the the flexibility. There, if you were going to spend the 2025 first or a high-end prospect or a few high-end prospects, it had to be for something that was, that was, you couldn't say no to, you know? It just, that, that was a reality that the team. So it, it's, there are years where, like Vancouver, you could kind of sit there and be like, they might have kind of, they might have kind of punted here. They, they should have done more as the West loaded up. Um... But I don't, I, I don't see how you could really argue that they should have been in on some of these bigger moves outside of, like, the hurdle conversation should have been happening for months. They should have at very least been in on this. Sweeney pushback press conference? Eh, we'll see. Sweeney doesn't suck this year. I, I really don't believe so. I have a hard time really crushing this guy right now. I think he deserves, especially with what he had put together the past couple of years, I do think Sweeney deserves a little bit of benefit of the doubt. I don't like the peak deal. I think there's plenty to criticize, but I think 
more than anyone in the front office, Sweeney has at least, for trade deadlines, has earned some benefit here. Some, some, some grace. Maybe I'm being too kind about it. I don't know. Odds are Forbort goes to long-term injured reserve. We kept our first. Uh, obviously don't have one this year. Uh, we kept our higher profile prospects. I, I don't agree with something like this. Like I, I like Van Allen. He's been on, on the short shift and everything. But um, I don't think they're worse today than they were yesterday. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I swear I just have something in my eye. I'm not crying. Uh, tasty snack. Brother, thank you so much. Don't see any reason to doom about it. I agree. I agree. We, I, I'm going to be disappointed and process these feelings and all that kind of stuff, but... Um, I'm just disappointed because I love Hurdle and I hate to see where he's gone. I hate it. Uh, yeah, I'm not big on blaming Monty right now for anything. I think this is this is tough to not to not push forward with this season and get more excited about it. But there wasn't. I don't know if there was all that much to be done. It's just the Hurdle thing hurts, man. David Edstrom is, I don't know that prospect. Is he kind of a higher profile guy? Damn it. There it is. Bruins will LTIR forebort. So there's no more moves coming. That's it. It's over. Oh, is this not like a high profile guy? I wonder I wonder what this trade really is. <laughs> now I would expect I would expect DeBrus to be re-signed. Billy, thank you for asking. Mentally I am in a flux, I would call it. I just love Hurdle Man. The final five strikes again. Damn it, you're so right. You're so right, DJ. No. Oh. We don't know what trade Olmark stopped, to be fair. I love Hurdle as a player, man. I really do. And a first in 20... 25, two-thirds, and Hurdle at 17% retained. No. What? Hold on, we could have done that. <laughs> what the fuck? We could have done that. We could, we could have done that, right? What am I missing here? I don't, I don't know this David Ed, Edstrom guy. They're retaining money for six more years. Okay, he was their first round pick in 23. If you told me Lee Sell for our... 2025 first, a third in 25, and a third in 27 for Hurdle, I would do that in a heartbeat. I would do that in a heartbeat. I would do that so fast, man. He just fixes such a need. And yes, maybe Hurdle wouldn't have come here. That's a good point, Jim. Maybe he's afraid of bears. Uh... Edstrom looks good. Okay. You think Olmark was definitely the trade for Hurdle? Does that really fit their timeline, though? I don't know if that fits their timeline. Oh, Matthew. Vegas is definitely 
over whatever number they're supposed to be under. Kings confirmed the Olmark trade partner for Saravelli. I wonder what that trade was. Oh. Interesting. You know what? At the end of the day, the Bruins were either going to push the chips in for a roster that had been Jacqueline Hyde for months, or... Or they were going to stand pat and try to work out some sort of long-term deal that helped for years to come. That deal didn't arise. Sounds like Vegas had a better package than we could offer for Hurdle. Because if, if Edstrom looks like a real solid center, then um, we didn't really have that in the cupboards. Uh, I, think, I think I can be satisfied, if not a little upset by... By this peak deal, I, I don't think it's a great deal because you're just not you're just not bidding against anyone else. What I'm more upset about Vegas is legitimately You can't get mad at Vegas for doing this. And I truly do not believe that there is a player in the NHL that you could say, a top six guy at least, that you could say you need to fake an injury for a few weeks so that we can have a better team in the playoffs. I don't think I don't think that scum exists. That's such a piece of shit move. Like I just don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. Um But if Vegas wins, it's such an eye roll. When they come through and for the past couple of years, the cup winner has been the team. Well, that Avs team. I don't remember for the Avs team, actually. But both Tampa and Vegas, just tens of millions of dollars over the cap. It just becomes such a, like, okay, good timing with your injuries, I guess. Great work. You know? It, it does make a lot less... Uh, it, it makes it a lot less fun. And if that team loses, it's hilarious, and we get to have a ton of fun with it. So take the good with the bad, but it does really. Oh, Edstrom projects as a more defensive bottom six center. I don't know this guy, so I don't. Oh, Jay Fresh reposted. I trust him. That makes me sad. I'm not gonna listen to it. It's fine, but it just it does become a bummer. It does become a bummer. Bummer. Dogs are upset. Sounds like there's a. Truck outside. <sighs> God, all marks good. Tough, 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 tough. Thoughts? Maybe hurt or hurdle wouldn't wait for us. That's such an that's such a possibility too. No, I don't. I think Shaddy always knew what the plan was, man. I, I think bringing in Peak doesn't really affect that. Absolutely, Dork. Thanks for hanging around. Go Beats. Cal, I just it can't be a major fail because I mean, what was what was the expectation? You, would, I, I just don't see how you could have done done all that much more other than pushing chips in for a roster that might just it might just not be worth investing that heavily in this season it's not a punt on the season the team's solid but the arms race got too expensive and you used too many assets last year on a year that fell on its face and the reality is the reality of it you know Only nixing the the Kings trade. Look, if, if there was a Pierre Luc Dubois trade, good bye. Nope. Good job by Oli. 
Zoloft sucks. I'm a Vegas fan now. All right, bye. <laughs> Dogs are upset at the hurdle deal. I agree. George, love it. We're good to go right now. Love it. Let's keep let's keep it going. Imagine retaining on a seven-year deal, right? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. San Jose has already used all three of their retained slots the next season. Wow. And has two slots until July 1st, 2027? That's not good management. Yeah, it does sound like the comparable was Beecher, a 22-5 first and two-thirds. From the sound of it, Tommy, we would have gotten Pierre-Luc Dubois and Matt Roy and hopefully a pick. This is the thing. If the Bruins go on a run, it is going to be so beautiful. Square Pegs, thanks for hanging out. Oh. See you later, Sir50. Cassidy Dynasty. Yeah, they're really set up for it. I don't... I don't know why you just wouldn't be in conversations about Hurdle. Maybe they were. I don't know. Go Bees, Oracle! Thanks for hanging out! I hope Peak proves me wrong. I hope he really... Like, I, I think there's more upside to him for sure, but... Whew, I, I hope he really brings it. Yeah, Vegas is center depth. Eichel, Hurdle, Stevenson, Carlson. That's nuts. That's so stupid. How do they even... Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know how they afford everything. Why is Jimmy Murphy adult? I mean, I, I'm i not a Jimmy Murphy fan, but I'm wondering what he did. Sandfer Sandroid, I'm with you. Like, we, we got to give Maroon and Peak a chance. We can't just act like a loss. But the Peak trade's still dumb because you, you didn't have to spend extra on it. I just don't get that. Wait, what? The thirds were to Vegas? No. Um, we sent down Brazo and Lori. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, also the Leafs didn't do anything. What what happened to them? Oh, never mind. They picked up Connor Dewar from the Minnesota Wild. Good for them. There's no way they actually got those. The, the thirds weren't for... There's no way. Thank you, Donovan. See you later, buddy. Can't recall the last time he was right about anything. That's true. No, Jimmy Murphy does not have connections. He does act like he has them, though. Yeah, Vetus, I'm right there with you. I didn't want any rentals. 
Enjoy your cigar or two cigars and drinks. I feel ya. I'm gl I like the positivity in here. Happy, like excited to watch Maroon play. Uh, Peak's gonna surprise us. Paper moves for Braz and Laura, yeah. Yeah, guys, Sticks and Pucks. Check out his 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 channel. He's uh <laughs> he's got some fun stuff going with NHL 24. Drager says the two thirds were to Vegas. What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Come on, you can't be serious. Oh, I hate it here. Why does it keep getting worse? <laughs> Why does it keep getting worse? Hey. <laughs> the <laughs> you know, people tried to tell me that Greer knew what he was doing. I was so critical of him with the Carlson trade. I was so critical of him. And people were like, no, I actually think it's good. Greer's a fucking donkey. Unbelievable. I'm just upset. I'm, I'm just upset. Why couldn't the Bruins have done that? You solve your top line center position for a first. And whether it's Beecher or Liesel, who gives a crap, send it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are they buying people off? Mike, thank you so much for hanging out. Um... Sorry for all the negativity at the end here. Look, maybe, maybe Hurdle, either way, maybe maybe Hurdle forced his way to Vegas, and Vegas just had to give up something. But why would you make the trade then? I'm, I'm not even looking at my DMs right now. I'm, I'm sure my Instagram's got stuff. I'm sure. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not looking at messages. I gotta make it video about this. Damn it. Yep, not looking at that either. A lot of text messages. I don't, nope, not doing that. Let's, let's see how, how bad Steve Dangle's feeling. Somebody said he's fuming. That's always a interesting look. I can't believe this. Hey, look, if, if it was Olmark for Dubois, absolutely great work, Olmark. Good job. Good job. It wasn't enough that San Jose sucks. They had to make it everyone else's problem. Yep. <sighs> can you imagine being a San Jose fan? Yeah, I can. They're my third favorite team. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> oh, he didn't post anything on here. I'm sure he's got a live stream going or something. Wow. We fall into this trap every year. The same trade that one team got wasn't on the on the table for us. Every year we do this. 
as we talk about why couldn't we have done that? And we just don't know what's going on behind closed doors. That being said, fuck Vegas, man. And if you also hate Vegas, consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. That's my that's my pitch right there. I'd love to get to five thousand subs before the um before the playoffs. It's a bit of a pipe dream right now, but hey, we're working on it. And uh and there's positive growth every day. So we love to see it. Nailed it. <laughs> you guys got it, nailed it. Uh Yeah, every yeah, I'm right there with you, Tony. If this if Olmark was traded for Pierre Luc Dubois, I'd start looking at Sweeney and be like, maybe I trust you a little less. Frank, absolutely. Good luck in the bracket challenge. I'm pumped. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna figure out what we're doing for a prize. Cause last year it was a Habs fan, I wanna say, that won it, and I ended up sending him a Habs jersey, which sucked, but I'm happy for the guy. Hey, George, I'm glad you liked it. I mean, it was a calm, nothing crazy, but it's, it's been fun. Ellen, thank you so much. Thanks for thanks for keeping us <laughs> keeping us civil with the Fat Pat jokes. You're totally right about that. Uh, I hope you've had fun. God, what a, what a weird... Ugh, what a weird deadline for the Bruins. And, and Bruins fans shouldn't even be the most upset because a lot of teams in the East are probably looking around like, this is very winnable. This is a winnable year. And Carolina went for it. Um, Rangers feel like they kind of went for it, but there's a there's a few other teams, that, especially Toronto. If you're Toronto, are you not just like, what are we doing? If more people follow, we won't get as much interaction with you. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I don't think that's that's true. I'm really trying. <laughs> Vegas wants to win cups, Nick. There are few statements as true as that. I'm not mad at Olmark. I'm not mad at Olmark for a moment. Player empowerment, baby. He put that team down as one that he didn't want to go to. They asked him to waive it. He said, fuck off. That is exactly how that's supposed to work. And I hope it has zero effect on the team and the way it's moved forward. I hope Sweeney is able to look him in the eye and go, hey, that's part of the business. And Olmark's be able to look him right back in the eye and go, yeah, I get it. I get it. But this is where I want to be. And Sweeney can respect that. And Omar can respect that. And we move on. Oh, how can Vegas do this with the cap? Because they have three players on long-term injured reserve who will be ready for game one. Now, I do believe, I said that there's no player who will be like, sit out weeks just so they can have a better team in the playoffs. I do believe that they can be ready a week and a half, two weeks in advance of the playoffs and be like, I'm, I'm fine with sitting out that amount of time. It's just if we're talking like a month or something or a month and a half with no real injury, they're just faking it. I don't think that happens. The whole league appears to want Vegas to win cups. Also true. Yep, Hurdle would be our top line center to start the playoffs. <laughs> Him and Pasternak would be nutty together. Leonard ever coming back to Vegas? No. Leonard might be done done. <laughs> Why do you think DeBrusque wasn't traded? Uh, I, I, I think they want to extend him. They didn't find a deal they liked. Still not over last year's trade deadline? How fun was that, though? Like, how fun was last year's trade deadline for us? It was incredible. It was exciting. It was awesome. And then, I mean, injuries and a few other things, mismanagement of the goaltending, our season ended. But the deadline was awesome. I had fun. Imagine Vegas chokes and doesn't make the playoffs. Is that really even possible? Where are they at? They are... Yeah, I guess they're in the second wild card spot. Well, with those injuries, who knows? God, that'd be hilarious. They, they've got a six-point lead on the Flames. They'd have to get passed by the Flames or the Kraken or the Blues. Like, come on. They're making the playoffs. That's That feels like a sure thing, right? Overjoy, we got Orlov. The Bertuzzi thing was awesome. Uh, there's a lot to like about last year. I 
I would fire Mike Greer uh, 45 minutes ago if I could. What an idiot. I don't usually, I'm not usually that harsh about that kind of stuff. What an absolute clown. I, I tried to warn people. Toronto has Bertuzzi, that's right. That's what, maybe that's why they didn't trade. I, I don't know why Toronto didn't look for a big swing here. What line is Patra on next year when healthy? Third line, I'd say. I think there's going to be some sort of center acquisition in the offseason. Well, we'll see how good we can get it. And then we'll go from there. I've been a Bruins fan since 1986, and last season was the most exciting one I remember. See, that's the thing. is everyone will talk about the way it ended. And of course, you should talk about the way it ended. And it hurt. It hurt the way it ended. But I remember... After the Flyers game, I was in Boston. We had just, I, the night before, I had watched us beat New Jersey to tie the record for wins in a season. And it was cool. It was so cool. It was amazing. The place was on fire, fans everywhere. And then during the Flyers game, I was in Bannisters, and it was almost empty. The people were watching other things. They just... I don't know. People didn't come out for that for that one. I don't know. But we got to watch them beat the Flyers and break the record for wins in a season. And I got to walk out and stare at the Bobby Orr statue and just have a moment because no one was around. No one was around. And I just got to look at the Orr statue and feel the quiet and the cold air and breaking that record that's a memory I'll have forever, and it sucks the way it ended. It does. And I'll remember that forever, too, but it was awesome. What a season. What a great, fun season. You got to take the game for what it is. It's entertainment, and you got to have fun when it's fun, and you got to hurt when it hurts. People, people get too wrapped up in having to have the season linked to one emotion. It's just not what it is. Not in my book, at least. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of thank gods only didn't get traded for Dubois. I see a lot of that. I'm right there with you, Squeaky. Yep, the keep the rotation going in the playoffs. Only make a change if you have to. Um, Microsoft just wants to sway the whole playoff run. I bet he starts game one. Another news: the Chicago Bedards are one loss away from official elimination. That's weird. Late in the season can't believe it we've played 65 games game 66 tomorrow that's nuts <laughs> flames apparently have a trade in the queue maybe markstrom yeah it looks like seattle's staying in the hunt huh interesting sweeney keeps pushing the presser huh yeah maybe he's just got a stomach ache <laughs> Omar trade will still clear $5 million in cap space, by the way, in the offseason. They're going to move on from him. It's going to happen. They're not going to lose him for nothing in in a year and a half. It's not, That's not the way it's going to work. And they're not going to want to go into the season expecting to trade him at the deadline. They're going to want to move him at the draft or around then. bit confused. Does this mean Braz and Lori are stuck in Providence the rest of the season? Absolutely not, man. Uh, this might be actually just a paper transaction. Um just for financials, uh, those guys are more than available the rest of the year. Tony, thank you so much for the kind words. I have no idea what the skit's going to be for this video. I feel like it deserves a skit. Who knows? Maybe I can put together... Maybe I can put together a big... Uh, the, one of the skit compilations of the, uh, the trade deadline like I did that one year. I've got very limited time to do that, though. We'll see how that goes. Still fuming over 2019. Brother, I'm still fuming over 2013. I'll, I'll get to 2019 when I can process 10 years ago. Love to see the Knights lose in the first round. That's the only way this becomes fun for non-Knights fans. Is the $160 million cap team loses in the, the first round. I know that's hyperbolic, but whatever. It was a great night. God, it was a great night. Maroon and Marsh ain't going to be doing four... <laughs> Hug on wins. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. You can't start swimming game one unless you extend him. His agent would use that in negotiations. I don't I don't agree. I, I think you can start him 
Game one. I, I don't see any reason you wouldn't. Debrusque is always going to be up and down. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. He adds so many intangibles to the game. I'd love to see him be a long-term Bruin. I'm totally fine keeping around. I cried in 2019 Stanley Cup. Yeah, that was a hard one to swallow, man. Just popped into the packy. Uh, are you allowed to say call those anymore? The packies? I don't Whatever. We'll move on from that. No reason to get into it. Um... No, I, I think Sway starts... Shane, I think Sway starts game one, and Olmark starts game two. I think they are going to do the ro rotation. Olmark would have fetched something in return and clear five million, but that's that's going to have to be an off-season thing now, which I'm not mad about. Flames wanted Jack Hughes for Markstrom? Get the fuck out of here, Sean. No way. Come on. Wait, is that reported? Don Sweeney expected to speak with media in about five minutes. It, it, it's over, boys. There's, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. There's got to be some sort of uh, either forward to injured reserve. They'll probably announce that during the... I, I don't know if I can watch that, though. I don't know where I'd watch the um, Sweeney presser. I can't imagine uh, Brazo not being in this lineup tomorrow. He's been too good. I do need, Tommy, I do need a fake cup just for that reason. See you later, Micro Sausage. Have a good one. Oof. Yeah, enjoy the snow. Shit. Yeah, the Pat Maroon thing already happened, Looney. Find another that you lived in Fitch and I've been living in Lemonster for 20 years. We never cross paths. Yeah, I guess that is weird. I think Doug should play local Hall Knights fan in the skit. I need to get more tank tops. <laughs> they fit Doug better. Losing to Edmonton twice, once with Gretzky, once without, is way worse than 2019. I, I believe that. The Maroon Freddy Brazo would be deadly. That'd be a dangerous, like a physically dangerous line to play against. Uh, yeah, where can I watch this, this Sweeney presser? I don't even know. Uh, and hopefully I can get it to stream properly. Hmm. Probably YouTube. Do, do the Bruins have, like, a YouTube channel? I don't even know. I'm sure they do. It's cool. Hmm. I'm surprised. I, I'm sure someone will post something on Twitter to be able to watch it. Uh. Well, nothing here. Yeah, this is a great statement from Jay Fresh. You do have to have hubris to take on that contract. That PLD contract's so bad right now. I love this. This is amazing. This is everything I need right now. I don't care about Don Waddell. They they had a fun deadline. Fuck them. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, Vegas really said fuck them picks. It worked out, though. They got a cup. That's all that really matters to them. Sweeney's deadline. Jake DeBra... Matt Grizzly, GGS, does he ever walk for nothing? You have a third. Look, I get it. Uh, I think you could really... Uh, you can really simplify it down to the just stood pat. You know? It's crazy to think that now I'm in... Ugh, my goodness. And now we wait. We wait for this presser. I'm sure they'll tweet it out. I hope they'll tweet it out. I'm glad. I'm really glad that uh, that DeBrusque is going to stay a Bruin. Or I think he's going to stay a Bruin. I really like him. I really do. Will Jack still call Maroon fat? Uh, probably not. Oh, I love these. Yes, yes, yes. Patrick Alvin, we were involved in most of the players available. You just didn't get any of them. I love when GMs talk about how hard they worked. How hard they worked. Ah, <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Ah, oh, where's this presser? Give me what I want. Yeah, this is this is just bad management. This is horrible management. I really get to rub it in Andrew's face how right I was about my career. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I'm sad about Hurdle too, man. I, I really am. I, I still cannot believe. I can't believe that hurdle trade. Is it Sweeney time? Where is it at? Somebody tell me. It's crazy to think. It's not on the Nesson YouTube channel. It's not on. Streaming on Nesson 360. I don't have Nesson 360. Which might surprise some people, but. It's uh, mostly because it's a cash grab and it's a terrible, 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 terrible app.
Oh my god. Yeah, okay, kind of figured that statement was coming. The last three games have gone so well. Ugh. That's, uh... No, don't send login in for HR or anything like that. It's not that big of a deal. Uh... <laughs> Look, again, I'm okay with them not going all in on this season. Uh, I'm okay with them having the depths add. I think they overpaid for peak. Whatever. Uh, and the biggest disappointment is just, God, you really think, you really think they could have been in on that Hurdle thing unless Hurdle said no. The winners of the deadline, Vegas, obviously. Just, just, Wow. Uh, they're going to be loaded. The Avalanche are going to be loaded. Um, those are the two that I think really went above and beyond. Winnipeg looks really good. Uh, and then, I, yeah, maybe we get some answers on this, uh, on this Olmark trade that almost happened, you know? Forbore is indeed on long-term injured reserve. That's where the extra cap space is going to come in. He needs surgery, maybe two surgeries. His time as a Boston Bruin appears to be over. Yeah, it'll take some time to work Maroon in. Still recovering. Yeah, I can't even be mad at Vegas. They had a chance to change the rules. They didn't. They have very convenient timing for injuries, but it also puts them in tough situations in the regular season. Um, yeah, that's... And it does suck for Forbes, by the way. This does suck. But I, I am genuinely really, really okay with his time as a Bruin being over. I, I think that's pretty fair. Uh, yeah, Winnipeg had a good deadline. Pat Maroon with Zaka and Pasternak. <laughs> uh, Brazil and Lorai were likely just paper transactions just to make sure all the money worked by 5 o'clock. We'll be fine. It is a tough way for Forbes' tenure to end. Uh, but God, it was either that or, or he gets shifted out the door, right? I wonder if there's any... <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Yeah. I don't think we're going to get many answers on the Olmark front. I really don't. Why stay so tight-lipped up to this point just to spill it now? Weeks reporting Sweeney sleeps in a race car bed. Sick, dude. That's my GM. All right. Yeah, a little stuff still coming through, but yeah, the, if Sweeney's doing a press conference, everything's done for the Bruins. And that's 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 it right there. If we were in on PLD and Olmark was part of that trade and there wasn't a lot coming back for us, thank thank goodness Olmark said no. I, I have no idea why we would be looking to take that contract. I'm really hoping this isn't a sign that Sweeney's gotten a little too big for his britches with this whole culture thing, especially with the loss of, of Bergeron. Uh, because you can't just expect to take a guy making $8.5 million and bring him in and be like, yeah, he's been abysmal, but we'll fix him. I mean, the dude's been moved from two teams now for, for not giving a shit or trying to get moved from the second. Like, well, no, this would be third. Right? 
Jesus. Yeah. It's... I'll be certainly happy that we'll rework the situation later. Unfortunately, we do now get to be worried that, hey, in the off season, are we going to trade for Pierre-Luc Dubois? Is that what's going to happen? Can we clone Brad Stevens and put him in charge of other Boston teams? Yes, please. Yeah, that's exactly. Cannot comment on private conversations. Sorry, Elmark. Yeah, that's... You just can't... You can't air all that out. Uh, Olmark will get over it. I believe he's a is a professional. I, I think he sees the writing on the wall there, and hopefully he can make the most of the rest of this season. We should have signed Phil. Phil was pretty bad uh, last time we played, so I, I don't know about that. It would have been fun, though. I do trust Sweeney for the most part. So I think he had other stuff he wanted to do that didn't work out. I'm, I'm all right with that. But I just... I can't get behind this Pierre-Luc Dubois thing. Can't do it. And yeah, Olmark will get over it until the summer. But the summer was always his deadline anyway. The, the idea when we signed that contract was to ease Swayman into it. And Swayman did great. And has been doing great. Eventually, he's got to be the true starter on this team. You just can't have the luxury of, of having $15 million in your your goaltending in your debt. You know, you just can't do it. Or 13 whatever it's going to be once Olmark signs his extension. Well, you're probably looking at the other 16 teams with the no trade clause this summer. And, and you're probably talking to Olmark like, dude... We're moving you. Whether it be to one of those teams or one of these teams, it, it it's happening. Sweeney said the Olmark rumors were just rumors. They always are. Vegas won the cup. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, my dogs are upset again. Why are they mad at me? I've been ignoring them all day. That's my fault. Well, at least we didn't have to say goodbye to any of our beloveds, you know? Also, why didn't the Oilers continue to add? Like, the Oilers and Canucks both. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I'd be more upset if I was one of them. be smart to sign Olmark this summer depending on how it's so Olmark still has a year after this one so you wouldn't have to extend him right away um I don't if, if Swayman falls on his face then that's a conversation but I don't really see it happening one of them is gonna get kept you're gonna move one of them the spoke B is what, what are you talking about where, where did that comment just go the spoke B is diminished come on man Didn't address our biggest need. Face-offs. That is correct. I'm excited to see how DeBrus reacts to staying. Yeah, I mean, it takes a load off. <laughs> Giga Chad moved by McJesus. Yeah, we'll see. You feel the same hate and disdain for Maroon as Cook? I don't know, man. Matt Cook's a different level of, of just piece of shit. In my opinion. Sean Monahan was still an overpay? It just depends how far Winnipeg goes in the playoffs, I'd say. But, sure. I don't think Maroon's going to add much either. I don't, I don't think Peak's going to add much this season either. There weren't enough shady players in the market for Edmonton. AC, I love it. Yeah, Maroon and, and Peak. I, I think Maroon's not a long-term guy here. 
that's why I mean you didn't really move anything. Uh, I'm really hoping Peak surprises us. Wyvern Slayer, hey, thanks for hanging out, man. We're probably ending this in just a bit as well, but thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, Thailand should be a good time. I'm sure I'll have some stories for you when I get back. What's up? Did you say my room? Yeah. Oh, well, this is... Do you remember Fat Pat? No. Pat Maroon? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, Maroon is one of uh, High Quality Girlfriend's favorite Taylor Swift songs. I just heard you say that. So that's... That's a fun fact. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Matt, face also will get better when Beecher starts game one. I don't know. Beecher has to earn a lot more trust from this coaching staff to be in the playoffs. Um, especially with the way the fourth line's playing right now. Oh, I was kind of hoping for one last little cool note. <laughs> The Leafs really went in on physicality. Not guys who are getting good results on the ice, but physicality. Sweeney acknowledged she wasn't that aggressive about dealing Olmark and made it sound like LA wasn't offered enough in return. Great. All right, good. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe there is a chance that... that Olmark never had to waive the deal. I, I feel a little bit naive believing that, but you know. Potra leaps for the top rope. My God, that'd be so fun. I'm fine with it. They need more draft capital. I would have been fine if they moved someone like a JVR for a little draft capital, but I, I, I'm fine with keeping him too. Look, I, I understand the talk about DeBrusque and his streakiness, but I I really urge people to sit down and start working through other forwards on other teams and talking about, like, streaky point getters. He, he's not as streaky as you think compared to similarly priced players. He's really not. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. I got I to gotta go through and do a breakdown of it. But um, in the past, I've gone through that. And if you're not a superstar in this league, you're streaky. This is just kind of the way it goes. And DeBrusque has an excellent defensive game added. So I, I think he's an important part of this team. I think he's best suited in a middle six role. But, you know, you work with what you got. Brian D., who's Lysenko? Well, who are we talking about right here? I think Maroon drops McCabe game one of the playoffs. Karina, have a great night. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. It's a huge portion of the stream. Thank you. I wouldn't hate Evan Nosek back, no. Uh, the Kessel dream is dead, unfortunately. He had to have been on a roster by 3 p.m. <laughs> or maybe it's by 5? No, I think it's by 3. DeBrus got my respect last Winter Classic. No kidding. I was at that game on a broken leg. Unbelievable. Because that's off got picked up. Uh, he actually got traded to the Carolina Hurricanes. Nicholas D. Drew, thanks for hanging out, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, God, oh, correct. Lee Sell. Yeah, I don't think they're going to test Lee Sell this year. I don't think they're interested in it. I think they still like him. Uh, but that's that's going to be a next year thing. Maybe they recognize Hurdle as not worth the investment no matter what it is. I, I have a hard time agreeing with that one. Try JD at center. Don't do that. Neil, don't do that. That's not That's not going to go the way you hope it goes. See you later, Sean. Appreciate it. Is Matthew Nyes getting suspended? Doubt it. Okay, it was three. It was three to be eligible for playoffs. Yeah, so no Kessel. 
Man, Peak really has an opportunity here. Should be interesting. And it was an entertaining dread, uh, deadline. I mean, that that hurdle deal was a bombshell. But <sighs> it wasn't an especially impressive deadline. But I think it's still in line with expectations. And at the end of the day, you did not make any mistakes, any big mistakes. You didn't add, you didn't, you didn't make the team better, I don't think, but you certainly didn't make it worse. So we'll, we'll kind of see where it goes. Seneshin was a terrible pick at the time too. I, I hear you. I hear you. Like Seneshin just flat out was an off the board pick and. No one really agreed with it. It is going to be hard to watch this team take faceoffs, really in any part of the game, but yeah, late in a playoff game is going to be a punch right to the Nads over and over again. And it is fair to be upset about Seneshin. It might be time to move on, though, just nine years later. I'm throwing that out there. It might be It might be time to just move on from it. Teams make mistakes, big ones, and everybody's gotten infamous. Like, we have the infamous draft because we had three picks in a row and a loaded draft, and we fucked it. We we did. We Boy, we, we fucked it. But every fan of every team has something they can tell you, like, we screwed this up massively. And that's just, it, they're usually just not as famous as as this 2015 draft ordeal is. Thank you, Destructorial Tutorial. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging around, being being so active in the chat. Um, and yeah, uh, Thailand should be fun. Yeah, it has been nine years. It makes me want to die just a little bit. I think I think we should end it right around here. I don't think going to five makes a ton of sense. I'm going to work on a video going over the new acquisitions. Give Sweeney a grade. Maybe do a little skit. And then I have no idea what I'm doing the rest of the night, but we'll figure it out. Ironically, the Bruins' next first rounder is a 10-year anniversary of the 2015 draft. That's great. Thank you, Brian D, for hanging out. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, I didn't I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Nicholas Paul, thank you. Remember the fake Crosby trade? Yeah, that hurt my feelings. Was that you? A tasty snack. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's going to be all good. Thank you, Sandroid, for hanging out. Have a good one, man. Thank you, Voronora. Vor Vor These usernames are hard to say. We had a great turnout for this. This was super fun. Brew guy, talk to you later, man. Wings for Mary, see you later. Thank you so much. Teresa, thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Brian T, not me. All right, bud. <laughs> Uh, David, all in all, we didn't raise the bar a millimeter. Yeah, look, we have the same problems we had before. We also have the same strengths. Uh, that's that's what we got to live with with this one. It's not it's not a winning trade deadline. It's just also not a losing one. And I guess sometimes it's disappointing, but that's that's the way it's got to be. Scott, thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Appreciate the the good wishes. Eternal Grimoire, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, B, I don't know what happened with Dallas. I, I thought the little another little ad would jump in. Don't Jeremy, don't don't do this. Don't 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 Oh, there actually is one. They're swapping goalies. Okay. Interesting. Alright, cool. Yeah, no no big no big Hail Mary for us this time, but that's alright. We can't we can't be we can't be the Knights. Screw the Knights. Jasmine, have a good night. Tony, talk to you later, buddy. Jeremy, sorry, I thought you were lying for a second. Uh, uh, Liam, I, I don't know if you're just jumping in. We're all getting off here. It's been about been about six hours. It's been a good stream. Have a good night, Atomic Lizard. Appreciate you. See you later, David. I, I appreciate that. I will keep trying to feel better. Just got to get healthy for this 16-hour flight. Yeah, Liam, Pat Maroon. Pat Maroon, bud. That's a that's a Bruin. That's a Bruin. You're right, Jeremy. I gotta trust you. I gotta trust you. Have a good one, Liam. I appreciate you, man. 
Sticks and pucks, take it easy, bro. Having a new episode coming out tonight? Is this, uh... Nice. Oh, cool. Good luck in the tournament. Your son's tournament. Good luck, man. Have a good time. Go bees. Yeah, wings for Marie going over that, uh... That cack and... No, that's the, the defenseman trade. It's a couple last-second ones here. Yeah. Maguire, have fun with your pizza. That's that's never good. That's going to live in infamy forever. Christian, take it easy, man. Have a good night. Uh, This was fun. This was fun. We didn't get a lot, but this was still fun. I can't believe that they, what Chaos Guys did a 24-hour version of this. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Would not have been able to do it. I hope they got good um, interactions throughout the whole thing. Hey, Jay. Talk to you later. Appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. Claudio. Have a good one, man. This was a this was a good time. This was a good time. This went as well as I could have imagined. Got up to 400 viewers at one point. All just vibing out. Dual screens are the way to go, Jeremy. Always got to have them. Always got to have them. I don't know why. Why would the devils... Eh, whatever. Huh. Positive outlooks, everyone. Positive outlooks. All right, I'm going to end it here. You guys have a great night. I really appreciate everyone hanging out. Thank you, everyone, everyone who donated, who's a, who subscribed, who joined the high-quality inspectors. I really appreciate you guys. You, you're, you're what makes this so fun. whole reason this all started is because I didn't have anyone to talk hockey with down here and. Well, I wanted to, so I appreciate you guys. And uh, as usual, oh, Wings for Marie, you have a blast, and thank you. Ryan, thanks for the safe travels. Thanks for hanging out. Go Bees! And Joel! Oh, there's more people. Go Bees! Everybody go Bees! <laughs> have a good night, guys. Bye.